<clears throat> and here it is. Here it is again. Roll up, roll up, ladies and gentlemen. One man went to Mo. Here it is. Here it is again. Here I am again. Uh, and hope you are there again. So the session commences and your company is required. It never stops. I don't stop. Do you? One man went to Mo, the eagle has landed. <laughs> And there it is right there. You know the prayers by the care guides may death have nothing to do with us. Now, none more powerful, more potent a prayer than that. Death have nothing to do with us first, and everything then uh, uh, is, uh, is, is uh, a consequence of that. So may death have nothing to do with us. As guys, I bring you this. Jonathan's ex-minister joins APC, picks 100 million presidential form. So no prices for guessing who the ex-minister is. Uh, Dr. Akimumi Adesheno, the African Development Bank uh, uh, chairman, the president of the African Development Bank, he has now uh, the latest now entry into the uh, APC uh, uh, jostle for the uh, party tickets. So there it is right there. And good luck, Jonathan, of course. Uh, they are still permutating if it's coming in or not. So that makes number 29 or 30 or however many now that have picked up that 100 million naira uh, form. Jonathan's ex-minister joins APC, picks 100 million uh, naira presidential forms. So that adds to uh, an additional headache for Tinubu, no doubt. An additional headache for Tinubu and an additional headache for Bakari. Contesting for Nigerian president is demotion for me. Bishop Oye Depo, so you are uh, no prices for guessing who is throwing that missive uh, in the direction of is only pointing in one direction because there's only one clergyman, one cleric uh, in the presidential race. Atunde Bakari, of course, the one with the gangster moves. So the squeaky voice and the gangster, they battle it out for the pulpit space. Contesting for Nigerian presidency is a uh, Contesting for Nigerian president is the motion for me, the headline attributed to Bishop Oyedepo. So quite uh, what, what is in play there, as though we don't already know, we find out just shortly. African Action Congress Party fixes the 1st of June to the 3rd of June for its primaries. So now the primaries of Shouire Party, are uh, uh, the dates have now been announced. But will Shuwere be a participant, having been expelled from the party? How that plays out, we find out just in the shortest possible time. African Action Congress Party fixes June the 1st to the 3rd 
for primary elections. So uh, so we find out just uh, what the game plan is there. So we find out the game plan in this one too. I'll decide on 2023 presidential race in the next few days. Central Bank Governor Eme Feli reacts to backlash calls for resignation. So there, there it is right there. It's just, people just act at will. Uh, this is a government functionary, a, a very sensitive position, totally meant to be apolitical, but this guy has stolen enough. He's telling us for him to run for the presidency. The international finance space has already told us that the cost for running for the Nigerian uh, presidency is $2 billion. So this guy, Emi Feli, uh, a civil servant, uh, the, the governor of the central bank, but a civil servant nevertheless, he feels sufficiently uh, robust enough to take on the $2 billion spend to reach the Nigerian presidency. So quite how a salary earner is able to propel to the presidency only in Nigeria and without questions being asked. This is the tragedy. I'll uh, decide on 2023 presidential race in next few days. Central Bank Governor Eme Feli reacts to backlash, calls for resignation. So the backlash and the calls for resignation, you can whistle that in the wind. Plan shut down. Federal government criticizes airline for selling tickets beyond May the 9th. So May the 9th, of course, um, next week, Monday, the domestic uh, airlines within Nigeria, for reasons of just the skyrocketing part of uh, the skyrocketing, I try to remember, <coughs> pardon me, just for reasons of the skyrocketing price of uh, jet fuel, have now not been able to operate anymore because jet fuel, the petrol that they used to power the planes, it was just a few months ago selling for 190 naira a liter and it has uh, skyrocketed to 700 naira a liter. The industry cannot absorb that sharp spike in price. And by the way, the price, the price of petrol, the price of, the price of jet fuel is 40% the spend of airlines globally. So their spend now, which was 190 naira, has gone up by nearly 300% just within the space of a few months, this is not a cost that the industry can absorb, and it is certainly not one that they can pass on to their customers. So they left with that option but to shut down. But the government claps back, planned shut down, government criticizes airline for selling tickets beyond May the 9th. So if they are selling tickets beyond May the 9th, knowing full well that they are going to shut down operations on May the 9th, then that is fraud. So that's essentially what the government is accusing them of is fraud. And of course, the penalty for fraud is jail. So essentially, Buhari threatening to jail the uh, airline operators. That is the reading of that. Uh, so yes, this looks as though this repeats. So I'll, I'll cancel that one out. Uh, and then this one repeats as well. Coalition picks 100 million naira uh, APC nomination form for African Development Bank president. So additional story repeats here too. So that is the menu. So lean back, kick back, take it easy, relax into it. Uh, click on the like button, of course, the subscribe button as well for reasons that you help propel the channel on the YouTube algorithm. Once you've done all the clickings, just surrender yourself to the space and let's take you on a wild roller coaster ride for however long the session lasts. But before we do anything, let's come in via what is tradition, the Eastern Quarters, and another Python dance. Five on that's one, five on that's two, now five on that's three.
And there it is right there. Namde wins the war. They continue to insist in the eastern parts of Nigeria. In Namde wins the war, as guys, I bring you this. Jonathan's ex-minister joins APC, picks 100 million Naira presidential forms. The president of the African Develop uh, the president of the African Development Bank and former Minister of Agriculture, Dr. Akewumi Adeshino, Saturday paid for the nomination and expression of interest forms to contest for the All Progressive Congress APC presidential tickets in proxy. This is as a coalition of 28 groups consisting of Youth Arise Movement. Nigerians in Diaspora, One Nigeria Group, Prudent Youth Association of Nigeria, Women's Group, Farmers, People with Disability, and other civil societies raised the 100 million Naira fee to purchase the forms for the former minister. The coalition is led by the head, One Nigeria Group, Mohamed Saleh. The payment acknowledgement slip, exclusively spotted by correspondent on Saturday, carried Adeshino's name as the recipient of the forms. Dr. Adeshino served as Minister of Agriculture under former President Goodluck Jonathan. Details soon. So details soon. So that tells you that it's just breaking story. So that is the latest incursion. But that now seems to be the popular will of the people. So many people throwing in their one naira and two cobbles to arrive at the uh, APC fee to purchase that form. So there it is right there. 2023, contesting for Nigeria's president is a demotion for me. Uh, bishop Oyedepo, the, the presiding bishop of the Living Faith Church, popularly known as Winners Chapel Worldwide, Bishop David Oyedepo, has said he will not be contesting for the presidency in the 2023 elections. Oyedepo said vying for the Nigeria's, uh, Oyedepo said vying to be Nigeria's president is a demotion to him, adding that he is called for a global impact. He said this during a leadership summit transmitted worldwide. According to him, although he believes in Nigeria, it is too late for him to contest for the highest political position in the country, Oyedepo said, I believe in Nigeria, and that is why I am still here and still praying for Nigeria. But I consider it a demotion if I am invited to become the president of Nigeria. I am called for global impact. I saw this in 1984. Even the devil knows that you can't be genuinely sold out to serving God and not stand out in life. A number of pastors have come out to obtain presidential nomination forms in a bid to become the country's number one citizen. Notable amongst them are Pastor Tunde, uh, notable amongst them are Pastor Tunde Bakare and current Vice President Emil Shibanjo, who is a pastor of the redeemed Church uh, of the redeemed Christian Church of God. So there it is right there. We don't think that, of course, well, I don't think that is especially clapping in the direction of our Yemi Oshibajo, but certainly pointedly at uh, Tunde Bakari, calling him essentially an idiot. So from one idiot to another, African Action uh, Congress Party fixes June the 1st to the 3rd. Excuse me. African Action Congress Party fixes June the 1st to the 3rd for primary elections. The National Working Committee of the African Action Congress, AAC, has fixed June the 1st and the 3rd for its primary elections into elective positions. The party also released its schedule of activities in a statement released on Saturday by Femi Adeyeye, 
the AAC National Publicity Secretary. Whilst, whilst expression of interest and nomination forms for all elective positions are free, Adeyeye said all hopefuls are expected to pay obligatory donations. So how, how is a donation an obligation is the thing? So, so it's, not a don it's not a donation then, it's a fee, isn't it? Because you are not, it's just, just, just a misuse of language. There's no such thing as an obligatory donation. It's a fee, not a donation. He said the registration of hopefuls will commence from May the 6th and end on May the 9th. The National Working Committee of the African Action Congress, AAC, seizes this medium to announce to the public some of the activities and breakdown of financial responsibilities required of aspirants who wish to run in 2023 on the platform of the only revolutionary party in Nigeria. The statement reads, this is a part of several processes set by the NWC to make sure people of integrity, competence, and ideological clarity are the ones flying the untainted flag of the AAC. The schedule, according to the statement, is as follows. May the 6th to, to the 9th, registration of aspirants. May the 11th, mass meeting of aspirants with the National Executive Committee. June the 1st to the 3rd, primaries for all positions. The date for meeting with leaders of other social political organizations affiliated with the party and screening of aspirants for all elective position is to be announced soon. Aspirants into the following elective positions are expected to pay the set amount. Presidential, 500,000 Naira. Gubernatorial, 300,000 Naira. Senatorial, 300,000 Naira. House of Representatives, 250,000 Naira. House of Assembly, 100,000 Naira. Chairmanship, 50,000 Naira. Uh, Councillorship, 25,000 Naira. Waivers to run for uh, waivers to run for aspirants whose member um, waivers to run for aspirants whose membership is less than two years. So how can this be a waiver for? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Uh, it, it may be longer than two years is what I should read because you cannot give concession for somebody that is new to the party, can you? But this is what they are saying: waivers to run for aspirants whose membership is less than two years. Presidential 200,000, gubernatorial 150, senatorial the same 150, House of Rep 100K, uh, House of Assembly 50K, etc. etc. et, cetera, et cetera. Um, uh, uh, Councillorship 10,000 Naira, chairmanship uh, 20,000 Naira. Exceptions on obligatory donations. No donation for handicapped or disabled. Women 25% discount. No donation for tertiary institution students. No donation required for honorably discharged security personnel from the police, military, civil defense, road safety, no donations. Serving or retired teachers, nurses, and emergency service workers are not required to pay the obligatory donation. The party spokesperson said hopefuls for all elective positions are to pay 50,000 Naira for form processing fee and 200 Naira membership dues, which is not applicable to hopefuls under waivers. Uh, Adeyeye added that hopefuls are advised to fill in functional email address on the portal to be duly notified of all activities submissions of forms, meetings, trainings. So there it is right there. So that is the schedule of activities for the uh, AAC party. But will Showare be uh, able to participate? That is the real story around the AAC. So remove Showare and forget the party, but they have removed Showare. <clears throat> so from that to this, I'll decide on 2023 presidential race in the next few days. Central Bank Governor Emifele 
reacts to backlash calls for resignation. The governor of the central bank, Godwin Emefele, has said he had not yet made a decision on joining the 2023 presidential race and would do so in the next few days. Emefele, under whom the Apex Bank had uh, read through... Uh, uh, Emefele, under whom the Apex Bank has retrogressed and the national economy receded, said it was patriots who bought the All Progressive Congress APC nomination forms for him, adding that he would use his own money to buy his nomination forms when he had made a decision to run for the number one office. His he said these in a series of tweets on Saturday. The central bank governor had come under heavy criticism over the APC presidential expression of interest and nomination forms reportedly obtained for him. He said, I am humbled by the growing interest of those asking that I run for the office of president in the 2023 general elections. I have not come to that decision. I note and salute the sacrifices of those farmers and patriots going as far as raising personal funds and offering me presidential nomination forms. I thank them most profusely. However, I should, however, should I answer their calls and decide to seek presidential nomination, I will use my own hard-earned savings from over 35 years of banking leadership to buy my own nomination forms without proxies in an open and transparent manner in full compliance with the laws and constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I should not run and should I, and should I not run for elected office, I will continue to serve and sacrifice for the good people of Nigeria under the able leadership of President Mohamed Buhari. This is a serious decision that requires God's divine intervention. In the next few days, the Almighty will so direct. Uh, yes. Let me take that paragraph again. And should I not run for elected office, I will continue to serve and sacrifice for the good people of Nigeria under the able leadership of President Mohamed Buhari. This is a serious decision that requires God's intervention. In the next few days, the Almighty will so direct. Correspondents had on Friday reported that the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project urged President Mohamed Buhari to immediately remove Emefele over his involvement in partisan politics. Reacting in a tweet, Serop urged Buhari to remove Emefele as the latter acted contrary to Section 9 of the CBN Act, which forbids CBN governors and their deputies from engaging in politics. The tweet reads, we urge President Buhari to exercise his power under Section 112F of the CBN Act to immediately remove the CBN governor, Mr. Godwin Emefele, over his engagement in partisan politics, contrary to Section 9 of the Central Bank of Nigeria Act. Section 9 of the Central Bank of Nigeria Act provides that the governor and the deputy governors shall devote the whole of their time to the service of the bank and whilst holding office shall not engage in any full or part-time employment or vocation. The same call was made by the Ondo State Governor Rutimi Akeri Dolu and a host of other Nigerians and civil and civic groups which viewed Emefile's interest in partisan politics as dangerous for someone superintending over the country's apex bank and national economy. So of course, uh, he flouts the law, but of course he doesn't care. Why should he care? When has law ever meant anything in the Buhari uh, you know, uh, regime? So this is now the last readout, and then we come into the room to see if there's anyone there to take it on. Plant shut down. Federal government criticizes airline for selling tickets beyond May the 9th. 
the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission has criticized domestic airlines for the continuous sales of tickets beyond May the 9th, the scheduled date for their planned shutdown of operations. Babatunde Irukere, Irukira, Irukera, Babatunde Irukera, the executive vice chairman of the body on Saturday in Abuja, frowned at the rising consumer feedback that the airlines had continued to sell tickets beyond May the 9th. Irukera said if the airlines have decided and are resolute, it will be egregious. Uh, it will be egregious exploitation of customers and a violation of law to purport to sell a service that the providers know will not and does not intend to provide or deliver. It is misleading and deceptive under Section 123 of the FCCPA to represent that to represent that a service will be delivered on a specific date when the provider knows that the same is false or improbable. The commission is the commission is optimistic that the airline operators will not deliberately sell tickets for flights they do not intend to operate and is as such hopeful that a solution short of a shutdown will emerge accordingly, he said. The airlines had considered shutting down operations indefinitely from Monday due to the high uh, aviation, uh, due to the high fuel, uh, due, due to the high aviation fuel price, which rose from 190 Naira to 700 Naira per liter. However, Mr. Irukera, appealed to airline operators to shelve their proposed service shutdown and consider the effect on passengers as well as the difficulties and hardship associated with their action. Mr. Irukwera said the, that the commission was engaging both operators and the leadership of significant fuel marketers in a discussion to understand the global supply challenges and possible steps to ameliorate the same. The Commission strongly advocates engagement amongst all stakeholders across the value chain to mitigate the current constraints and develop an acceptable interim arrangement. This is to address problems and costs associated with global supply, supply constraints on account of the war sanctions related to the war and a fragile ongoing post-pandemic recovery in aviation, he said. Mr. Irukera said that the commission would continue to monitor the, evo the evolving situation and remain committed to supporting engagements to provide solution and stability. So there you have, there you have it right there. So that is a, a coded uh, um, threat right there. Oh, so that's a coded threat right there. So so um, uh, there th th doesn't appear to be anyone uh, here to take it on. So I think we're going to have to round it off there. So let me just acknowledge Alexander Gomez uh, super chat and then we'll round it off there. So Alexander Gomez uh, super chat to say that, um, uh, oh yeah, uh, okay, let's just bring Charlie Boy on. So Charlie Boy, I mean, I I'm not sure that- uh, Hi, you... woman. Yeah, hold on. Let me just acknowledge, um, Alexander Superchat. Uh, one man, you sound animated, well rested. I see. Uh, Queen Shea. So, so thank you for the super chat, Alexander. So, um, Charles, uh, well, I mean, which topic do you want to speak on? I'm not sure. Give me any if... topic. I'll speak on it. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't really. Well, 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 okay, speak on the aviation space. What are your thoughts on the aviation space? To me, for, for the airlines to to shut down is a bad is a bad sign for Nigeria. <clears throat> for me, the government should have government. The government should, should, should figure the demands of the airline what they want. They ain't they ain't to complain. They don't give them food. That's the problem. They ain't to have money to pay for the food. But to me, it's sad. But country, but country, Nigeria have all this oil. Why should airline use foreign oil? And and the shun just because of that sad. The federal government should figure something to do with the oil. Because what the airline shut down, people can travel. 
and plus, 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 the way it's way to unsafe without the killings going on across the country and the southeast killings going on. People can travel. The government, the government, to figure out what aliens want and to get in demand. Okay, to me, to me, and Bradley knows what aliens want because aliens shut down. That be that be ripple effect. A lot of oh, people. Oh. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, and to the um, do you know who Akim Adishino is, uh, Charles? I don't expect that you would. No, no, but you know, I think he's the guy, he's in the guy, he's the one for president, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, it was the African Development Bank, uh, well, he is still the African Development Bank uh, chairman, so uh, so he's now, uh, but curiously, um, he seems to be, uh, not indicating himself, but people buying tickets on his behalf. So, uh, I, I, what are you making though of his introduction it, into that it, space? To me, APC is funny. There are so many people went for president. Twenty people went for president. That's too much. Let's close to thirty now. <laughs> that's too much, bro. They, they actually, they actually, they actually destroying. And she, and she. That's the reason why the, the north is laughing at the south. Even I hope I can not, not the north people are confused the south. You don't you know, say you have too many people wanting for you guys for the south. You blow that down. I feel like not 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 the not gonna want for president. I feel like not gonna do that. Could they not realize the south have so many people? They not just gonna pick them from. I think APC to to sell them. All the people want for president. They're not gonna win. Just to pay hundred twenty million dollars just for one for president. You're not gonna win it. What's the point? Why? Even we, we can use in his. We can use your own state money. That's one for president. Oh, to me, what we do in Nigeria is it's sad. But I think APC needs to lower that. APC might have a big problem in the election. Don't lower it down. I'm worried the, the North might win. North might be become president. I'm, I'm seeing it, the picture. Uh, 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 all right. Because well, you, you most know. of the people, most people are spent uh, most from the South, all, all the Tory people. Isn't that true? Most of well, the Tory people went for, are from the South. Well, be, because there's the sense that it, the power is transiting to the south, so a lot of southerners, of course, they are looking to chance their hand, you know, because this is an opportunity that presents. Uh, but this Akimumi additional, he's not essentially bought a ticket. He's just a uh, the the ticket was bought on his behalf, and it's curious. Just so many people putting money together to buy him the phone, you know, he's not indicated any interest in it. But it looks as though the will of the people are propelling that space. Yeah, to me, to me, to me, to me, it's kind of wrong. People shouldn't buy a ticket of somebody. He he hasn't showed what he do for president. People shouldn't buy a ticket. See that politician deceiving Nigerians buying a ticket for what? All, all the people, all the people want for president. Half of the people the, the, just want for just for a political statement. They say, hey, I'm a Nigerian president. Just, 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 just to get a, something in the government, just to steal money to get rich. In in, in in the normal society, Tinubu, Atiku, I assume it's supposed to be like at least four people want for president. But Nigeria, there's 20 people want for 2020, four want for president. What I'm seeing there, do, 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 do you sense somewhat a desperation in just so many people uh, vying for the president? Do, yeah. do you see desperation in it somewhat? Yeah, just basically. But I also, my thing, I also think it's bad for the South. You know, I say that I feel like the North could become president next year. You know, I say they could not be like not be like even the North. I was, I was, I just saw Arky yesterday. But I, but I even say that but I say the South, the South people are not united. And that's the truth. The South not united. That's what the North, not not probably laughing at the South. They are laughing at us. They can become president again. Could not say, not say who who can who can we pick? All these people want for president. They can divide all the vote. They might, you might just give to the north. I'm sure you might just do that. But uh, what what they are actually contending is for the party ticket, not the presidency itself. The presidency itself, of course, that yeah. will be after we know who the candidates are. So the, the contention is actually for the candidature. Because, because I, I think what, I think what not going to do when not probably going to pick a, a guy from PDP to be a northern candidate. We're going to do that. I bet not the point to do that because we realize APC is the value all of a sudden. They might just, all the not powerful people might pick a, another guy for PDP. I see that happening. And they're probably, and they, and they're probably going to win. Because mm -hmm. why, why I say that, I feel like they're not, they're not probably like, oh, the people are not united. All these guys, 
you know, the one one thing I give credit to the North people is that they sort of denied it when the ones they get it. But South alone denied it. All the people want for president, they're not, they're not so laughing at us. That I've so many people. And I also think, I also think, all, it actually affected your boy's chance to become president. I think it affected you got a chance to become president because all the votes, all, all the, all the, let, 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 let's, let's, let's say the Northern Pick Storm, storm APCB elective, like a candidate election for president. It went back for the over the APC because so many of your people were coming out, so many candidates. It's even bad for Team Blue to get votes. The votes are going to be divided to show me and, and Team Blue. So it's, to me, it's not fair. I know why other people won't come in. This is, this is, this is a joke. At least, at least this should lower down the can. So many. Team Blue, team Blue is probably upset. I bet Team Blue is probably angry too. No, he, he must be disappointed, you know, because he can see this uh, thing escaping from him as a lot of his supporters can. You know, but... um. How, how it plays out will be curious, you know, because just so many people, you know, just so many names in that space. So, I, I mean, how it plays out is a real curiosity, but, uh, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, and I also feel like this, also for this crazy, we are good advantage for the Northern to do something. North can take this advantage. They know what they do. North can take this advantage of the South. They, well, they, yes, if the, if the South, if the Southerners are too dumb to politic in the right way, you know, then, of course, you know, they had this meeting yesterday at the Eurobus, and they could not agree a consensus person. You know, so if you continue to shoot yourself in the foot, then, of course, you will get trampled over. So this is self-injury now. This is self-harm. The the Eurobus especially, they are self-harming just in public. We can see it played out. It was sad. It was sad. Uh, um, um, sorry, uh, Jake. Okay. One more. So what is the outcome of the meeting? There is no any... Anyway, they, don't seem to, they don't seem to have um, well, agreed the consensus. I'm not sure that they've put out, because I've been monitoring the news, there's, and there's been nothing significant outside to say that they could not agree on a consensus. So so that is to tell you that but, the meeting was just... That's a secret time. meeting. Maybe they have agreed, but, they, but because nobody has said anything out of all those people that uh, attended that meeting, so maybe they could have come, they could have... Um, um, they could have agreed on something. Maybe they just no, keep no, it no. between no, them. No way, man. No way. No way. They didn't agree anything. Yeah, Who's going to stand up for it? Nobody agreed, yeah. man. It was a it was a pointless meeting anyway. Yeah. You, you know, yeah. it, what, what's the point? And it's they had to attempt it, huh? but you yeah. know, you know. Yeah. yeah. But ah, uh, 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 we so sure. One man. That what? That what? That maybe they have agreed on something, or maybe they just keep it to themselves. You know, the news came out that they've not agreed a consensus, which is to tell, tell us that they've not agreed anything. Oh, man, did you hear today's news about Jibril? Yes, that is a is resigned APC. They, that was Tinobu's lead. It, Tinobu, yeah, it, I'm so surprised. It's, it's just hemorrhaging so much. Yeah, you know, who is Jibril? It's a who is Tinobu's, Jibril? It's Tinobu's campaign manager. He has who left. Can, they, yeah, yeah, he's been out there, like, campaigning for Tinobu, going everywhere. You know, all of a sudden, I heard this morning that he's leaving APC. I was so surprised. Yes, I was like, he has actually on? left APC, but he says he will announce wow. his new party soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, all the elements are against this guy. All the elements are against. Well, you see, guy. Uh, we see one man. Uh, when when you when you Tunubu is now trying to make things right. Now he raised the what's his name? Um, uh, what's his name? The Somolu. Somolu's hand up. You know, mm -hmm. these are the things that people will look at. They will be like. You know, you you were there. You look at what you did to uh, was it Ambody, mm. you know. So all those things would definitely play back at you. They mm. would, you know. So nobody will want to. Oh, okay. What if 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 he if he becomes the president, then what happens? He's going to take off this one, which is going to happen anyways. Mm. You know. So everybody's trying uh, to play. Grant, well. uh, Grant, if yeah. I, if I were to be Tinobu's uh, family or son, I would just tell him, please, just step down. The yeah. embarrassment will be the it will be too much. The embarrassment is already getting much. is already you, getting you, more stuff at this point. Should, do you think he should step down? I don't think he should step down. Not at this point, to the uh, yes. Yeah, at this point, he will probably just say, "Let me finish it up," because the embarrassment is already there. You know, yes. look at all these people are supposed to come out and say, "Hey, let Tunubu be there. Let him be only Tunubu." 
you know. But nobody, everybody is coming out. They don't. Because they don't if, if, he, if if he doesn't play it to the end, they, then they will forever wonder what if. Yeah. So let him yes. let him play it to the so end, and then they can the say, end, okay, yeah. I played it to the end, but I was outmaneuvered, I was betrayed, I was this, that, or the other. But, uh, but the embarrassment is too much, you are man. The embarrassment is already there now. What other embarrassment there, yeah. is there? He's already you know? there. What kind of embarrassment do you want again? Look at how many people coming out. All these people, they know him, you know, and they are coming out. Oh man, it's it's crazy, man. I can't even believe what's going on right and, now. And the funny part about it, Barry went to a bonus day. Barry even told the Omar, he said, "You guys are sound a, a joke." When did he say that? When did he say that? No, no, but I told my we can't deny all this kind But but he said that that shows you something. The not not when did Buari say you when did Buari say you guys in the South are a joke? When did he say that? No, 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 no. One minute yesterday, Buari went to a bonnie state. Yes. He told Umar the governor be said that you guys are not united in the South. I can see that you guys might not win the president. Why shouldn't you say no? He, no, he did not say he did not. No, 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 you know, we don't like to make up stuff on the platform. No, 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 don't make up stuff now. Yeah, but did nobody no, went to a Bonnie State? No, Tony, yeah, he went never to a Bonnie State to inaugurate, um, to commission projects. Yes. 16 projects. Yeah, that's that's all. He didn't even mention about presidency at all. Yeah. It's not there for campaigning. It's there yeah. for, for the commission. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. No, no, the way do I say that? Because that was a good job from a boy in state, anyways. Umar is to, said what by told him, <laughs> governor of Umar. Yeah. Yeah, the governor of Umar uh, um, of a boy said that uh, he told the, he told no, him no, no, that no, 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 he he saw that the south are not united. He's... So how did he? He didn't that? say that. So, what did he say? Tony, Tony. No, no. no. What, 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 when did he? Sorry, what are you talking about, Charles? What are no, you talking I, about? I, I oh, is it Charles? Yeah. I, I, I just saw this. Art. It's just as ridiculous. It's almost like Tony, isn't it? It's just this. Yeah, I, I, I told him Tony. Oh, I yeah. told him. So when you hear a ridiculous comment, you think Tony is <laughs> <immediately>, don't you? <laughs> 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 but to, to me, why I cannot be good, I, the way I, I can't be good is too, because I feel like they're not thinking that right now. You heard my laughing, but I think they're not thinking that man, not thinking that's a joke. Yeah, you can, you can think one, what you like, but you cannot say that they said so. They, they did not say but so. But I think they're thinking in the brain. So all this can't come out for, for president. Until, are, are, you, are, you, are you clairvoyant, uh, Charles? Are you clairvoyant? Can you read minds? Are you no, a mind I, reader? No, I, I can read that the South is making a big mistake if all the people coming out. The, the the man 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 lose the election. I, I see I see the picture playing. All these candidates want for president. Have no, it shows the strength of the field. I mean, a, a lot of them they are sufficient sufficient enough to be president. Oshibanjo sufficient enough to be president. Fayemi sufficient enough to be president. Uh, Peter will be sufficient enough to be president. So that tells you that there's so, there's real talent in the south, because. All of those guys, they can easily be president of Nigeria and do ten times better than uh, the Mala. Yeah, I know it's with time, but I'm saying why I I you time. I think they're not among they're not among the night. They're not know how to play the game better than us. They have to play the game. How how do you mean they know how to play the game better than us? How are because, they ever? How are how, how are they, in politics? How has the when has they not ever outmaneuvered the Southern Because in politics. I'm saying, the not like I'm talking about this this thing. The not feel like he not feel like he not take advantage of the South right now. I mean, the South, uh, in what the way? In what way are they taking advantage? Because it's the like all, all these people coming out for president. They say okay. They say no. They say, they say no. When people no, all people come for president. Half of the people, the the, the most you get you get president. Imagine take advantage. I pick them. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing the picture. Yeah, you're not seeing any picture, Charles. Um, th what they are vying for is the is the party ticket, and ultimately that ticket will only go to one person in APC, and then the PDP ticket goes to another person, and then you have two people. So, so it's just people jostling, people with ambition, chance in their hand. Yeah, that's politics. I know that's party, but I I, I keep saying I know it's party, but I feel like. They not know how to play the game better than us. They are why? 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 Why do you say that? What have you? What have they demonstrated to lead you to that fault? They not have been doing this. Not have playing. Not have playing game well done for twenty six years. Have been doing this. They are playing the game. Jake, Look, that's uh, it. Uh, that's, hold that's on, it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Thomas. Um, outside of uh military coups, 
in a democratic dispensation, how has the North ever outmaneuvered the South? Okay, okay. Let, let me tell you. Without John's good example, uh, I'll be going to join that. When Gullah John was president, they don't know that Gullah John was going to be a one term, but they know that. They know that. That's what they want to keep John out. In, in, a, in a democracy, in, in democracies, we've had, we've had two southern presidents and we have had two, now three, northern place presidents. We've had Shagari, we've had, um, um, we've had um, Yadua, and then we've had uh, Buari now. And then we've equally had Oba Sojo and we've had Good Luck Jonathan, all within political uh, democratic dispensations. So in terms of politicking, there's no indication to say that the North outmaneuvers the South. Yeah, but one minute do. One, uh, in in of, what way? Just because you think so? No, 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 what's, no, what's, what's any person from, this... from the South must go to the North to get approval. So yeah, and, and, and no, no, not to get approval, to canvass their support. And anybody from the north must come to the south to canvass their support. Buari being the example. That's what I want to say. <laughs> he ran yeah. for three times and he lost. Well, we, we, we have some lines in that. I, I know I'm, no, I'm, no, we're talking about facts that are known now. I, I just not known facts. They're not facts, but I'm just saying the north, not his example. Who, 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 what's the most powerful region in Nigeria? Says the truth. What's the most powerful region in Nigeria? No. How, how, how are you measuring? How are you how define power? They not have power than the South. Define power. What do you mean by power? The, the, reason, the, the reason why they say they don't have power because they not have money. They have power. You they think have they have more money in the South, in the North they, than they the have, South? Have, have you so think so? People. They have like connection to a lot of Muslim countries uh, in the Middle East. So many connections. We don't. We don't have power. We don't have power because they have connections uh -huh, to the, uh -huh, to the uh -huh, Muslim exactly. country. All the people, all the people born in Nigeria, or most people born in Nigeria, are most from the south. You should see any northern abroad. That's another power they have. I could name it. You should know northern abroad. That's another power they have. So all the people that are abroad, did you say? Or oh, sorry, I missed that. All the people that what? I think most people abroad. Most people live abroad from the south. Yes. So the one that shows you, they have power. They know what they're doing. How does that indicate northern strength that Niger that southerners travel more? Because they know those, they, they know how to play the game. They know how to play the game. Very what well. are you talking about, man? Just give me, uh, give me. Don't just. No, all the, right, the I, I'm not sure that you're clear on the, what the, you're the, saying, the, Charles. The, 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 we not the thing. They not have money. They have power. I hate, hate them. They're not create. They're not create this Nigeria. They create this country. So who, they who told you power. that? Who told you that? They have power to the beginning. Who told you that the North created Nigeria? What are you talking about? <laughs> Wama, let me say something, please. No, no, hold on, hold on. I want to understand what Charles is saying. What are you talking about, Charles? No, I'm saying, don't game. I'm saying the North, North has power. The North has power. The real estate North has power. And we sound we sound long game. We sound understand that they're playing they're playing the game. They have power. Everybody is playing a game. But but anytime anytime a southern guy become president in Nigeria, why is that when you think nothing get done? Then why they not know how to trick the president of the South? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean that nothing gets I'm done? Sorry. Good old Jonathan, Jonathan that, brought the most development to this country. Good old got, just cleared got, this country's debt. Good old Jonathan got tricked to be disgrace. I'm sorry to say this. That's a what truth. are you talking about? What are you talking about? Any <laughs> knowledge platform will give me. Any knowledge platform will give me. But, but on the basis of what? Would I, you, you're not clear. I'm not, I am not clear on what you are saying. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm saying the not has more power more power than the based south. on what what what's the metric what 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 on what basis what's what, what define that power define it okay let me, let me tell you the, the yobos and the ebos and the yobos and are scared of them you want know the scared of the note they don't right. have, have, have more power than them you they, don't keep saying they have more plus, power plus, i plus said not, define not, the power not, you've already the biggest, said they have more power the biggest acting group in nigeria that's so, oh, you mean power. their population size? They're the biggest ethnic group in Nigeria. That's the Igbos are the biggest ethnic group in Nigeria. The North is not an ethnic ethnic group. 
the not the not Igbos, an ethnic the Igbos group. are the biggest ethnic group in Nigeria. The base good, but the not the not share power could they still control the Igbo and Yoruba to this day? So that how, how are they, they controlling them? The, how are the, they controlling them? How? Because they know that we're weak and they use that. Are we? No, 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 that, that, no, 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 no. I said, how, how, how are they controlling them? How? Hezam, look, Hezam, look at the human state government. The, yes. The, um, on, ha, why, is, why, why is the guy in human state government of Nigeria? Why is that? Because they kicked her the, uh, out. They're not kicked out. Uh, who, who kicked him out? They not did that. For, who told you that? Who government? told you that? Who told you they not kicked him out? For the, who told you that? Because the, the people, the people didn't vote for the guy to become Imo State governor. But yeah, but how did he become? How did he become Imo? No, hold on, don't run away. How did he become Imo governor? He become the reason how they kept coming because they're, they're not. They're no, not. no, how? No, no, no. Don't say the north. How? Do you know how he became Imo governor? He became people didn't vote that guy in. Yes, I know, but how did he become Imo governor? Because he became Imo governor because the federal government. To, the federal took the votes from the other guy. Out. The federal government took did not. So, so you see, this is the problem that I have. You have to speak to us. You know. Let me tell you how he became Imo governor. Um, Emeka, um, Emeka Ehidioha won the popular vote. Hope Uzo Dema went to court. He lost at the uh, at the uh, f at the federal and appeal court, but at the Supreme Court on a technicality. They found that there were some votes that were not counted, and there were some votes that could not be that should not be counted. And because he instituted that lawsuit, he won that lawsuit, and that gave him the the governorship. But it was who, an act but, of law. But who controls the Supreme Court? Isn't the Northern Act controls the Supreme Court? What do you mean controls the Supreme? The, the, the Constitution. <laughs> the Constitution. <laughs> the Constitution evidence. controls the Supreme Court. There's evidence. Isn't not controls the Supreme Court? <laughs> That's what do you mean the North con the Constitution controls the Supreme Court? The law controls the Supreme Court. The no do, the do, do you not know God. that? Do you not know? Do you, what do you think control the the, the, the the Constitution controls the law? Do you, do you know how many countries support the North? Do you know how many countries Muslim countries support the North? I could name a lot. Do you know how many countries support the North? No, 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 but, but no it wasn't the North that made the uh, Hopus or the Ma. It no wasn't the, the North that made Hopus or the, the, the governor of Imo State. It was, the, it was the Federal, it was the 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 Supreme have. Court. No, 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 I let no Christian come ever to put a Christian from the well, Mike, can I interject, please? No, no, hold on. I want, I, want, I, I, want, I want um Charles to be clear on because I think he um you know a, a lot of these broad stroke statements, just speaking in broad strokes and then saying the north. As, and as it just pointed out, the, the, there are more ethnic groupings in the north, you know, than the to, twice as much than the totality of the south. So how come we are Igbo and we are Edo and we are, they are Yoruba and they are just the north? What is even the north? You know, so let's just let's break it down a little bit and stop creating all these monsters in, in I, I, just I, the north, the north, know, you know. know because the there's south, no, the south is Jake, the south, Jake, the south Jake. Jake, huh? did you know Nigeria project is a Sadhana project? Is a Yoruba project? Well, do you know that? Yeah. Anybody cannot be president in that Nigeria without but, Yoruba or the South. Tom, do you know why that? Not, why, not, why is not too Do you know that? Yes. Oh, 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 all right. Let, let, let's leave Charles alone. But, uh, uh, but, but Charles, you, you know... I, I, I have told you, spend your time here and, and not in I, Radio Biafra. They too. confuse you. To, until it's too late. Then, and, and then but, but you are not, you though, are you? As comes. I've just shown you, you are not speaking the truth, are you? As uh, I've just I'm demonstrated to, you know, now. When they come, when the South realize the truth, they come. Okay, what is the truth? What What is the truth? They don't realize very soon. Because no, what, 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 what it, uh, no, no, they hold on, hold on, child. Don't, don't, don't soliloquize. What is the truth? They don't have one part. That, that's, that's all the evil parties are stable too. They've been tricked. All right. Okay. You say this is the thing. You, you know, it's, I no, told you not to be I going to Radio picture, Biafra. They confuse you. Party bowing down to no don't don't go down. to Radio Biafra anymore, Charles. I have told you that before. <laughs> they, they are confusing you over there. Stay stay here with me. Okay. Stay here with us. Uh, okay, don't go I'm, to Radio Biafra worry. anymore. When they come, to, they don't know what I said. Don't worry. If I come, don't worry. Uh, all right. Uh oh.
Oh, hold on. Oh, uh, so, sorry, carry on. Um, yeah, so, so sorry, Charles. Yeah, no, I, well, you know, I, 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 I like to get away with it in yeah. instances, but today I was, you know, I wanted to pin you down. Just all these, you did good, broad, my good job. Well, but all these down. broad strokes that you speak with that, oh, it's the north, it's the north, it's the north. You but know, at least not... you pay me. that's good. That you pay me, that's good. Um, no, no, it's, it's good. Uh, but I, anyway, it's good. It's, it's always good fun. So, Charles, let me go to Grand, uh, Grand, as we continue with the conversation. So, Grand, uh, let me take you to the space. Uh, Akimumi Adeshino, uh, he now, he, his name now on the list, but curiously, he has not actually shown any indication of uh, wanting to be president. So it was a, a coalition of 28 groups that bought him that ticket, consisting of Youth Arise Movement, Nigerians in Diaspora, One Nigerian Group, Prudent Youth Association of Nigeria, Women's Group Farmers, People with Disabilities, and several other civil society groups. So they've raised 100 million naira amongst them to purchase this uh, ticket under this guy's, this forms under this guy's name. So what are you making one of Femi Adesino, or um, not, not Femi, but Akemi Adesino, the African Development Bank guy, his name being on the list or that we have to contend with for APC ticket, and then the route that he has come into that party with. So what are you making of all that, uh, Akemi Adesino, the latest name to conjure with, uh, Grand? Uh, Akemi is a very... Uh... <clears throat> is one of the people we're talking about to run for the presidency, you know. But the only concern I have is, does he want to be a president? You know, so I don't I don't know if that's what he wants. You know, so buying, buying a phone for him without consulting him, you know, letting him know, okay, do you really want to do this? You know, with all the whole space out there, coming out with the APC as well, he's going to get the support for the primaries. You know, so there, there are lots of things, you know, that is involved, you know. So uh, it's a good thing. But I don't know if he's going to get the support from APC. He has never been into the APC space. So him just coming in and getting the primaries, I, I don't I don't see that happening, you know. So, and he himself, is he ready to do it? You know, those are the questions. So I don't think... Um, I, I, I don't think he even formally joins the party is the thing. Exactly. Because Exactly. Because I don't think you can join the party on somebody else's behalf. Exactly. So there, I don't, I don't know if it's a fake news. I don't know if, because I don't see how that's going to happen. You know, from somewhere, from nowhere, he has never been in the party. He knows nothing about the party. Then, you know, so I don't see that happening. Yeah. Yes, but it's all over the news. All the all the news yeah. are out, outlets. Yeah, I they, saw they it. I saw it. Too. So, so yeah, I saw uh, it too. So, well, I don't know. But, I don't know but, how that is possible, but I doubt. I doubt it. Real. I really doubt it. Uh, but, uh, but, but one but, man, but in one terms man, of the, yeah, go on. Do you really believe in how this group they normally conjure together? Uh, 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 a lot of me don't, you know, because I, no. I get to, to find the man that bought the, the forms by himself. It's always some groups. <laughs> I'm telling you, everybody has them. groups. Everybody has yeah. groups. <laughs> Which group has a, a hundred million naira to spare for some yeah. idiots? Yeah, you know? yeah. No, no, no. I, I don't believe. I don't. I don't believe it. I think those people they will just go and create those group and give them the money and tell them to go and buy the form of them. But additional, um, 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 Akimumi, I told you now, it's, it's, it's my family. My my elder sister married from their family. Look at that. My elder sister's <laughs> brother's uncle's auntie. Look at that. Eh? No, He's I'm not already, joking. You're already after contract. The guy is not a No, one man. Yeah. 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 Look at it's that. Yeah. 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 My yeah. brother's yeah. uncle's sister's auntie's <laughs> brother's cousin's <laughs> friend. Eh? Look at that. Eh? One <laughs> man. He's from Ijebugbo. I know the him very well. Mm -hmm. Very well. They are from Ijebugbo. What's your they point? What are you saying? He's already claiming, you know, <laughs> this is title claiming now. Yeah, but when I've mentioned he was, his name before, you will say that I, I spoke mentioned... to him yesterday. To, tomorrow you come, I spoke to him yesterday. That's how it begins. And they say, oh, if you want you to come through me. part of the Sunday school service. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Eh? One man, one man, one man. Mm. I, I've mentioned his name before. You remember we spoke about him before. We mentioned his name before. Mm -hmm. So the man is, I, I don't think how the man will just come from <laughs> anywhere. 
now. It's not possible. He, he's even presently, I don't think he's a PC member. So it's yeah. almost four days or three days. Yeah, I don't believe that. Yeah. I don't believe it. Too, yeah. Is he not their friend? Are all of them not friends? Are they not friends? Oh, you can't say that. You can't say that. Yeah, but friends. he can't, he, yeah, but he he can't just come and pick up the uh, APC. He has no, the no. money. Does he not have the no, money? No, you don't understand what we are saying. We are not talking about money. APC not, is a money uh, party. APC no, is a money not, party. We are not talking that about money. Can, can, can declare tomorrow and they will support him. Forget about all this APC. In APC, when the APC start, APC is a money party. APC is not a party that has principles. Anybody that can come there with money and pick a ticket, that's just the truth. E -E -T, you are right. They can even tell us they will backdate his membership. They can tell us he has been member since last year. It is possible. You are right. I don't. I don't disagree with you. But I did you know that I, I, in my yeah. opinion, I don't think he has any ambition um, towards that. I don't think okay. that is oh. my opinion. Yeah. Oh, 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 all right. So, 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 grand. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of these people, though, because they are excellent and they excel in one particular field of specialism. A lot of people then uh, they want to. Uh, transmute that into some sort of like our presidential credentials. So this guy is a good economist. We know that. But you, we, more than a good economist is what is needed for to be president. It's the same narrative for Peter B because it was uh, good with the economy of Anambra State. And people feel that is sufficient enough to be president of Nigeria. Do, do you notice that trend that somebody that is, uh, that is uh, celebrated and venerated in one field a lot of people then want to transmute that to say that, okay, it's uh, interchangeable skills and it can be president. There's nothing to suggest that Akiyomi Adesina can be a good president. Well, yeah, you, you said it right, but the only thing is um, I feel if you are good in one, then you can always manage the other ones, like. You, you have to put the best you can you can you can't be everywhere you you know you have you just have to point out put the best just the same thing good luck did or Basanjo did you know it's not like they are everywhere but just put the best hands in you know these places you know this is the mistake uh, would I call the mistake I don't know that um Buari did you know putting look at you, you just look at it you know you just have to put <coughs> the best bring them in and then you get a very good result you know so Akim Omi, number one, why why I would like that is because we've been talking about agriculture. We know how good, only agriculture alone, I know what that, doing it in Nigeria, I know how if you if we put in every effort to be able to do that, I know how best we can do it and get the best out of it. And it's going to be, it's going to be great in Nigeria having that kind of, you know, um, uh, uh, president, you know. So only that part alone can change the entire country, you know, and then talking about other places as well, you know, so I believe it's something he can, you know, pretty much do. Well, what about well. what about security? What about managing the ethnic diversity? What about the religious tensions? What about the Shiite Sunni uh, conflict? What about the, <laughs> the the tribal clashes in Kaduna? What about the savaging in the in the middle know, one, one, oh, one man, you know, one man. There are too many. There are too many things. Yes, you know, yeah, people there, say <laughs> there are too and, many and these things. These are the questions man. for Peter Obi as well. How can yeah. somebody like Peter Obi handle all of that? Ex exactly. You know, there are too many things. I don't. I don't think any president will be able to handle everything at the same time. It's just for you to put the best. Like when you talk about security, you have to bring in the best hands. There's nothing else you can do. Mm. You know, look at look at the Buari that is a soldier. The, what happened today? You know, so it's just bringing the best hands, you know. You know, the, the, the problem I have with this... Can with I this ask you a question? Is, uh, hold yeah. on, let, let Grand land up. Land the, that point, the, point uh, Grand. Yeah, the yeah. problem I have with this administration is I don't think they sit down. I don't think Buhari sits down, listens to, you know, do, do, do a board meeting, you know, with everybody, listen to everyone. Then they take a decision. Okay, let's go this way. They find out how this thing is going to affect this, how it's going to affect this. I, I don't think they do all these things. Because when you look at your bus and your time, when you look at a good luck time, at least you can see, you know, that people 
people came together and they talk and then you can see do, do, they do have you know, a goal. Do, do you know the distinction between the Obasanjo and Good Luck administration and Buhari administration? There's just one factor that distinguishes them. Uh, what Obasanjo used to say, and I have an uncle that worked in, uh, you know, with him then, uh, what he used to do was he will say, go and get me the best two names for this portfolio. And then they will bring him the best two names from anywhere in the world, so long as they're Nigerian. And then he will give them that portfolio. And that was how his system worked. This was how Madame Ngozi came in. This was how this Akiomi came in. Exactly. They have no, they are technocrats and experts. But exactly. Buhari, he just wants his tribesmen. And they have no yeah. history in education, in business or achievement. So it's a narrow field and a poor quality field as well. And exactly. that is what we are seeing in his administration. Exactly. So yeah. These are the things you're going to see in a in a in a Peter Obi or the Akiomi. You know, these are the kind of qualities you're going to see. You know, they're going to you're going to bring the best. They're going to put the best in there. You know, this is what this is kind of people want. You know, to make a difference. You know, that's what I think, though. Oh, oh, all right. Sorry, Ete, you wanted to come in. I wanted to ask him a question. Do yes, you yes. feel that? Do, do you feel that if we have a good economist as a president, that is that increase the standard of living and also that uh, 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 increase the take home of the poor man. Do you feel all these long problems that one man was listing will not take care of itself? Uh, maybe not all of them. Some of them will take care of itself, you know, but not all of them. It's just like uh, the way you have football, you put in a good coach, you know, so many things, dressing room, <laughs> everybody will be you know, be gingered and all that. You know, the, the same way when Buhari came in. I know everybody was, you know, excited. Everybody wanted to do the right thing and all that. Then he started putting in some kind of people and you'd be like, oh, this guy, oh, this guy, you know. So, um, yeah, he's going to make a lot of changes, it's, definitely. It's, but It's 90% of our problem, not poverty. It's 90% of Nigeria entire problem. Forget about all the, the religion, the agitation, the security and all that. Is it not because of we have poverty That's and not true. economic economic uh, um, development can solve that? And once it solves that, the country gets better. You will not be hearing all this shouting you're seeing again. Crime will reduce. Uh, uh, agitation mm. will have no no backing now. If you ask the IPO why they're agitating, they'll tell you Nigeria is not making our life better. Mm. Then if Nigeria is making you, you, life you, better, you, 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 what would they say? I think Babati wants to. Uh, I think Babati wants it's to call it, me, but let, let me just. Okay, Sorry, Babati. It's yes. it. Poverty is a symptom of the, the failure we're supposed to focus on. When you don't have a plan, when you have corruption, when you have uh, tribalism, and you don't have a plan, man. Yeah, no plan. That, that, the, the, the the poverty is a symptom. Is the causality is not the, the main problem. So you're discussing symptom, not the problem itself. Okay, go ahead. And also, I wanted to add, that idea that you have, that was good luck, Jonathan's strategy as well. But um, that works in the long term, but yeah. not in the short to medium short term. term. Yeah. So in the short to medium term, they always end up truncating that long term idea. So good luck, Jonathan was trying to boost the country up and get it working. And that then will be the panacea. You know, he had a blueprint for Sambisa Forest to turn it into the food basket of the whole of West Africa sub-region. He even had a budget, but he couldn't get rid of the Boko Haram and they could continue to increase. So that short term, it, it truncated that long term, which he had be, if he had been able to get agriculture into that space, all, all these boys that are carrying arms will be on tractors plowing the, plowing the land. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, you, have a, it's a, you have a point, you know, but the thing is, like uh, one man said, you know, it's, it's long term, you know, like the the economists are going to come in, they're going to have a plan and they're going to put this plan in place, you know? So when we start following these plans and then you see, you know, everything start changing, everything, you know, it's not going to happen like, you know, at a flip. No, it's going to, you know, you just have to put that plan and then gradually, gradually everything starts falling in place, you know? Yeah. Let me add to what you said. Because I was privileged to be, I was in Michigan to attend a lecture that was held, that was, um, the, the main guest was actually my birthday in Michigan, right? Michigan State University in 2018. And if anybody can design a plan 
to make agriculture the bedrock of any society. That would be that guy. I mean, it did, this flat, it was mind-blowing. It, it, it blew me away. It blew me away. So if you want to go, the route of, even though I want Peter Obi, that's my dude. If he wins, get this guy in and, and have let him have more impact than he did in the previous uh, administration. But I'm saying that if we want agriculture to be our, our bedrock, our main export, he's the guy for the job. I mean, the guy blew me in 2018. It was amazing. I, I've I, never seen that kind of... Akiwami, Akiwami is, Akiwami yeah, is he's good. A, he's, a, he's a very big... We, we know what he did now. Everybody is aware what he did for right. agriculture in Nigeria but, then, but, right? But, so, but, but, yeah. but you know, it takes more to be a Nigerian leader than just being, having those uh, those credentials. Sadly, he, 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 he's more like a nerd to me. He's very te technocratic. So he's, he's, mm. he's a technocrat. So, and unfortunately, <laughs> to, our, to, our, to our typical Nigerian voter, it's not appealing to them, you know. If it's not oh. dancing, giving them actually a B and you know, do you know that yeah. right stuff. So sad. That, that, that's a sad problem. But it's actually sad that you know that we have people like uh, uh, you know, um, Eze Kwesili, uh, Akinwomi, uh, what's her name again? Madam you know, Ngozi, and then Buari cannot even tap into this knowledge. It's 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 mind blowing. It's like I don't understand. Grand, do, do, do you know what's sad? If you're a Nigerian president, it's very easy when you win. Go across the world, just tell the president across the world, guys, that Nigerian over there, we're going to be needing that guy for the next four years. They are everywhere. Yeah, they everywhere. are everywhere in the world. I'm telling you, last week I was just reading about the Nigerian that, that discovered some new particle in Chicago or something. I mean, they, they have them everywhere. One of Biden's most senior advisors is a yeah. Nigerian of so Nigerian, Nigerian yeah. birth, of so Nigerian why, why, birth, why by the way, not, not, not American why are we not huh. tapping into those... those I don't know, those? man. I why don't know, now, man. You know, why are we tapping? So, when we I discuss you know, Boo and Osibadu, it's not because we like them. It's because we know that's the choice we, we have to pick from. So It's not because we, we really want them to run. But, we, but we would, would either of them do, including Peter Obi, would they do what you are suggesting? Go around the world Pick the best Nigerians and frog march them back to their country to say, I mean, your, your, your I, country needs oh, you. Oh, for sure, and man, for sure. Peter I know maybe, Peter Obi would do Peter that. Maybe because uh, I can't want me to do that. Yeah, I, I, for sure. too would do that, and I suspect Tinubu oh, too might oh, do oh, that. Oh, Sibajo, Sibajo, it might be a little bit tight. It might be a little bit tight because of you know. Is locked into the politics of yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. He, exactly. So it's going to be very, get, very tight right, for him. Right. Yeah. If you get an Akim with me, about it, uh, Akim with me, do you know the kind of exposure we we'll get, the kind of access we we'll get to expose that, that country to agriculture? My God, the export will be freaking amazing. I mean, when I was listening to what he was saying, this guy was talking agro shipping like testing sampling i mean i was just thinking because like, i asked him a question after the seminar right because my mom is from the job side too because i know brought it up so i was asking him it's like oh there's a there was supposed to be a an, an a cargo airport in like the jabu area where you have one of the biggest in Africa, where you get to before you. Before, I think that's been built now, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where well, they, they were supposed to have like a testing lab, where before you ship anything out, because that's the concern of the of America. For like, you know, you can't just ship anything. Hello, when woman. You... I would like to interject. Yeah, come in, Bia. Whatever so, possible. Okay, go ahead. Hi, oh, no, 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 Sorry, let let um Baba okay. land that point. And yeah, then okay. from but, but I'm saying that part of leadership is credibility. When you have people like I, I, I you know there. People, people will be more willing to invest in your country because they believe in the leadership. The problem we have with Buhari is that the people don't believe in his leadership. And that's the reason you don't have that investment. People like that, if you bring them in, my God, people will start rushing to Nigeria. I'm telling you. Like my because they can see the, they, they can see a clear plan and a clear template to follow. Go ahead. Yes, let's hear from Bia. Good to have you. Hi, and hello, everyone. Yeah, I was listening about uh, Peter Obi and uh, the other man coming overseas and uh, sampling talents of Nigerians who had left because of certain issues. Those Nigerians left for a reason, and if those reasons are not sorted out in Nigeria, 
they're not coming back to Nigeria to invest. Take for yeah, example, but they've been invited to come and sort those reasons out. Is the thing. It's not going to work easy like that until Nigeria becomes um, like what um, the no, other contributor was saying. One minute, let me finish. Until okay. the template is clear with a clear plan that that country is moving forward. I, for example, no, now they're, say... No, they're inviting them to come and move the country forward. So exactly. it's not other people's responsibility. It's, it is our responsibility. That's do, the do way you see, see it, yeah. one man. Most people here, apart from moving, they have families and stuff. I know you can't go and plant on a, a land that is not fertile. I know we are all patriotic. It's easy to say that, but when it comes to money, I know business is about gambling, but Nigeria, for now, the way the template is, is not fertile. It's not attractive. So they need to make it attractive. It they need so to prepare. The, one minute, let me finish. That's yeah, my own no. opinion. Mm -hmm. They need to make Nigeria fertile again so that it will attract the best, so that who, those who talented needs people... Who needs, who needs to? The government needs to have a template that reduces corruption, that every each one of them will be so patriotic to make Nigeria, you know, the envy of the world, to make it a better place, starting from themselves. You know, they need to believe that Nigeria is a place to be. They need to uh, make um, it. Uh, uh, Bia, Bia, let me say, just say one thing. What 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 is being proposed is when they say go head hunting, it's not necessarily your accountant, your doctor, your lawyer that we have plentiful all over UK, America, etc. But we're talking about the topmost Nigerians that at the highest level of real impactful professions. So these people, they are needed to come and create this Nigeria that you say has to be created for people to come back home. Because the country itself does not show capacity for that at the moment, but the citizenry have the capacity, but that capacity is offshore. You know, so I understand is, you, yeah, one yeah, man, yeah, but my point, you, my yeah, point, one minute, one minute, minute, let me just make it more clear. My point mm -hmm. is that you have a, a, a for business to work, you need a solid business plan. You can't just pour water mm -hmm. on rocks. So Nigeria's business plan is not a workable one. I can't, right. I will not come back to a place where it's not going to be, it's a waste of time because of certain people who don't believe in moving that country forward. There needs to be sacrifice. And who are the people that are going to lay down their, you know, their, all their time Bia, to Bia, let invest. me ask you a question. Bia, Bia, let me ask you a question. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let, let me ask Bia a question. Bia, if you are one of the world's leading experts in electricity generation and you are working in, let's say, Dubai or the United States of America, and the president of Nigeria comes to present you a convincing narrative, and you know that you have the skill set to electrify Nigeria, what would you do? Would you say that you go and electrify it first before you come, or would you come and do your bit? I won't come. First of all, I will make research about Nigeria, and you know, I go by the books and results. I can't just go and invest in a place where I know that the, right. the, the books are not adding up. I yeah. believe but in but you're not you're I'm not a dreamer. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think you understood the question. No, no, no. I understand the question, invested. woman. Uh, you're you going to pay me. They're not course. calling you to invest. You're going to pay me a bit to come and... Yeah, it's a job, I understand. I am not going to take that. Guys, are not bringing your money. Yeah, I know, but one minute, there are many that, things that can move Nigeria forward. The environment is not safe. It's not no, a livable oh place. God. There are many yeah, things it, that would move, make it uh, fail. That's yeah, it. It seems the, she doesn't the, understand what we are saying. Yeah, we, 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 let me just... Please don't say that again. No, don't, don't say that. Understand. That's my point. Don't you but, dare. Uh, wait, that's what I'm saying. Take that back, Let Baba say put a position What do you mean I don't understand? Are you speaking for me? No, no. I think it wasn't quite getting the response. I have different point of view. Maybe you're not understanding me. That's it. You know, you have different views. Okay, no. Take a position from Baba Let me give an example. So it's like, like don't slap our face. Like, uh, so who's like, uh, who's like uh, there? Rwanda, for instance. Rwanda, for instance, when it came to, to, to a tech, a tech for tech development, this is what they did. They did go hunting. So the people that they picked abroad, they matched their salary abroad. Like, listen, whatever you are getting paid over there is guaranteed, right? Number one. Number two, if you plan to return back to your old job. We have a deal with those governments that that position is secured with your increment or whatever. So you don't lose whatever you are earning before in those countries. 
and they have a deal with those governments because they need you in your homeland. So you How about to... safety? How about safety? Don't you no, think no, safety no, no, is no, 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 they have families already. They have, they've built their life over years, probably in those countries. And remember, Uganda is not Nigerian. And secondly, this is not as easy as you guys see it. In this, these guys are from a party. There are selfish interests. There are people with other selfish interests that want their people to in this position. So it's not as easy as we just say it. Fine, it looks like the right way to go, but in Nigeria, do you think like corruption be appointed to corruption? There are a lot of people corrupt. They know if you bring some people in, they will find a way to block it. And that that's is why, why we say, oh, if, that's why we keep saying that's sometimes, I'm like, one more, one more, one more, one more, can I no, no, interject? Please? You are focusing on, yeah, on, on, on I'm focusing on the building a system strong enough to withstand those, those things you, you've been worried about. So you need people to come in to, do, to, to develop those plans. Yeah, that's what we are saying. If you want to build a system, Babati, if you want to build a system, you have to look at the foundation. What is on the ground at the moment? No, 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 forget all that. that. No, you know, you're talking, you're talking about security. One man. The thing about security is this. For example, the, the, the CBN <laughs> governor, is it not secured? When you're working at high level in any country, your security is guaranteed. You should stop all these... Um, um, your security. Are you working in the streets or are you going to San Bisa? They are working in the government. That's my point. They are high level uh, government officials oh, oh, oh. trying to change the country. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna, right. I'm, I'm, I'm let's hear from Brownberry. Let, let's hear from Brownberry. Yeah, Brownberry. Uh, Brown, uh, yeah. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I mean, other government has done it before. Uh, our passenger did it. Uh, good luck, Jonathan did it. it if, you go, if you go to China, come on, China was China was insecure before they started doing it. China wasn't secure like this before they started doing it. I mean, other countries have done it. Uh, Rwanda, is, is, they are still doing it. Even Ghana has started doing it. I mean, this is what they do everywhere. You bring your the, the bright ones to come back. It doesn't cost a thing. I mean, uh, Babati just explained it. Can I, can I, I drop something? Can I say something? Can I say something? I just wanted to say, I just wanted to say something. Eh? If... It's as simple as it's a job. So when you call A, if he doesn't want, you call you B. You call the other simple. one. Exactly. Easy. Chinese so studied in America. They brought them back home to, to, to their homeland. Yes. It was people that, that lived in America that, that studied in America, in America that went back home to develop their homeland. That's my point. They are. They are. I'll so tell you. They are. I don't get the security argument or... It's, no, it's that, that's, that, 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 that's somewhat of a red herring. And, and, and also, you see all these international Nigerians that are high-functioning globally, there's nothing they would love more than to come to Nigeria. We would and, come. And, and, oh, and, man, I have a question and, for you. Do you think no one has never, ever done that before? Somehow, no, no did matter did how small. Did and did then, it. did it prosper? Why did it fail? It didn't no, fail. No, 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 Why came to truncate it? Why came to exactly. truncate it? Yeah. No, no, so no, exactly, no. that is my point. Someone it corruption. It takes you know one man cannot. It's, it's not, only one person can build Nigeria. So you it, need all oh these structures God. to be in good foundation to work. Other people must be interested in the investment of Nigeria, not just exactly. one person, not only Peter will be, that's my point. One person comes from a forest. All the members must yes. be interested in this move. It's like Everybody, Nigeria being the whole body, the eyes guys. ready, the hand ready, and everyone work together in, you know, towards achieving this super goal. If goal. one person mm -hmm. is doing it, it's not going to work. Let them go and bring one billion investors, it will fail. Because <laughs> one person, investors, investors, investors workers, because, whatever you call it, the structures you know, that will come and build in Nigeria. That, that yeah, working, working people, Invest, yes, it won't work. No, no, no. If you have the right individual, you okay. can change people. Let, no, no, yeah, yeah, let them be the working. Then me, I'll be eating the money and uh, because uh, I'm corrupt. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, can, so, let, can, let me let me give you an example of what we mean. Let me give you an example of uh, and a, a real example. Say. Hold on, a real example that we can all identify with. One of the biggest problems that we are contending with in Nigeria is electricity. 
We have countless Nigerians that are experts in that space. And amongst those experts, there are some that are just global geniuses. So if, if they bring them back to come and tackle and resolve once and for all that electricity problem, and if they give them the assurances that they will be allowed the space to, to have meaningful impact, and they will want to come back. Because as much as you are doing well in America, you are just one of a thousand that they could use. But if you come and impact on your own country, you feel that sense of pride and your impact is felt more. And if they come and resolve that space, then that space is resolved. So so that's just along the lines of... Uh, it won't work one man. It doesn't work like that. It needs a long, long, long plan. It needs a plan. And everyone needs to stick to that plan. They come and do it and some people will okay. destroy can, it. Can, can Bea okay. tell us how it work? No, can hold on. Let, 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 hold, hold on. Um, uh, let's hear from engineer. Engineer, let's hear from you. Yeah, greetings, one man. Engineer, you are, go, you are munching you. through a pie at this time of the night. No, no, and no, then no, you say you are losing weight. Eat. Look at this guy. It's a mango. He's it's a mango. To eat. That looks like a pie. Look at that. It's a mango. How does, how, why did they look like meat pie? Well, carry on, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> greetings to everyone. Bia, good to see you. I'm very, I'm very, very happy that you're, you're back. I must be honest with you. I miss you. Um, I have to I be miss honest. you too, my darling. Yeah. Um, well, um, in terms of investing in, in Nigeria or calling back uh, Nigerian citizen who bears abroad, number one, I won't welcome that, that, that rubbish. You understand the country is is cost, so we let's sometimes let's let's be honest to ourselves. Today, if you want to come back and settle down, listen, guys. One man that is even talking, he's one of the victims in Nigeria. He 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 was once a victim. He, he bought a property. Meanwhile, the property is not even genuine. So that's. Who Nigeria is. Uh, yeah, but that's uh, on Monile now. That's on Monile. I think we have all fallen into the hands of Monile, you know. So don't even <laughs> talk about people going back to Nigeria for work or for settle down. It's completely rubbish. If they want to change the constitution, they should change the constitution. Let's say one term, that's it. And after one term, during your retirement, you have to give account of what you achieve or what you do in that country. That's how that country will start becoming into shape. But apart from that, I'm telling you, forget about it. I would never advise anyone, a Nigerian who has a, <clears throat> who has a qualification to say, oh, they give you a job in Nigeria, go and settle down there. Don't go. Just don't go because one... You, you are being called by the president of the country with a vision, sir. I beg you, forget what president. Which president? I'm not a president with your family president. member. You, you, have a man. President. you guys don't even <laughs> understand <laughs> the team. A man with a vision. Man. The man has a vision. As good as... as, 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 as well as a president. Sorry, too president. many voices now. Yeah. Forget that one. That's just the truth. We shouldn't be deceiving ourselves. This is sad. You know how the how that Nigeria, how the country is. You understand? If president call you today, you end up becoming a corrupt politician. That's just the truth. You so which means you are corrupt already. If I'm corrupt, I won't be in abroad. Is the problem? Is the problem? Is the problem safety? So who is corrupt, 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 corrupt people don't live abroad? It's not about safety. Uh, Come on, man! I don't, I don't understand this mindset. In abroad, I'll be in Nigeria and be stealing that money. Where will you, you get get the money? Okay, to it's steal? about and if they call me, I will go and steal that money. Yeah, the, you, you people are still wasting time. If they call me, I'll go there and steal that money. It's about a fractured system that needs yeah. to be sorted before they can invite yeah. people. Yeah. Oh, okay. That system oh, okay. is fractured. So, so to be a, who, 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 who should sort it out? Who? Well, people that we put in power should do their works <laughs> diligently. That's what they want yeah, to yeah. do. If if we fact. vote, if we choose to cho uh, to vote Tinubu, when he goes there, he should work for the people. He's working for us. He's serving us. He's not going there to make himself much more richer again, even though he has money. You understand? So when you go there, when we vote you in, do the job. Don't go there and deceive us. If you stand on the truth and remove corruption, do the right thing. We have the brightest mm. of people in Nigeria. You don't need to oh, go oh, to okay. Kafantan to go and get more people. How, how, how you train them. Noble? One minute, one man. Let me give no, you my, my idea. One minute. No, no. My no, own no, solution, no. because someone asked me, yeah. you yeah, can send the stuff. brightest in Nigeria abroad to go and train and come back than someone who has already had family. I'm here now, built my life. After you've denied me all sorts in Nigeria, now after I've built my life, you come and pay me. To, if you pay me one billion, I'm coming nowhere, man. 
choose okay, the best oh, in Nigeria oh, 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 right okay. now that hasn't let, traveled. Let me ask you a question. Them. No, no. That, that's, let me ask you a question, Abia. If Peter Obi becomes the president of Nigeria, how does he resolve the electricity problem? Well, first of all, <laughs> when they come, they have their uh, the, all the promises. They tell us we are going to do this and that and that. There should be a plan, you know. He's going to maybe possibly find people that will build um, the electricity, you know, the experts that will work in that area to get the electricity working and through who are whatever those energy. Who are, who are those people? Experts. Well, that's all the Nigeria one minute, one minute. He doesn't. What I'm trying to say is that we have everything in Nigeria, but we don't value what we have. We we are a we don't have expertise in Nigeria. We, we don't. have, we, we have, don't. we have we talents. Don't. We have raw talents. We, one man, they may not be up to the standard of the America one. Oh, what what do you mean? Expertise. We, in where does we it start from? What makes an expert? <laughs> You have to train someone who's got talent to become an expert. Go and train them. Oh, so they Send will be training back. them for seven years to come and resolve electricity yes, problems. That is that it. Is yes, immediate. immediate. How long have we been in darkness in Nigeria? So really? we can wait. We can afford, afford to wait. But what about the Nigerian that talents? is already ready but works in America? What like about me the now, I'm, if trained? I'm one of them, I don't want to go back after all and the, that's, seeing that's all the insecurities. You yeah, that's me. I don't know about oh, oh, anyone oh, oh, else. Oh, all right, but this is where the problem is. Uh, what you've just said now, it, that's really where the problem is. What are uh, one man, uh, yeah. one man, sorry, sorry to interject. Go on. Hey, we have we have businesses in Onicha, we have businesses in Napa. If government should go and support those people, mobilize them, you will see the things that Nigeria will start producing. Sometimes, let's just be honest, forget about the expert trade abroad. We have them right in Nigeria. It's just little finance people need. I'm telling you, it's just little finance. We have innocent motors. If government should mobilize this guy for him to be supplying cars in Nigeria, things will bounce back to shape. Those are basic things, easy things to sort out. I don't see reason why we keep saying, oh, expatriate to come from abroad is no we have them in nigeria we have them. We, we don't we don't have nigeria. them in nigeria because we are not seeing the impact of them being in nigeria, nigeria. so that tells us what the point i'm trying Asia. to make to you guys the how can we see the impact if the system is corrupt babati can you can you please give me can i talk please if there is the system is corrupt one there are two several interests in the people that have the power in Nigeria. So it's hard for you to say you want to go and bring one person to come and restructure one place where that place will block what they are getting from it. There is a, all of these rich guys, they are getting from Nigeria more than what they are giving back to Nigeria. And it's because of the corrupt system. If the constitution is being sorted out, if, if somebody really wants to work, they just need to sort that constitution out, put proper things in place, things will work out normally and naturally without even bringing, they know the right thing to do, but there is too many selfish people in that government. Well, what about in, policy direction? You're talking about policy direction. Exactly. You, you need experts for policy direction. It, you, want to, you think in Nigeria we don't have experts that can actually put proper policy in place for Nigeria? One man, define the meaning of your experts. No, 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 they are not align them. What do you mean by experts in Nigeria? They oh, even go okay. overseas they, they, they go like overseas a... to train people in overseas. They leave Nigeria to go and train people in overseas. They are quiet people. That's what I'm saying. But because we just people are some popular people or due to some people antecedent, we know them. There is a lot of people in Nigeria that travel overseas to go and train people. I know some people now presently in Canada. No, we're not talking about your average expert in something or the other. We're talking about global. President. That's what I'm saying. If they are not global, they won't be going to globally to oh, be man. teaching What do you mean by global? Globally. You're looking down on your talents in Nigeria. I'm that is the problem. You're talking about like, best in the world. Best, best in the world. Best These guys are, are best in, in the Nigeria. World. They are in they Nigeria. Have, they have contracts with they top companies Nigeria. all over the world. We should look inward, And they are earning big money, and they live in Nigeria, and they go out and in of Nigeria. It, Anyway, oh, oh, okay. it's, so, me, I believe so it's the system. If, if you, if I believe it's the um, system. One, no, yeah, no, secondly, no, no, hold, on, parties, hold on, hold on, hold on, No, I think you're going to say what Bia already said. But let's push the conversation forward. If you look at what Kana Nigeria is saying, 
He says, uh, Bia, if you recall, the best ministers under Obasanjo came from abroad, including Dora, Okonje, et cetera, et cetera. So this is what I'm saying about the policy space. If you are saying, it, because it's always in the policy, and the uh, Madame Gossi from World Bank, I don't know where Dora is from, but uh, Akumi, all of them global world best, they came back to Nigeria and then they repointed to that country and we saw how, how the country was rebalanced. They gave Obasanjo a, a failed economy and he wiped out all the debt and he set it on a footing. That, that's, that's the international input of Madame Ngozi, etc. You, you know, let, let, let me just I want to be before I leave here, so I, I, I let them contribute. So let, let me just listen tonight. Hmm. There is nobody right now in Nigeria. I, I know Bia said that they have them in Nigeria, but when it comes to agriculture, nobody nobody can compare with Akimumi right now. The what were uh, Afro Bank guy. I told you I was uh, I was in Michigan to listen to that in 2018. The guy blew me away. So I'm telling you, nobody it will mop the floor with anybody because. He is the best at the top five in the world when it comes to economics compared in, 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 in agriculture. So I'm saying that is the access they get you to people in America or different part of the world. It's not in their head. If you bring somebody from from uh, from the US, for instance, now like I came with me now, they get the trust of those foreign banks because they trust him. They know him. Those guys get you access to things you, you will not get as a Nigerian living in Nigeria. That's my point. You need exposure. They get you the exposure globally. It's not about what you theory in the book or my friend. It uh, is about knowledge and all those exposures. And there are experts in Nigeria, like I said please, earlier. I know please, a lot of people in Nigeria that, I, that listen, leaves Nigeria. I, Hold on. Let me that leaves I, Nigeria. No, 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 let, You've been talking. Let, let, let me talk, let me, please. Let me, I don't want to talk over you. Point. Okay, carry on then. I'm saying that mm. there is more to it than just policy formation. It's access. It's not about. That's what I'm saying to you. That what you are even saying now. Do you understand what, what Babati means? Do, do you understand? I understand. What, what Babati has been access, talking all access. along. I've been no, no, here for on, about thirty minutes. Have you listened? Have you listened to what he said? Hold on. Hold on, on Babati. Listen to what he's saying. Uh, did you do? You, do you get what he means by access? That that international uh, world best Nigerian. <laughs> Along with the knowledge, it also brings access. I think the problem is yeah. some of some some of us here have stayed overseas too long to know some people in Nigeria. That some there are some experts well, in Nigeria just, that goes all me, over the world to train people. This is, this is this is sad to even listen to. I'm but you think if they don't, if people sad. are in Nigeria, they they are not experts. There are loads of people there. If you don't know, they are, they are, there are in they are all, they are, see see they go all over the world to train people. Quite all right, but are they number one to five in the world? Or are they number one to ten in the world? How do you number them? How do you number them? The industry numbers them. The indo they are industry numbers That's what I'm them. saying. These guys are top experts. That several yeah. industries that you're talking about employ them to train their own staff. So if a company worldwide, different company all over the world is employing you to train, that is the brain. It is yeah, the that's brain good. And save money as well. Position. That was um, um, anyway. uh, uh, D, uh, Niger 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 Nigeria has some of the best economists and accountants and bankers in the world, some of the best. But uh, Madam Ngozi Okonjewela, she's the head of the World Trade Organization. So that makes her the best of the best. So that's the level that that has, I think Babati was referencing. So she worked World Bank, uh, president, vice president. She's worked in the international space. She's built a reputation. And at the vice president level of World Bank, she has access to all of the finance ministers globally, all of the finance houses globally. She has worked with them year in, year out, established relationship. She's one of the sharpest economic, mind, economic minds in the world. So if Nigeria is able to headhunt her, it's not only her expertise in economics that they are getting, they are also getting her address book of all of this access. That, so that's what Babati is saying. One man, we, I understand you. you that yeah. as a I lawyer, understand you. One man. Lawyers, sorry, Bia. Sorry, Bia. There are some lawyers that just want to be consultants. There are some lawyers that just want to be litigation. Okunja Wela, no, no disrespect to her, she's got all that. But there are people that are on a level, probably not chasing what she's chasing. 
going in another direction in their professional lines. So well, that's man. what I'm saying to you. It doesn't have to be Okoja Iwela. There are brains outside there that are Nigerians and can do the same job Okoja Iwela would do for Nigeria. And they have our address book. Do they have our well, address man, book? We understand you and Baba T, but the point mm. we are trying to make is that you can go around the world and reach out the best and the highly connected you know, possibilities and talents and bring them to Nigeria. But if you bring them to Nigeria that is not settled with fractured system that is there are no set plans to move those talents forward maybe the, the system could work maybe for few 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 years but then it will break down again because the system is not strong enough to support these people that are bringing their their, their best down you know so then what is how are we going to solve the problem there is a fractured system in Nigeria that needs to be sorted out and then you can now go Maybe train the ones you have or go and bring them to make Nigeria a better place. Oh, all right. Thank you. And that's how the I, policy I, I think, now I think we are having two parallel conversations here. Both, both conversations right, but I don't think they are actually crossing into each other. But uh, so I, to... said, I said earlier that you guys are right, but even with the policy, if you bring a policy to a system that is not working, the that is not working. Yes, that's what we are saying. That's what we are now saying. There's too many interests in those places. And that's why we need somebody that will go at the president and be able to put his feet down and not dance to anybody's tune. Not somebody that people will be ordering around and be telling what to do and what not to do. And, you know? Anyway, I agree oh, with you oh, guys. Oh, I'm not oh, disagreeing. Oh, if, 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 um, if Buhari had gone, <laughs> continued in the direction that uh, Obasan just said, good luck, Jonathan, followed, we, we would all be back home by now. You know exactly it, that's it, yes. the point, so, but so, the, the, the system didn't allow it. Okay, that's why we are saying that the next person should want. follow that system. I don't know want. why you guys are saying you shouldn't follow. Oh, 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 all right, but back to you, Grand. Uh, so I think, uh, interesting conversation, but I don't think we landed on an agreement there. But uh, back to you, Grand. Uh, you were speaking on an additional now picking up the tickets to to via for the APC uh presidential slot. Yeah, so I was like, uh, I don't think it's true anyways, but uh, I, I, I don't want to I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't think it's true. I think it's a lie. Oh, all right. Thank you. Yeah. Let, let, yeah. Me, let me move you on from there and let me move you uh, uh, to, to that crossover between politics and religion. Uh, contesting for Nigerian president is the motion for me. Uh, Bishop Oyedepo saying this. So, of course, I, I don't think I need to explain to you why he is saying that. Tunde Bakari, he has picked up the nomination for, for the APC presidential slot. So this is him now clapping at Tunde Bakari, essentially, telling, essentially trying to ridicule him and him being one-leg politics and one-leg religion. So he's indicating that he has a higher calling than uh, to vie for the president, and he's, by extension, mocking Tunde Bakari you know, picking up the nomination form. So what are you making of this quickie voice to Oyedepo, his commentary that he has a higher calling than the Nigerian presidency, and by extension, the mockery of uh, Tunde Bakari trying to 419, as he always does. <laughs> uh, when it comes to religion, man, I don't, I usually don't, um, because it's, it's a whole lot of uh, big chapter you know to open so what he said to be honest i don't know why um what's his name um uh Tunde Bakari. Tunde Bakari. i don't know why Bakari went to went to apc to take the form i don't know i don't know his reasons for that um but whatever reasons i don't know he knows because i don't see anything if it's it's two different things either you're in politics or in religion so he's you can't be in religion and then be in politics. Well, I don't, I don't see what you're doing. I don't understand it. You know, I guess that's the, that's the same thing Oyedukwe is trying to say. You know that, you know, what are you doing with politics? And you're saying you're, you know, you're you're a Christian at the same time. You know, it doesn't. That means they might want to question your faith. You know, so it's it's it doesn't make it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. It's just trying to maybe send him a message. 
for him to a kind of indirect message for him to get if he understands why if do he's trying to ridicule him somewhat because that's the sense i get uh i don't think he's ridicule i i, I don't think i think he's, a, he's trying to help him in a way if he understands it that way or i don't know but for me i feel maybe he's trying to send a message to him hey you know or what exactly are you doing? You know, are you, are you sure you're doing the right thing? You know, just like a check, you know, so it's up to him to know if, you know, for him to, to understand or maybe still do what he's doing, you know, it's up to him. But I think he's trying to send him a message. At the same time, many people can also feel he's trying to ridicule him, but I don't think, you know, there is anything ridicule about trying to send a message to someone and see. You know, you, you know, you know. There's been an on, there still is an ongoing rivalry amongst that echelon of our uh, Christendom, and especially between uh, Oyedepo and Tunde Bakari, because they seem to think that they occupy the same slot. You know, somebody like um uh, um Inokadeboye, he has a more religious lilt to his uh, Christianity. Somebody yeah. like Apostle Sulemo, he is more like a gigolo, sort of like a husband of all the girls sort of pastor man but the oyedepos and the bakaris they want to pre pre present some sort of intellectual professional sort of academic christendom and one of them has to overarch that space so that is the <laughs> similar intention between those two men i've always thought i'm not sure am i misdirected in that thought do you know? yeah i think i think you're right you know i think they they have different um, categories of uh, pastors i think the um, um, Adeboye and uh, Kumui, I think they are in the same kind of bracket. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, like you said, Bakari and then maybe Chris Okotie and then um, Oyedepo, I think they are in the same bracket. I think they have their own, you know, different... But anyways, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't like talking about... What about religion. Olumba, Olumba, Obu? What bracket, <laughs> <laughs> what bracket is Olumba, Olumba, Obu? Is that the living God? Don't forget him. Is that Christianity? Olumba, Olumba, Obu? The living God. <laughs> yeah, God. We are in trouble in that country. Where you live? Olumba, one Olumba, Olumba, Obu. One man, you forgot Guru Maharaji. Uh, yes, and uh, Guru Maharaji, yeah. the rest of them. And Harikushu uh, yeah. as well. So, and Ndaboski. Uh, and the, the funny thing is, Guru Maharaji, Ndaboski, all those ones, yeah. I think, they are in the same kind of bracket. Yeah, of and Olumba too. Uh, and and Olumba would, you too yeah. this, would you bracket the Celestial Church with the Olumba Olumba Obus? Uh, the Celestial Church, uh, man, I don't know where I'm going to put that. The Celestial Church, I think they have... I don't know, man. I don't know. I can't say. <laughs> they are very peculiar say. and unique to themselves. So. Yeah, exactly. You know, they have their own thing, you know. Yeah. My God, man! If you think of the Nigerian space, your eyes, you, your mind just wanders. You know, oh, Olumba, man, the, Olumba, and, Olumba. And, and, I mean, you see that that that, that church religion thing? Hmm. It's a huge space, man, and and people are really, really. I don't know. Are you afraid to be to critical of it? Uh, touch not oh. my anointed. I know. Are you one of? Are you touch not my anointed? No, but you know it's religion, right? I don't. Mm. It, you know, when you open up the space, right? It's it's a whole lot of thing coming out, and you just don't want to do that. You just leave it to whosoever, whatever. You know, you feel. Oh, uh, oh, I'm oh, not. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, all right. Let me move you swiftly on. Leave it to there. Daddy Freeze. <laughs> leave it to Daddy Freeze. <laughs> leave it to Daddy Freeze. Uh, exactly. that, that is another. Uh, so Daddy Freeze is in the bracket of uh Suleiman, Johnson Suleiman. You know, <laughs> uh, you know, Gucci, <laughs> Gucci, Gucci <laughs> gang, Gucci <laughs> gang, Gucci <laughs> gang. Gucci <laughs> gang. <laughs> <Yeah. you know? laughs> so let, let, let me take you back to the politics of it. I will decide yeah. on 2023 presidential race in the next few days. Central Bank Governor Emefile reacts to backlash calls for resignation. So they've purchased form, according to him, for Emefile, some kind-hearted person as parted with the 100 million Naira. But the Constitution actually prevents him from being po po political. And a lot of backlash, the syrup, uh, uh, Society for Accountability, something or the other, they are actually calling for his arrest, first his sacking, and then his prosecution. So, uh, and he's saying that he's going to purchase the form himself with the monies that he has saved from 35 years in banking. So what are you making of Emefele coming into politics, one, and being partisan to a political party, two? 
Does that rhyme? What political that? party is it? APC, of course, yes. What's up with this? Everybody going to APC and they are not APC. I don't even understand what's going on. Because they but, know that is uh, where uh, the next president is coming from now. But Mefele is not even in APC. He doesn't even have anything to do with APC. So, anyways, him buying it from 100 million, I think he can buy it. He's a CBN governor. So, 100 million shouldn't be a problem for him. Uh, but uh, coming out, you know, to buy, uh, taking buying the form, you know, for APC is just where I have a problem because I don't know how everybody's going to the APC buying forms and I just don't understand it, you know. And then I think... Grant, he is, Grant, you yeah, know one, yeah. you know one annoying thing. thing. You know one annoying thing with me, with all these guys is, so you want to be Nigeria's president, dime in it. Not like you have plans because I believe you, you want to be president. You should have been in plan of the party plan already yes. from like two years. That means you have a plan on ground. So you want to develop your plan. You're just coming now. So you want to tell me in the next six months, you will have a plan to solve that problem that country is facing. They are all thieves, all of them. I don't <laughs> care what they've done before, who they are. They are all thieves. I do I I just don't understand it, man. You 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 wait. Is it that I think I will just wake up tomorrow morning and then go and buy a PC form? The way it's going right now, because I don't <laughs> I don't understand. I think you just you wake up in the social morning. media. Everybody's <laughs> developing this. I'm declaring myself. I want to be yes, I think I'll buy a form for bingo, my dog. I want my dog to be <laughs> the, the only problem I even see here is I don't Tunubu is in big, big, big problem. I don't I don't even know. Because if if this was like normally by now everybody would have stepped down and say okay you know let's give it to him you know he's the guy blah blah but no one is even shaking even in the West no one is even you know it's just it's just a mess you know I don't even know I don't know what's going on I don't know what they are doing I don't know you know it's just it's just a mess man I think we just everybody have to just uh, watch and see what happens in uh, is it May ending or. I guess. You oh, know. All right. So, so Grant, what are you making of the aviation space? So uh, earlier we were discussing the uh, domestic airlines. They are uh, saying that by uh, the 9th of May, which is on Monday, they are going to shut down operations, not for any other reasons than, than for reason that they cannot afford to fly the planes anymore. The price of jet fuel has gone from 190 Naira to 700 Naira within the short space of uh, just a few <laughs> months. So that's grounding the, 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 the planes. Because the airlines cannot absorb that cost, uh, the price of jet fuel is 40% of the operational cost of airlines globally. So if you've gone from 190 Naira to 700 Naira, they cannot absorb it, and they cannot pass it on to the passengers who are already heavily taxed with, the, with what they are having to pay. So the only uh, conclusion they can conclude is that they shut down. So they shut down as early as Monday, just two days' time. The government is moving very hard to try and persuade them, but they are also now throwing the, the, the books at them. So what the government are saying is that some of these airlines, they continue to sell tickets and they've sold tickets past that date that um, they are intending to shut down. So they've sold tickets past Monday. So if they are shutting down on Monday, and knowing that they are shutting down on Monday, they are selling tickets past Monday, then that essentially is fraud. So what are you then making of this sleight of hand that Buhari is trying to use to blackmail the, air, the, the airline operators? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, for the airlines, I think I think they will do a refund, though. Those guys are well organized. I don't think they would, um, they would take anybody's money and run. I think they would definitely refund people's money, you know, if um, if worse comes to worse, uh, then this is where we talk about you know countries being organized, countries having a plan. You know, if this kind of thing happens abroad, you know, okay, is that the government will subsidize or something like that happens? You know, because you can't just shut down the whole system. You know, and then you cannot put the price way too high that people can afford it. Because if they decide to go ahead with it and buy it at seven hundred. And that means the prices might be maybe, maybe the economy might be like maybe 300 K or thereabout. I don't know, you know. So, uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it all boils down to, you know, uh, a lack of so many things, you know, from day one, you know, not putting things in place 
there is no money, there is nothing, you know, by now, you know, government should be able to say, okay, uh, don't worry, we have everything in control, don't worry, we'll help you guys out, don't worry, you know, nobody's shutting down, we'll see what we'll do about it, and they will do something. But in this case, we know nothing's going to be done. Everything boils down to them, you know, at the end of the day. So if they are shutting down, nobody's going to blame them, but I'm sure they would, um, they would give people their refunds. Yeah, definitely. They are way too organized on that, yeah. Oh, all right. But really, is it not a travesty that Nigeria does not stockpile oil? We're an oil exporting country, the fifth largest oil ex exporting country on the planet. We had boundless amount of oil. So why should we even experience oil scarcity at all? They should have a stockpile of oil that is at least 12 months so that they know that whatever happens, they can maintain consistency. This is a problem that's been subsist subsisting for 30 years old, you know? Yeah, well, but... How is, that, how is this even something, you know, that we are contending with? Yeah, like I said, it, it all boils down to, to the nation, right? We are not organized. There is no plan. Nothing is, you know, nothing is in place. Everything is just, you know, like uh, Idris said, Nigeria, Jaga, Jaga. Everything, uh, any, 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 out, you everything know. Everything is scatter, scatter. Everything is scatter, scatter. So if you wake up in the morning, uh, okay, you know, you walk, anything you see, you move, you know. So it's just a country that has no plan. You know, that's that's mm -hmm. just it, you know. And then now, you know, you know, in Port Harcourt now, where do you think Wiki is getting all this money is... is it's not, it's, it's, it's direct, you know, it, it's it's all your money, you know. And the government, they are saying there's shortage and all that. They are not having enough anymore. Where do you think those money are good? Yeah, those guys are taking these things, man. They are moving them, you know. So that's why they have so much money. Wiki has so much money. That's why I'm like, um, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Jagaban only have Lagos State money to bring. This guy is bringing that money from, mm. from the ground, man. Like money, serious money. So he has that money to spend a lot of money, you know. So it's 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 a pity, man, for the nation. Unfortunately, there it is. You, you know, Emefele, uh, not Emefele, Elumelu. He came out just a few weeks ago to say that eighty percent of the Nigerian oil is stolen. Yes, stolen. Yes. 80, oh, yes. No, not not twenty percent or eighty percent of it. Eighty percent, yeah, is stolen. Where where you, where can you, you where, imagine where, that? Where do you think we can uh, we can what is coming from? Ask yourself that question. You think it's the uh, allocation and all that? No, now it says they will pump the oil and record just yeah. twenty percent of what's the pump. Yeah, so they would they would they would move those oil. You know, they, they sort out the people they would sort out, move the oil, sell it, and you know, they make 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 million billions of money, man. Billions they have to stock out. You know, so. It's a pity for the nation. I don't know. Just, the just as an aside, what do you, in, in the 2019 election, one of the uh, policy planks of Article was to to sell off an NPC. W would you agree with that? That it should be sold off. Uh, I think we've tried the private thing. I don't know if it worked. You know, with the electricity, we still the same problem. I don't know if that is going to work. You know. Again, once once you sell it, then someone else comes in, they will buy it back or whatever, or take it back, maybe by force. You know, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't think is. I think I think it, I think it has to do with. I went when Obasanjo was there. Mm. Remember when Obasanjo was there, everything was okay. Even good luck didn't have that problem. You know, so it's not like they are not managing that well properly. You know, to some extent. It's just that Buari's case is just, you know... He's a petroleum minister now. Is he not a petroleum minister? Exactly. You know, it's just a mess, man. Believe me. It's not about saying, making it private. It's just... Buari's case is just a mess. Everybody have managed that thing very well. It's just... Buari's case is just... I don't know. The whole country is in shambles. Like, I don't know, man. It's... Yeah. it's uh, 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 all right, it, it's a real travesty. Uh, Omar, Omar, can I say something about the Nigerian Hoy thing? Uh, yes, but just give me a moment to acknowledge um, okay. Alexander Super Chat. So, uh, yes, I acknowledge this one. Uh, he was saying that uh, uh, at one moment you sound animated, well rested. Uh, I see. So, so, so that was uh, when I was coming in, and then um, he super chatted to applaud um, 
uh, uh, Charlie Boy. He says, "Well done, Jake. Proud of you, young man." So that was when you I was see? pushing. I don't agree. Thank no, you. No, no, no. That was when you I was see? pushing you I hard, want, and you, you refused to buckle. So, so well done for standing up for yourself. That's what we encourage. If I push you hard, push back. So, because I will push you hard, as you know. And then this one now, it came in. It's not a super chat, but it just struck me. This is a. This is why I say in the, on this 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 space you have to get out the dictionary. So this is a conversation that's going on between two two people. It says uh, your points are non sequiturs at Irene Finest. So uh, who even uses non sequiturs in the chat room? Say so, so that uh, so that we have we have to, we have to you know I mean <laughs> who, talk, who talks like that? You know, it's just trying to bully somebody with uh, your points are non sequiturs. So so there it is right there. So but uh, yeah, so so to your mic, uh, your point. Yeah, so the I want to so I hear you guys talking about the Nigerian oil and we have oil, we don't, we and all these questions surrounding it. I mean, have we ever asked ourselves questions about okay, what 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 are the deals that Nigeria, you know, made uh, made with uh, all these oil companies? Like I'm talking about the British, French, all these people, because to me it doesn't look like we are really we really know what's going on. I don't think we really have control of that oil, that that land. Because to me, from some research I did, I've, I, I I kind of noticed, I discovered something which I'm still trying to look deeper. Is that the Niger Delta, that area, that oil, that, the entire Nigerian oil, is really owned by the foreign, like British and you know, all these Western countries. And then all they are paying our government is just, it's kind of like a rent fee, more like a royalty for people being there. It's like, because that oil, we if we have full control of it, because that Nigerian oil is the best on the planet, it's, it's called sweet crude, you know, and one barrel alone is what's producing at least $5,000 worth of petroleum products. And uh, to me personally, I feel if we have full control of it, say we are in full charge of it, we na, na, we should be one super rich. We, that's all is enough to develop the entire West Africa and just it's so much wealth. It's so much wealth that I don't think Mike, we have full control of it. We well, can't Nigerians, depend we don't fully on the oil. Point. Is it? We can't, well, we Saudi can't Arabia does, and the they are doing well. Saudi Arabia does, and they are yeah, doing exactly. well. Yeah, exactly. Look at then, when I look at Russia. But one man, we have other things apart from oil now. Um, that we can develop Mike, as well. Wait, we don't shift the goalposts. Let me focus on this. Mike, I'm not shifting any goalposts. Let me, let me, let me Mike. just mention. Yeah. See, when you look at uh, all these oil, uh, oil companies, like Russia, for example, the company that's pumping the oil out of the ground, that's in charge of every aspect, uh, stage of production and refining and supplying, it's a Russian-owned company. You understand? Uh, go to even the Middle East, other places. It's, it's their own internal indigenous company that are in charge of it and that was the issue uh, iran had with british back in the 70s when they say hold on we have to nationalize our oil we can't have oil here and it's a british companies and uh, american company that are the one in charge of it that's when iran I, sure i don't know if you thought the iran revolution I, i'm not sure that what you said is entirely right uh mike what do you mean because the the nigerian oil is um you, you know that the the nigerian oil space is um is caught up into oil fields, which we call mm -hmm. oil wells in Nigeria. Correct. Oil. And, no, and then those, those are licensed out. And, no, and no, no, they, no. They pay, uh, that, that's how it works. No, not really. Not really. Oh, not really. Right. Not really. Because no, really. I, I spoke, I have a lot of friends in the oil and gas industry right, in right, America right. that work yeah. on oil. Yeah. Wait, 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 listen. That, let me... uh, you send it to Mike so he will stop talking about Nigerian oil, please. To this one, and the problem with all these ignorant Nigerians, no, no, man, they no, just no, no, no. you know, they, they, they just ignore the real what they want to talk about. What do you mean by ignorant? It's true, it's true. I actually support Mike here. I'm supporting Mike here. Yeah, ignorant, but not in this. Even a fool, it makes sense sometimes. What do you mean, ignorant? Okay, okay, no, 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 Please don't don't call people ignorant. But uh, my apology, know. I didn't mean to say anything. Yeah, 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 I didn't mean no, to okay, as an insulting yeah. way. Uh, yeah. you my apology. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. No, no. Let let Mike like land his point. Yeah, so yeah, I'm sorry. We, we I'm have sorry. some of that. No, no. Carry on. Yeah. Yeah. So so no, no, I, I do have a lot. Like I'm, I have. A, I live in Texas. It's a oil producing mm. state. I have a lot of Nigerians in all these top oil companies. That you know the I'm talking about this oil company and many of them are sent to Nigeria to work. Right and come back as Americans, who, but American Nigerians, mm -hmm. and these guys are exposing a lot of things to me, man, about how the entire school, the uh, oil fields all over Nigeria just they own pretty much owned by all these companies, Shell, Chevron, they just own it. It's like they, they own it, period. NPC just exists 
for to as a company, a national company, where okay, the tenor says, okay, this is what Nigeria makes, this is what you take, this is what and what, 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 what do you mean by own? They, they occupy it, they're the one that do the yeah, but they, no, they have the license, yes. Wow, oh, man, that's what you hear on the surface. It's a licensing <laughs> system, it's a licensing system. That's what you, that's what we hear on the surface. We just complicate they complicate us all this world. How we license them with this and that and that, but these guys, I mean, things we hear on the surface make us feel like okay, this is what's going on. But what people they actually in, in, inside, you know that like when the their license expires, they rebid for it, and in instances expires. they lose it. They they lose it to others. Who who loses it? Shell. Well, Shell Shell has lost a uh, uh, wealth to ENI. Eh? In in in, in, uh, in when the license expired and they had to rebid. Who's ENI? Who's ENI? What company is that? What company? I, don't, is, I think it's a French based something. E what? I. They they all dead. The French, the total is dead. Total is who my friends. Yes, uh, all Shell dead. and no, Chevron. No, no, no. I, I These companies they all participate in the Nigerian civil war. They all they after that they own pretty much it's like go on sign the country, the, the place over to them. You know that they, 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 know. they, they no, one, that, that we, one day we invite one of these people here, man. One of these my mm. top boy guys. I'm talking about Nigerians that are executive in all these oil companies they know what's going on there in africa man like we don't control our wealth in that continent it's, it's we don't a control it. it's a licensing that's system. what they would tell us say it's a licensing no, no, system no, is no, this no, just no, to convince no. the people go ahead yeah see no, it's a it's a licensing system but the licensing is skewed to this they are getting it for virtually free because what they do is they corrupt officials and get it for near zero, and then some official gets pay off, and the royalty that the Nigerian nation gets is a pittance. Like you said, a barrel is what about well, five thousand dollars? You said, and Nigeria gets like about sixty dollars because they will still take a, a cost out of uh, the overall thing. So they they, they they sign off on a poor deal, but nevertheless, it's still a licensing deal. No, remember Iran. I was going to Iran. Remember Iran when Iran in the seventies story the uh, Western oil company, British oil company, all of them like, okay, listen, you, you have to look, go. Look at that. Okay, they, is they, it not they, okay? They, what happened to Iran? Didn't they, what, what happened? See, see, today they stick because of that issue, that decision Iranian government made. Like, okay, we want to up <laughs> our oil. So we just want the full control of it. See, today the, the, the first year launch was a Iran. They they really see today they are still holding against Iran. Venezuela is another company uh, country. Venezuela say, hold on, we have to nationalize our oil. We have to own it, hundred percent control of it. What happened? See, today Venezuela is still in trouble with this. But, but Nigeria, the did, the, the, Nigeria did that once upon a time. You know, they, the, they, no, Muntala the, the, trying to do it. They assassinated him quick. It, it, it did do it. Uh, do, do you know? And it was do, dead. Do, do, do you know the uh, oil company National National that used to be Shell, and they nationalized it. Uh, national, uh, you mean the name? They, they yes, changed the name. That's what you're they, saying. No, no, they nationalized state, and they, 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 the the slogan then is that Shell is now national. I, I, I can go and dig through the archives to find out. I, I, maybe that was Gowon or whoever did it. They nationalized Shell in Nigeria, and then they 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 then named it national. Well, I have to understand the game like they play against us and on the continent. It's like what if the information they will give us in the public, kind of like they will manipulate in a way where the public we are hearing this and we are thinking this is exactly what it is. Like okay, uh, they they nationalize or they they will use all these terms. But in actual rational deal, man, when, in, rational in actual man. deal, yeah, huh? Who's rational? Uh, you are a rational mind, brother. Well, I talk yes, rational yeah. mind. <laughs> my God! You insulted me by calling me national mind, dude. <laughs> your voice, both of you, your voice seems alike. Yes. Yeah, your voice sounds alike. Sorry about that. Do Do you feel Do you feel that US will allow another China in the world again? Do you feel US and the West will allow any other part of the world become a superpower? That's why. That, that that's what the battles has been the see the, they, they say saying that the cold war never ended you understand it's almost every war you see right that's going on it's usually proxy war between the uh, the west and also the eastern bloc so the the game is who's going to control who's going to, it's a battle over global supremacy so that all these wars you're saying is is part of it you understand the game is to make sure that this other power don't get our level don't catch up to us you understand so they will take steps right 10 steps ahead of what they see coming for example like when you see this uh ukraine war and everything like that people just say oh this war is about oh stopping ukraine stopping uh ukraine from this and that it, it's just four step it's just a 10 step ahead of where they, what they're trying to prevent 
You understand? For example, when you see a situation where, okay, the Russians are coming to Africa or they are going to Mali and in China is becoming uh, this country is becoming a threat, economic threat, and they will say, okay, what steps will we take to prevent this guys from getting to this level okay let's start something in this area let's start a war in this area to at least cripple them a little bit to prevent them from getting further you know so they, it's all about strategies and all these things man that they are doing you know to make sure that they don't have a competition but to me i want people always say why are you always in support of the the chinese and i'm not the support but in a sense because to me i prefer them to have two superpowers so that way we the smaller guys can play them against each other in a way and get at least the best deal out of it not just having one power because if you notice from the 70s for all to the now, it's kind of been just one power, just the Western bloc. And these people have done African dirty, man. Like, come on. Mike. Really, Mike. Really why, don't you, Mike. why don't you Mike. be that power to Mike. grant, you know, negotiate Mike. and fight? When we were fighting among our You're nations, suggesting doing full and full and you are doing full and you went back to the past. We, right? we Africans are not serious, man. Tribalism Mike. is what's holding us back, honestly. Mike, but do you believe that we can be a power? You also find that you always a power. Do you know do you know Dubai? The only world we can be I believe we can be a superpower, and the world believes we can you know, you know there are permutations. I was there's a lot of permutation, especially uh, allow around Nigerian resources Niger that Nigeria is going to propel even against the bad governance into a world power, uh, especially off the back of gas. The, 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 all the experts are predicting Nigeria. Nigeria will, it should have gone through already. It's just we're continuously being held back by by the body. Uh, don't don't, don't, you don't, feel, worry, don't you just feel worry. internalizing everything is the way to go. How Thank you. you. This guy has to, see they, that's a brilliant. They, they just say something very brilliant. See, they say they say a proverb. They say if you want to, you mean uh, nationalize? Or, no, it's no. internalize. Internalize. See, see. Yeah, but does it mean? What does that mean? But it, hold on, hold on. What do you mean by that? I say. It means that everything we consume, everything we we we, we use, we make, because if if we don't uh, um, produce everything that we need. We'll still go back to the West, or we'll still go back to China. What no, no, what, what, what's the template for that? What's the template for where, where has that ever happened? Oh, it, it happened, happened in China. It happened Ch in China. China produces everything they, they consume. They produced, they, they locked themselves, they produced everything, and they grow their economy. They didn't depend on anybody. Is it, is of it, course. Uh, uh, that's that's where you a, stop one man. Nigeria, yeah. Nigeria has the technology and expertise to do that. You see, well, yes. this, this China has the technology at that time. We have, we have uh, thank expertise. you. We have the technology. Uh, you you one one man, I don't understand. Yeah. 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 Is this Bo and Arrow? One man, you have to start from inside. You can't start from outside. That's what. Remember when China was starting from inside? The whole world was laughing at them. They were laughing oh, at them, saying China is the uh, poorest China, country in the world. China, they used to laugh through China, China on television. The I, same way North Korea is doing it today. They start from inside. Like we have to be, start from inside. Yeah, we suffer for now. When in the future, nobody will have control over us. But if you are starting from outside, where you are just somebody else rely on somebody else for everything, that outside that will continue to control you based on they will be putting that string because everything you need depends on them. So they continue to put that string. Now, if you're trying to start something internally, they will find ways to cripple you. Is that sanctioning your cuts? So we have to start from within. And there's an African proverb that say, even if you go and read a book about everything about warfare, they say you have to start with yourself inside. Yeah, even want to go to war with anybody, you have to start from and uh, you have to fight, go to war with yourself. Internal issues, internal things, you have to take care of that first. You understand? We need to start developing our own scientists internally, start all those things. So many things we need to focus on, like developing your own uh, science group, science community, science, all those things. But we are not doing that. that Everything was what we I want. suggested to one man, and they want to go abroad and bring uh, fish out the best that run off. Well, everything in Nigeria there, whenever I want to solve problems, we just go to go and find a woman from one country in Europe to come and come and solve it. Why are we going to start look, searching internally, looking for the brilliant brains among us, the gifted? And some people are born with just special genius mind. We need to start with those people looking for them, fishing them out, out of our elementary schools, primary schools, and just start putting them together, pulling them into research. And before you know, that's how you start. They will so, start so learning how to develop where, everything. Where, where do you put them into research? In, in, there in Nigeria, we need to see if, if you go to uh, America, they have some special schools. Like my sister, my younger sister, our last one, yeah, she was yeah, born. Yeah, 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 you're not getting it. The technology, the expertise, the uh, the global best practice, all, all of them are outside of Nigerian shores. Well, my just you so, just so, so, you just made the 
the key, the key, the key, the key point, the problem. You say the the global standard, global. That's our problem. We are focusing on no, global. No, for, no, no, when North Korea wants no, to no, advance, for, for, did they focus forget, on global? Hold on, hold on. Forget, forget, um, forget, um, North Korea, whatever. <laughs> Nigeria cannot close shops because all the things that <laughs> you need for development, they are outside of Nigeria shores. The, the technology is outside of Nigeria's mm. shores. So, so you have to go outside of your country to bring it in, in, internally. The technical knowledge is outside of Nigerian shores. You have to go outside of Nigeria. No, no, I machine, don't think you have to. Which outside. part of my argument are you arguing against? Oh, my. Okay, what, 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 what does, does that stop? Why does outside should stop you from putting your own, uh, it, it it it, it, your it, own it, research it, and it, developing? It, 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 Oh, oh, okay, if you build a research institute uh, in, in, let's say, wherever in Nigeria, how do you equip it? How do you, what do you mean how do you equip? What you mean is, uh, no, 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 equip, only the equipment. Your brain does not need equipment. Your brain is already an equipment. It's already yeah. equipped. Not you understand? Bring, what, 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 what I'm telling you is, no, no, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you build, listen to the question, if okay. you build a research institute, mm -hmm. how do you equip it? Equip with what? What equipment do you need? Research raw them. materials. To, to research the, you don't need equipment. Just need your brain have, to start thinking. We have the raw materials to produce any equipment we need to run as a nation. We have Absolutely. It. It's not even just producing. It's figuring out to woman, woman, woman. The, the, the research, the research institution is to do, is to do a research on how to do something, not woman, to actually. Can I interject? How, how is research done? You just start going to the lab and start studying how things work, how things are built, how, how things are made. That, how do you equip that lab? What do you need? The brain is the equipment, woman. The brain. The brain is the equipment for a lab. Ah, for a lab. Oh, what what is lab? Okay, we are so, talking sorry, about. Let, oh, no, no, let's get back to Grand. I don't know what you're talking. I'm not sure. Well, you can't figure. Well, you know, there's no. Well, you, 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 you can't sit down with scientists and figure out scientific. Uh, no, you, scientists, you, uh, no, you don't know anything. How, how do you, you always no, tell me I don't know anything. How, okay, I'll ask you the question one more time. How do you, how do you equip a research center? How do you equip it? The human brain is what is the equipment in the research center. Oh, Can I answer you. that one, man? No, no, don't Can worry. I answer no, 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 don't worry. <laughs> or, or let you have the answer. The, I don't. I give you my answer. answer. So if you don't understand, you can't no, do no, more no, research no, on my no, answer. I, I don't need to understand your answer. I don't one think man. you understand. All the money, 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 money we are um, making. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on. Um, DOG, how do you how do you equip a research center? One man, I was trying to talk now. Don't bring me down. Come on. Me, me, I haven't said anything. Yeah, let's hear from DOG. DOG, how do you equip a research center? Obviously, um, you look at the researches you want to do and you bring equipment and materials and Absolutely. everything you need for the research. Yes, and it's, it's, everybody it's, that's that, it, isn't it? They bring yeah, and the equipment. people that will be Most doing the research, <laughs> will probably, you can't just bring somebody to come and start researching. They might have the brain, but they have to be trained too. Yeah. And that is why if you go to most of companies, you have to train your brain. Experience, right? One man, they still you train you don't I need to contribute. Software. One man, you need to tap oh. into my brain. Don't they just you know, sometimes. Sometimes. Let's hear Bia. Let's hear Bia. Bia my have that. You think you guys are more We've intelligent? Oh, 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 Giving oh, yeah. you ideas. <laughs> oh, okay, You're going go, round go, and round now. Bia, carry on, carry on. That thing I said before is what Mike has just repeated, and that is where Nigeria need to look into to use all the resources we have we have the best even at home still not the ones that have already escaped we can make use of the brains we have and now then all this money they are looting use it to buy they can afford all this money they're using to bribe the uh, people up and down and all around the world. They use it to buy those good equipments build good schools bring in those good brains to come and train our big brains in nigeria you know invest back home and start manufacturing let's look inwards and not the, the depending on the the the, the west we may suffer for now but i believe without with less corruption and doing the right you know building the right structures and getting people to work diligently tapping the talents in nigeria we we are the best we can do it but go and look outside outside people are not going to do it for us Oma, Oma, let me debunk the uh, uh, argument you just had against me. Uh, 
uh, they need to import uh, equipment. Okay, one often we see one Nigerian boy that design in his own backyard, design one drone or design one kind of technology, right? Did they have to import some kind of thing from somewhere, somewhere for him to oh, figure oh, out how to do that? Oh, 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 it right. doesn't work like that. No, no, you're looking at research from a different spectrum than I'm looking at it. I'm not talking about saying we have to research some kind of uh, 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 the, the uh, secondary school lab kind of research. That's not what I'm telling you. I'm talking about I'm putting talking the human brain together to, to figure something out. About about putting a our genius mind together. We're talking about a university research institute. I'm not talking. Did I say university? I'm not talking no, about that. I'm talking, talking about. about. The, the, for the so level, one who, hold on. Yeah. For, 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 for the uh, level of a Mike, country, you need a functional standard. You, 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 so you guys already know. No, no. You don't seem to. We are just talking across purposes. So because you don't seem to, but, but no, um, the, 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 the way the way you are looking yeah, at things is exactly how the leadership in Nigeria look at things. They believe we can't we can't do anything Mike, without the on, outside bro. world. On, so on, the moment somebody say let's do something you inside, made, they will say, Oh, what do we we need the Western world? We need our America, we need that's, that's the that's the reason. But unfortunately, without can, mentality. Can I say man, something? Forget it, man. Say something mentality. Can I say something? You, 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 you the, don't need equipment. Okay, the, advan the Americans, they didn't need... The, the Americans, brain before... Brain wait, wait. Let me say... Wait, the, the OG. The Americans, before they do anything, they need to go somewhere to go and import something. Eh? The Americans already have technology. Uh, Thank you. How did they get it? Did they have to go somewhere else to get it in to figure it out? Oh, but they are right, advanced. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, let's start from inside so, to the way they did it. Let's take a step back. Why do we have to rely on somebody else before we can get anywhere? And by the way, if you want to know, because that's why you had immigrants, right? Did the Russians have to go import something for they did? They did. They did. They Who did? The Americans. They did. They did from where? They did from Germany. They import from yeah, what, what they import everything they wanted to do. They have to go to Germany to go and get the oh, oh, equipment. Oh, 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 all right, give it up. Don't, don't worry. Let's give it up. Oh, man. Can, can I say something? No, the, the, we just have this problem in Africa where we believe we can't do anything on our own without somebody else. Just give it up. You don't know what you're talking about. No, Roman, you don't see. You always say that, Roman. Can you hold on, everybody, please? Let's hear from Brown Berry. Yes, uh, uh, the argument we were having before was not that we will send uh, the Western people, I mean, people from the Western world to come and help us. We were talking about our best brains that are outside the, the country. That's what we talked about. You understand? So what Mike is saying, I also understand that, but most of these people there, they don't have that, you know, that, that training that these, even these Nigerians outside that, are, that are already exposed has. So we can bring these Nigerians that are already exposed outside to come and start the job. Then also send some send some other other ones that that are in Nigeria into the into the West to go and train them and come back. You know, when we look at China, all they were doing was you know paste, uh, uh, copy and paste, copy and paste. We can start that even with manufacturing. You know, you buy just right now. We don't have. Equipment, farming equipment. We don't do, have. Do you know, do you know that have. the do you know that the Chinese even they had to import this technology that they then copied. Of course they did. Uh -huh. You know, but they, they, they now mastered it. You know, we have brains in Nigeria. There's no doubt about that. But we can we, we can bring these things, and these people will master it and become the master. That even as China is as China is not as China become as not the master. They are not the master as well. So. Don't we have Nigerians abroad that that can do all these long things that we're talking about? That's what, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not saying we should go and bring white people. Like right now, we don't build our roads, we don't build if our railways, we don't build nothing. So if that, we're that, internalizing like anything, if we're internalizing anything, is allowed to bring your citizen home. Is allowed. Yes, that's what we are to saying. Bring your citizen home. But what one man is saying that he's saying that we don't have the equipment. He's talking about uh, um, um, when after the the war, where the Germans moved to US to develop um, rockets and whatsoever. But the truth is, the Germans didn't import any, uh, didn't take their their equipment with them. They took their brains with them. That is the same thing Mike is talking about. No, the brain. no, no, no. But um, understand this: N Nigeria does not have the equipment. If what you are, the heck? If you are oh, 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 can you hold on, please, Mike? Please hold on. Uh, Nigeria does not have the they, they don't have anything for 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 research. You 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 need a brain, of course. But sorry, I'm going to have to excuse this guy. Uh, you need a brain, of course. But with that brain, you need the equipment for that brain to function. So in a lab, 
you, you need stethoscopes, you need machineries, you need equipment, you need software, you need all of these things to come together. So we are not talking about rudimentary, uh, you know, stick and stick and sand thing, isn't well, it? All those things well, you're talking about are yeah. easily produced. It's not well, like how do you produce it? Do you have the technology to produce it? Those guys, Nigeria those guys, guys Nigeria has the technology to produce. To, to, those Nigeria, guys, Nigeria say, has, oh God, if they want to produce it, they have the technology it, it, to produce it. it, it, it those oh, and those really? Nigerians, those we are, Nigerians, even in the UK yourself, yeah. those uh, Nigerians that are building, and we can't uh, say UK is backward. Those Nigerians in, my, in the company I work with right now, they just have to go and import some equipment to work in that lab, and there are softwares. And they've brought in trainers to train us on how to go. Even the equipment are similar, but they do, they do different things. So you have to understand the software. So you want to tell me you want to start building software? Those software is not start. equipment now. I'm, I'm telling you, the equipment that uses software see, to, to software function. Software is not an equipment. My friend, you know they software talk about can software. Software can be made. Software. When we are talking about equipment, we are looking at talking IT. About My friend, hardware. listen. Listen, there are equipment, about. wait, there are equipment that have their own softwares. If you don't know, now you know. There, there are equipment, are equipment software, but that have the software to function. Software is not an issue. Oh my God. Yeah, but but if an, an equipment issue. is different, doesn't that tell you the software it can, it can be, be different from the it can be You know what, I will leave it to, just to, argue. No, I, what, I, what, think, what, I, I think it's going to be a frustrating conversation, so let's just leave it. Well, yeah, it, the, it the, 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 let me say this, let me say this before I get out. Let me say this before I get out, because it's like one wants to ban me. Let me just say this. No, of course I don't want to ban you, but you don't seem to... All right, carry on. You have the space and say what you want to say, but you know, yeah, go on. Okay. I'm saying we need to start from scratch and advance and you guys are telling me you have to go and get equipment to advance if i say start from scratch to advance isn't part of this saying you figure out the equipment you're going to need to advance and you research on how to do the equipment and develop the equipment yourself and then you start from there that's and then you begin to advance so that's what i'm saying when you start from scratch the first equipment you need is your brain to sit down and start thinking where you want to go and from there, your brain will tell you, oh, if you want to get to this point, that point, you have to figure out to design this equipment to get to that point. And you start using your own brain to figure out to develop the equipment. So that's the basis of my whole point. But you guys keep arguing against me about what do you need the equipment, the equipment. So the, 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 am I clear now? Am I really clear on what I'm saying? No, no, People no. People still need training, uh, Mike. People so, still need sorry, training. What, 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 the, what you said was understood from the moment you said it. But it, it just doesn't seem to rhyme with logic as, people, as other people have it. That's not to say it's wrong, but it's not logic. As I would have it, or maybe I may be wrong, but then, you know, that's the whole point. You know, nobody has monopoly on knowledge. So that's uh, Mike's theory to start from scratch. And to, to start from scratch. And yeah, well, remember, and, and I mentioned in the beginning. And, and that's quite popular amongst the comment section as well, because a lot oh, of people are saying, yeah, Mike is right, Mike is right. But I don't see it that way. But, you know. You, uh, and, and there's one keep on I mean in the very beginning. I didn't say just take Nigerians and put them in a lab. I mentioned, I said, go and look for geniuses, people that are born with genius minds. Mm -hmm. Everyone is different. You and I are not compared to people that are geniuses. They're human beings that are born genius every day. You understand? Yes. If you notice things that discover, like you see some abstract technology that's never been seen before, come on out of the blue. Like when this guy designed Facebook out of the blue. You understand? That's human beings are called geniuses. They are, but like two percent of humans are born genius. It, 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 wait it, now, wait. It, it, it did it out of existing technology. But though. not. Let's not focus on that. Let's not focus on that. Let's yeah. not focus on. And uh, at least the first whatever that was based was someone came up with it. What I'm saying is, there's a uh, in scientific society. They say two percent of humans, only two, less than two percent of humans, are born genius every day. A lot geniuses. They are born. So those people exist among all society, and the secret that all these advanced countries have is they go among their people to go and find these people, find them, and each discover them from childhood. In American schools, for example, they have that program where from elementary school they start studying all the children to pick which one of them are born with that genius mind, you understand? And the moment they discover them, they grab them from that childhood and go and put them in that science even, academy. Even in Nigeria, if you're smart, the next thing, U.S. has carried you. We, we have those children born every day in Africa, but the thing is, we don't have that uh, academy, that institution that goes out to discover them and put them into those pr special programs where those children are into, they separate them from other children. They put them together in that, uh, in, in that uh, program. And by the time they grow up, 
that's why you hear America saying new generation of technology. What they are saying is this generation of children just dropped, they just came out of that academy. They're the one that came out with this new generation of technology. No, no, that's and not that's what the that basis means. of that's no, 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 that's oh God. What what are you talking <laughs> about now? Why do you do this? What did I say? The, the new generation technology is nothing to do with this is what this set of our savants have come up they, with. They advance the current technology to another no, generation. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's not what it means. It means that this technology is an advancement of existing technology. It's not yeah, that's what I just said. No, that's you hear things like, no, no, I say you no. hear things like new generation. That means the new yeah. generation that came out of the academy. No, it's not some... the new generation that came out of the academy. It's, it's a new... Oh, okay, just, just go with it's that. A, Let me it's a new generation... Uh, All right, just, just do that. I, well, my, if you don't understand what I'm saying, doesn't mean I'm saying something stupid. This oh, is no, not the first no, time. No, this is no, not the first no, time you go that. If you don't understand what I'm saying, maybe it's so advanced or something for you to get, and you can say that, but don't just say I'm saying something stupid. It's so advanced, yeah, go It's the same thing when I was talking about the old lawyer thing. I'm saying the father was quoting law, but he wasn't interpreting. He said I was saying something stupid. Until no, somebody come and tell you that. Listen, what you Mike have is saying is that can, can until you, you finally got it, and then sometimes maybe saying something that's just can too you, advanced. You, it's not. There's nothing you are saying that is advanced. Now please don't use that language. <laughs> I just say what you have to say, and then let's move the conversation. Well, let's just move on. Let's yeah. move. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Yeah. Maybe Thank this you. kind of conversation with the scientific community. No, we. All right. You of course been a scientist, Abi. We don't know what your credentials are, but we know. Well, we don't know the credentials. Then there's no point arguing, telling me that I'm saying something stupid. You need to. All right, all right, thank you. Let's Mike. move so, on. Though. Yeah, let's, let's move on. on. Let's move it's on. Just, yeah. it's, it's somewhat ludicrous, but uh, to me, <laughs> you know, yeah, to you now, yeah, yeah, yeah it's ludicrous to me. The same right. way I feel like uh, things people say is ludicrous, but I'm not going to tell someone that it's ludicrous and because I don't get if someone is saying something that's maybe I'm not, I'm not really clear but i won't say that person that oh you're ludicrous you're stupid unless <laughs> you know i'm not speaking on uh, conventional wisdom yeah i'm speaking on things more on a you, different area you where like you, you what you have you. to do is what you have to do is if what i'm saying you is not very clear you can just on a spare time go and dig, you dig, dig more into that, yeah, but some things you are saying doesn't make sense mike and you can't make sense to you now i mean what's you your, your level of uh, when they are what, directing you because it sometimes you are so funny, it's not you even go to the comment section and be saying people are boring. I'm yeah, not here to make comedy. Like we are talking serious facts. We are talking about boringness. Sometimes it, you need to accept what people are telling you. You'll be making no, no, a good no, point, no, no, but there are some things it, that you are not correct about, and you have to put that together. But you always believe you know what you are talking about. Sometimes you, you don't know what you are talking about. Honestly. I don't. Ah, if you can you tell me what I'm saying, I don't know what I'm talking about. Then you are you know making a lot of sense. Everybody has been listening to you, but when you make some point talking about generational, they don't need equipment. Even if you want to build equipment, you have to have a prototype on ground that will make them have an idea of what they are trying to do. No, don't open that space again. Yeah, yeah, but sometimes. Let's just. Let's just. Forget it, man. Maybe your group doesn't know. Let's make points, though, but I mean, a lot of my listening thing, I'm not going to put the match with them. It's good to let us. It's too advanced. It's too advanced for you to understand. But let's hear from, let's hear from Grant, who we do understand. So, Grant, let's hear from you. Yeah, we should move on. Just go ahead and tell me and oh, ask oh, me oh, questions. Oh, 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 all right. So, so let me actually, of course, I think you've spoken on uh, the the airlines, which is yes. which was the last talking point. But let me let me go on from you. Then let me go to a yes. uh, to a t. So a t. We were speaking about um uh, Akinwumi Adeshino, who uh a lot of people are now permutating to come into the political space. They bought him APC. Uh, tickets. So, what are you making of that? And do you even agree? Of uh, uh, do you agree with that name as a player in the game? Ete, Ete, bring. Uh, uh, oh, bring all right, me, let's go. Bring to, me let's... back to this question, please. Oh no, that was Ete, but um, because you say... you've not asked me any questions, so. Yeah, I've not asked a lot of people questions. But I, was going to, I was going to a table, but uh, he doesn't seem to be there. But you take that question on then. Okay, I'm just going to yeah. say that uh, Akin Wumi and uh, Emefele. You know, the Emefele one, I think the eyes of the full their, their their eyes are in that position. So they want to destroy him and take him out of there and, and put themselves there before the election. That's what they want to do to him. That's, let me just throw away that and uh, let's move on. For the... Uh, the uh, guy, the former uh, minister of agriculture, I don't think he's, inter he's interested. I don't think he's going to uh, do so low and go to APC. 
for presidency. I mean, they, are, they, they just want to confuse all of them. And this is just a game the, the Northern elites are playing on them. So they're asking this one, go and take, go and, go, go, you know, come up and be president, come up and be president. See, no, become, oh, come on, man. That, that's that, that's just crazy. I mean, he's gonna. I mean, he's a great guy, but I don't think it's gonna. It's, that's not how. That's not the way it's gonna get there. Not not from APC. Uh -oh. Maybe next four years or eight years. You 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 mean additional? Yeah. Y yes. Um. He's a great economist, but I'm not sure that um that is sufficient enough to be a president. You know. Uh. When people people say it's transferable skills, but you know. I, I'm not sure because it, it's so complex being the president of Nigeria. If, it's it's if, more than just a specialism in, in one field. If he starts, if he start, if he start, uh, if he, I mean, if he start, uh, you know, having interest in this, he's gonna he's gonna have to step down from from his position. You understand? He has to. He's uh, uh he's, he's an African Development Bank. He has to step down. So why will he want to put himself through that? Hmm. So he's not he's not as foolish as Mefile. Uh, Oh, 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 all right. Oh, um, that's not going to happen. Oh, all right. He's not going to go through that. He's not going to do that. And the Nigerian uh, airspace, the uh, airline operators, they are saying the cost of fuel has really, and if you just pause for a moment to think about it from 190 naira to 700 naira, you know, they're saying this the price is so astronomical now that they are left with no choice but to park the planes. Effective from Monday, they are parking the planes. So, what are you making of that? Then, just uh, it's just a gift that continues to give the Nigeria, the, the Buhari administration. This, this is the failure of the Buhari administration and and all of them that supported him, all of them that brought him in. You understand? Because we've been hearing that oh, they are stealing oil, but we've never heard this type of eighty percent being stolen. Because when Wiki was saying, what Wiki was saying when he was, you know, going about destroying all those uh, illegal refineries, he was saying that mo most of the high, you know, most of those military men, the high, the high, you know, military men, Navy, they are all involved in all these things, you know, and the government just look away, you know, the corruption in, in, in that oil, oil sector is too, is too deep, it's too deep, and we need someone that will root it. You know, not Buari, but a courageous, a courageous uh, person. You know, I've always, I've always asked, what do we really want? Do we, do, do we want democracy as an Af as African or as Nigerian? Do we want democracy or we want eco economic development? What do we really want? Because all these, uh, you know, because of democracy, because of democracy, we cannot really do anything. That, that's why we are here. Oh, 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 China, oh, oh. Are, we, are we not going to be telling China now that oh, we, should, we should be telling them oh, why you know why you know why you not operating democracy? Are they are they, are they not happy? Are they are they not developing? Are they not prospering? That's that's the question. Uh, but let let me take you from there to this space. Uh, African Action Congress Party fixes June the first to the third for primary elections. So the African Action Congress, as you know, is a Shoure's party. <laughs> but then a curious thing, Shoure uh, re remains suspended and expelled from that uh, party and is still in court to try to get the party back, back from Leonard Zewa. They are holding their conventions in the next few weeks and Shoure is parading himself as the presidential candidate of that party. So how does all of that go together, uh, 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 Brownberry? I don't really know what is going on with you know, with that party. But one thing I want to ask you, you know, I love him, but you know, must you be a pre must you be the president of Nigeria? That's what I don't understand. When some people say, "Oh, I have this ambition that I want to be president of Nigeria," what what is it that you can do that somebody else cannot do? You understand? So, if you really love Nigeria, if you really love the party, must you be the must you be the uh, chairman and also be the president and also be the presidential aspirant? You know. So let's just forget about this uh, presidential ambition and, 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 and set the party on the right path, if not for today, but for the future. Oh, 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 all right. Um, uh, so let me acknowledge um, Alexander Gomez's super chat, which is pointing at Mike. He says, Mike, you have a brilliant mind, no doubt, but you come across our grant and condescending more times. Work on your, young, your deliverance, young man. 
So, so, so yes, I mean, ar arrogance is one thing, just outrightly wrong is the next thing. And then laboring a wrong point is really the frustration. It, the new generation technology is nothing to do with some new kids, um, what they are coming through with. It's an upgrade, as uh, Obi said, and countless other people, it's an upgrade of an existing technology. So this is the new version of something. It's nothing to do with new kids now. It's just so basic. And then you are telling somebody that they are dumb for correcting something that is so basic that you shouldn't even be saying in public. Or this I, I, do, do, I mean, what do, 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 do you see the frustration, D? New generation technology is what new kids, new, new kids that they've put in some uh, uh, lab, this is what they have come up with. No, it's an upgrade of new technology. You need equipment for research, not just your brain. Uh, am, I, am I wrong in that, D? Do you not need oh, equipment yeah. for research? Yeah, I mean, what, 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 that's what I was saying. One man, one man, one man asked one question. One, one man, you are bringing us back into this. Into this no, uh, one man, how many? Because, because, um, let, let me ask you one question, one man. How many technologies that we have today in court uh, was done by, by institution? How many of them? big technologies we have today most of them were done by uh, individual uh, scientists and individuals using their brain and going the extra mile to find way to push their projects for example but television don't you that guys, you know, television, you know, you know, you guys are you not are you not understanding nobody is arguing of course it, it's the brain that does it but what, the, the, the brain the, the brain has to have equipment okay, now let, let me ask you a question where did the, the person that no 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 you do acknowledge the, you, the person no, can, you, can you hold on can you hold on hey, hey, can you hold on does the brain need equipment to carry out what is functioning is it not in from the brain? brain you're going to design your equipment and get your equipment is it not from your thoughts all right Hold on, right. hold on, uh, uh, hold on, uh, Mr. Man. You said that, uh, I mean, if you design anything, most times you design it with something that is not really, uh, it's just, you design with something that is not strong. You know, you, you need, you need, you need, you need to, uh, to build the real equipment. That, was, that doesn't mean that it doesn't, it didn't come from your brain. It came from your brain, of course. You put everything together. Do you, do you know that television was done in a farm? Where did he get equipment? So, okay, that television... Where did he so get did equipment? Use wood yeah. to, did he use that wood? No, no, that he did he use wood and grass. No, he made his equipment. Come on, man. Let's he move on. When, 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 he, when he made that television, so, man, it, it, that was the same television that everybody was using. Everywhere. No, you're not getting... We're talking about the initial technology. Not... not uh, uh, um, so because uh, it was built in the farm, did they use grass it. and tree and branches to build it? <laughs> did he, did he have the location is the farm. Did he have equipment from anybody to invent the location? What is the farm? The location no, where no, he had equipment, equipment, he, he, to, he, equipment he, to finish he had it, a, my brother. He, he had equipment to the television is the marrying of existing already technology to form a new thing. It did not invent everything. It did not invent the wire cables. He did not invent the science that he put together. He did not invent the tube. He did not invent optics, which came out of Iran. You know that optics came out of Iran. You, you, that camera you to invert know, something. Not the word camera, the, the camera. No, that's what I'm, I'm saying. saying. So, so that's that's the that, process. So, so, so but what for the, you to, to no, bring no, no. Can you can you can you stay there? Can you stay there? If you are admitting that he did not invent everything that he put together to make to make uh, a television, then, then you concede then that he needed technology to make it. He didn't get it from anybody. He didn't get it from anybody. He got it did himself. He, did, he, did he invent... Was, see, hold on, hold on. Can you, can, you can, you, can you listen? Can you listen? Can you listen? Can you listen? Because I don't think you are getting the initial argument. Did he invent every component that went into that television? Nobody invents every component. He, he oh, uses oh, oh, any technology. Oh, 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 all right. Did he invent the science that he puts together to create that television? The science of tele television itself. He did. That's why he's no, not no, no, did he, did he, he did. did he, okay. Did he, did he invent optics? Do, do, do you know the word camera? Do you know that? Do you know that? Uh, do you know that television is an? It didn't invent. Yes, 
So, so it's an offshoot of optics. Do you know where that inversion came out? The word camera is an Iranian word. So that's existing science already. The word camera is an Iranian word that came out of Iran. Which Did he get any then. equipment from Iran? Did he no, go no, to no, Iran no, to no, get no, any equipment? No, or did he go to Iran to get any training? Did he go to Iran to get any training? Did he go to Iran to get any training? No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Listen, but he had to understand optics to invent television. Yes, he had to understand it, but he didn't leave his country. No, no, he but that, no, no, hold, hold on. But he did not invent optics. Optics was already See, an egg. Hold on, can you, can you say, let's follow through, just follow through. He did not invent okay. optics. Optics mm -hmm. was existing science already. He did not invent electricity. That was existing science already. He did not mm -hmm. invent the tube cablings and everything. That was existing science already. But he mm -hmm. married those existing science together to invent a new scientific idea. Do, do you agree with that? I agree with that. But the so, argument so, so, is so, so, leaving no, the no, country no. and depending on other people for equipment. That was the argument. That was the argument. No, no. Depending okay, on other countries. I don't know. No, that means you don't get the argument. Okay. Okay. The, the so, argument is that you cannot in isolation. Uh, and, and that was the point. Is, and, uh, he, can you he, he was in isolation. He was in isolation. He wasn't in isolation now. What, what do you mean? He had access to science globally. Uh, he was in isolation. Who, 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 who was in isolation? isolation? And he who thought, in isolation? He thought of, I, he thought of an one, idea. One man, he still doesn't understand. Let's just let understand. That's he, the frustration. They don't understand. That doesn't and understand. And, and they are telling they are you, you that they are dumb. You know, Musk, they don't get it, and they are saying they are dumb. <laughs> Elon Musk invented uh, Tesla with his brain and with his hands. But that does not mean that he will not need other equipment to, to finish it. He's going to yeah. need equipment to finish it. How, if, he's, if he's going to be doing it with his hands, how is he going to finish it? Nobody. What, what, all this invention, all this invention come in people using their brain to study an equipment to now think of, oh, if I put this equipment and this... They and this are offshoots of existing come up with technology. This. They are offshoots. Every new invention is an offshoot of existing I'm not saying technology. that that is wrong. You are not understanding the initial argument. The initial no, argument no, I understand was, the initial one argument. man was saying that we needed to still get uh, things from the US, get things from the West and all that. Then what I'm saying is, is that we don't really need them to push our technology. We I think you absolutely, you absolutely do. You absolutely, today you absolutely do. It's so mad, man. Even, just... even, even the, the, okay, let's say you produce, uh, you plant corn in Nigeria and you want to export it. Do you know that you have to have the know-how of the quality of, uh, of uh, corn consumed in other, other countries uh, to that, to, to, to accept your export. This is not technology. This is just today. You have to follow a, 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 a standard. There is a world standard. So, and that, and that needs, even that needs knowledge, which you do not have as a corn planter. Is in to every middleman, country. middleman. Standard even is as available to as coal. Every I'm looking to start exporting coal. Even there is a standard to coal in everywhere in Europe, everywhere in the world. If yeah, you support, yeah. There is a standard to it. But people won't listen. And that is why God gave you two years and one month for you to is listen. That so you can understand other is people. that a secret? Is it a secret? Is this a secret that we need to go and get from the US to know the standard? Uh, one more, you is know, that's why right. <laughs> that's why right. the yes. knowledge, the knowledge is not secret, but you have to be trained to meet the world standard. You 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 are my, you are saying that we should lock up and and you know start from scratch. They you cannot anybody at all. Yeah, you cannot catch up. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. What we need to do today is to take existing technology and copy and um, copy from and, there. Yeah, and build upon it, just like the whole world is doing, just like China did. We should go and See, start from start of, obviously, years. obviously, you're going to use existing technology. I'm not saying you're not going to use existing technology. What I'm saying is that you don't need to depend on the West. 
you it's need to if you if you do not have that technology you you you, you need to depend the it's technology the knowledge itself is more important than your finished product until your finished product it, is out there yeah, the knowledge to make it is, is more important than the finished product and for you to read that finished product you have to have okay if you want to you said that you're talking about tv for you to build tv you needed to have a uh, knowledge of of, of radio transistor you have you need to you need to have uh, a knowledge of electricity you needed to but have knowledge, knowledge already here we already have those knowledge already in nigeria me don't man. Here. you can't you can't really can't go on like this please can Let's we move, move on. on because <laughs> because all this knowledge already here you you you're acting like nigeria is in the stone age and then us is one kind of space planet nobody's saying that nah, that is what you're saying we need, we need, them. We need, them. We need them we need to take their technology we need to do this all you, you, you know, you're saying you know, to, the knowledge is already here to, to, to do your research you need equipment and those equipment you don't have you have to import them you need software to do your research those software you don't have you have to import them. The expertise to, to use those uh, equipment is not a matter of brain function, it's a matter of know-how. You don't have it, you have to import it. All of Nigeria these things has you have to get. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, so that, that's fine. Uh, uh, it's, 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 it's quite that's, a conversation. Wait, 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 wait. No Wait a minute. Let me let me let me say something. Let, uh, that is a myth anyway. Let let me let me let me explain something to you. Some ten years ago, a country called Indonesia. When you mentioned uh, closing up and focusing inwards, I thought you were talking of something that a country called Indonesia did some ten years ago. You know what they did because Indonesia was part of OPEC. What they did was that they abandoned OPEC. They they they, they said they are no more part of OPEC because they didn't want to export petroleum anymore. Why? Because they have large population, over 200 million people like Nigeria, and they said, we want to use our petroleum to, to convert it into energy to produce finished product. They, that is what they focused on, finished product, instead of crude oil, you know? So because well, finish, when you produce electricity, generate electricity, you diversify your economy somewhat. But depending on crude oil, you, you, it, it, you, you be depending on, uh, what, what do they call it? On, uh, diminishing, uh, uh, commodity. Something that we one day finish. But knowledge, you just build upon it. And that is what, well, that is what I thought you were talking about when you said, uh, to introspect or to 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 go inward. That is the that is what Indonesia did some ten years ago, and it's working very well for them. You see. So, but I didn't know you were saying that we should start from scratch, and start building, building, build all the equipment to scratch. equip all the, all, all the, and then create software scratch. to do research. Because we closed our borders, said, and, and um, what 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 does that even mean? Has <laughs> what does that even mean? No, see, I didn't say we should start from scratch. We should go back to the Stone Age. No. What I said is there are a lot of things, a lot of things that can be produced locally easily. We don't even need um, some fancy equipment and fancy expert. It can be produced locally very well, and we can uh, uh, stick yeah. to that. But the problem about Nigeria is we can every stick to small that. Thing, we can stick to that. Small so, sorry, to hold speak. on. We can stick to able that. To speak in, the 20, in, the, in the 21st yes. century, we can stick to we that. Can stick to that. What are you talking about? If you if you stick to that, you become not Korean. We can produce That's what this is by ourselves. You, 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 Why you, can't we produce? <laughs> okay, let me let me let me use a, a, a toothpick as an example. Why can't we produce? What 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 you Because we don't the equipment. Don't even go no, there you, with toothpick, please. Use toothpick? What are you talking about? What toothpick are we talking oh, about? Use... <laughs> We're talking about growing an economy. <laughs> We're talking about growing an economy. What's to, what's toothpick? I mean, I honestly, toothpick even think, think it's about delusional. Everything if you want to move forward in that country, fine. We might produce what we eat, but why wouldn't we just 
we're going to get the equipment to produce those things and start manufacturing and using our own raw materials to produce. Why do we yes. need to start building you know, some we can do that. machine? We can't do <laughs> and say <laughs> you, 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 you know, need a lab, and then the one. only thing you need is a brain. You don't need equipment in a lab. I mean, it's not a conversation. Is that with possible? Us. Exactly. You know how 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 China got you use your tongue as litmus paper. I mean, uh, come on, man! You use your <laughs> you use um leaves as a stethoscope. What what are we talking about? Or oh, you create yeah. the stethoscope oh, you yourself? Want to where, where, where do you get the equipment <laughs> to build the stethoscope yourself? I mean, you you have to. No, anyway, I, I don't know, man. I, it frustrates me. You know, when I'm that's having that, that's 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 it frustrates me. They are almost all over the world. It, and it, they it, we, we, import. We, as long as we are in the UK, there are countries that produce this thing. They still even go and import from Germany, from everywhere, to bring to the so, place I'm, to I'm, use. Uh, uh, hold on, Mike is back. Mike, why are you saying that I kicked you out when I did not? I did not kick you out. You, left. you threw me backstage now. I was I mean, that not the same as no, kicking somebody off. You, you were on the screen and you left. You, well, anyway, I don't. You no, kick me don't, don't when I was making that. a point. No, threw me no, back no, no, because no, no, you know he didn't no, agree with no, my point. No, I mean, no, no, point no, don't that? say I kicked you out because I did not, and don't say I banned you because I have not. You, that here you are on, you, on the screen. You have your free expression, and I have the right to disagree. You know, you know that's what we do. So, so yeah, well, you've done it to me in the past. Also, I'll, I'll make a point. Disagree. Just like oh, this guy just uh, kicked me off. You know, I mean, he did like two well, times. I have me. never kicked you. Like, off. I mean, if I, I saw somebody, I kick me off. I understand that one, but if I'm making a point, just don't agree. Disagree, frustrate you, just keep, click the button oh, and oh, throw me oh, off. You know, uh, uh, I mean, uh, what's uh, the point of that? We, we no, come to talk, we don't come to agree on everything. No, but, no, I mean, but, that, is that not the whole point? Imagine if we agreed on everything, yeah. Maybe but I mean, morning, like, yeah, you, I know you don't do it to most people, but you do it, you comfortably do it to me a lot. I mean, I, I mean, you feeling, recently you you haven't done it, but you did it to me like three times in the past. I just feel like, no, what's the are you feeling people? Well, you are not arguing about something. You feel like I'm saying something you don't get, and it's just frustrating. You just click the button, just turn me off. But you did it today, though, when I was making that point, just like, okay, this guy oh just kicked me through backstage. Man. I'm like, what's this? Uh, uh, I mean, why would you throw me backstage because I'm saying something? Look, no, if I put you, if you, if I, if I put you backstage, and you're not the first person to, uh, every single day I put several people backstage. But that's so, when they are being rough or something. But this yeah, time I'm just making the point that he didn't run. agree. Just threw uh, me backstage. Oh, 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 all right. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, uh, so, so, so the, to carry on. Uh, no, it, it was, uh, oh, all right. So, so that's yeah. but but yeah. but. I, I have not banned you, and I'm not likely to have. The only thing that would make me ban anybody, so this is for Mike and everyone else. The only thing that would make me ban anybody is just bad language. That's all. Anything outside of that, I won't ban. I won't, especially or if you attack somebody in in too personal a manner. That's those are the only two reasons. But disagreement, or why would I push me as I push you? You know, that's just that I, I say that all the time. So, 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 so that's it right there. So, Thank so you. carry on. Uh, one, 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 yeah. one, one more. I think with yeah. all this equipment and equipment we are talking about, I think the, 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 the number one sector that needs to come back, that needs to come back, and that the government needs to work on in any way, even if to sacrifice everything to to bring to 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 light is the steel company because any country that, that does not have a steel manufacturing company we cannot really go anywhere because that's isn't, very, very it, isn't it a shame you know we have some of the world's largest steel deposits in you know Ajakuta now yeah I, I, I think it it is only one it is the only one i really get my point when we say we need something they'll say we need equipment to, yes, yes. The, the, wait, wait, let me learn. You say the brain needs equipment. So the equipment that was we made wasn't, wasn't the brain Mike. that created the equipment. Mike, don't take so, us Mike, back. Wait, wait, wait don't. No, I'm not talking to you, man. I'm talking to one man. Don't yes, say so you're not talking to me. No, I'm not talking to you. you. you if we have a, a, if you want me to talk, talk to you, go and create your own show. I'll come there and talk to you. If I come here to talk, talking to one man, don't tell me what to say. All right, let let Mike just somebody's talking. But don't tell me what not to say. What if you want to interject what I'm saying? That's fine. But don't say don't say this, Mike. Don't say that. You you say I put you back, but. Mike, <laughs> have this. Uh, let Mike say what you want to say. Just land your point. Oh, but oh, obviously the right language. But land your point. Yeah. Everything that has to be made for technology to advance mm -hmm. require human brain. Whether the equipment to make it or anything to make it, you need the brain to make that equipment. You need the brain to make every piece of it. Now it may not be one person that will create everything. And that's what I made it earlier. That's why I said it earlier that you take all the genius minds. 
put them in an academy. From that academy, one brain will discover this piece of the part of the equipment. Another brain will discover another piece part of the equipment. Whatever is needed, whether it's the equipment or the finished products, you still need the brain from the scratch. The brain is the ultimate equipment that will create all the components. And that's all we need in Africa. And then when someone is saying, oh, the global standard, oh, you still need the standard. Why do we have to follow European standard? Why do you have to follow someone else's standard? What makes you think the way the West or other country, continent are doing technology? What makes you think Africa, if we start to use our own unique way, we can't come up with different manner of technology or different way of doing things or just different way? Why do we have to follow no, someone no, else's you, standard? You, you have, you, because uh, science is global. I, I used the example of uh, optics in, in my conversation with a, with a T. And I was saying that um, if you go and research the word camera, it, it's an Iranian word, it's a Persian word. Uh, to invert something optically through uh, a narrow needle funnel to then recreate an image, it was first discovered in um, in Iran. But that is part of global poly uh, science now. So that's then elevated to create the television, which I think came out of America. So, so that is an evolution of a science that came from a different region, evolved into a new science that comes from a different region. The, uh, the first time that... Um, a, a computer signaled to another. I think that was in Oxford in the in the United Kingdom. But then um, the internet as we know it now came out of America. Do, do you see? So so mm -hmm. you cannot just go and and from the sticks and arrows say you want to start from stick and arrows. Yes, if you want to advance on your, you have to start. Your oh, brain oh, have oh, to oh, start oh. from stick and arrow. For every oh, point, oh, you, oh, whatever oh, point oh, you are right, in, you but, have to start no, from but, 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 but that's your view. So, so, but that's not that's not my view, though. And, but, and you made you have a point. You have a point saying, yeah. yeah. In, 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 in many cases, in many cases, yes, you have to look at how some some things are done. But there are some other cases where a technology does already exist. A new version of this was done with a completely different kind of material, and in a more advanced manner so not everything has to be done in sequence with the others that's already been done there are other things that actually were done with all completely different kind of material yeah but, but, you mentioned but, the example but, but, of the but understanding the scientific space though not inventing the scientific space but understanding the scientific space well, can you, so invent you, new, you can invent new model who, who can tell what's possible out there what's the possibility is unlimited science though exactly so can be, can, we can't we can't are still offshoot of uh, something that is existing oh my you, you know i was i was, I was having a, a those of us will not go to more talk now. you know there's there's um i was having a conversation with uh with a French girl, uh, this is many, 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 many years ago, and she said something to me that struck. So she, she, uh, we were having a conversation, and I said somebody in French said something or created something, and and she was saying to me that that look, you know that nothing is really created, because everything that is created it is already a possibility for it to be a a thing. And that's so, my argument. You, you know, so so so, so 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 yes, so. Everything is an offshoot of something that is already existing. We already, anyway, um, you have the final word on that space, and then let we we'll move on. Have the final word, uh, Mike. Uh, the final word is not everything. It's an offshoot of everything because something had to. We started from Stone Age, just like you mentioned, the Stone Age. Now everything start. These things that started like the first, maybe let's say the first car, or even the first wheel. Someone, first person had to make it, and then people from there took it and evolved. Uh, was the word uh, evolve it from there? So we can't. So that kills the argument about oh, everything that exists is an offshoot of something else, not necessarily. So the power of the imagination is there's possibility of anything, something that does there's things in this world right now that doesn't exist that possibly can exist. And what makes you think the possibility, the actual uh, realization of it cannot come from the mind of an African? Why is it that an African nobody has, be a said, scientist? No, no, nobody has said that medical science? But the base, the base argument I'm feeling, the yeah. base argument I'm feeling from you guys is we have to go out there before us to advance or do anything <laughs> or to, to to engage science. The science mind, we have no, to go out there. We have to look out there. No, 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 Mike, can I come in? No, no. Mike. What what what, what Mike. has been said is that you cannot exist outside of the intern. You cannot. Be an isolationist outside of existing knowledge. You cannot be an isolationist it, outside it, of existing knowledge. But let's just abandon that space. I gave you the final word, unless you want to add on to it. Add on well, to it, and then I'll, I'll leave that space. Yeah. Well, the 
uh, in other countries, the first, the Western countries, they didn't need anybody else before they started from the scratch. So that's. Ah, I just gave you the example so. of Iran. Do, do you think the Western countries invented science? No one. In, the, the brain invented science. The human brain is science. In the first oh, right. Place. So, so, so forget the Western countries. In fact, the, the, first, the science the first... of the Western country is the culmination of global science. The numbers but, but, one, but, but, hold on, but, but, hold on. The numbers one to nine, they came out of the Iran. The number zero came out of India. You are making the accusation of I'm saying we should isolate. I never made an argument. I'm just saying we should focus on our own institute, our own minds. And whatever we can take from us, I take from us. Whatever you can invent on your own, invent on your own. You don't need to follow someone do, else. Do, do you know it's that unnecessary. Do you it's know not, that it's not necessary. It's an Arabian concept. Do you know whatever, that mathematics... I don't disagree with that. But so, what so, I'm so saying what is... What are you saying? What I'm saying is you keep telling me that we need equipment from someone else in order for us to advance. We don't need, we can, you can create our own equipment, we can do it. What the, the genius mind, the mind of a genius should not be questioned. If we put our genius's brain to work, we don't have to wait for the uh, access to whatever world before we know that we need to get our geniuses, our daily, our daily, everyday born geniuses. Focus on their invest on their brain and put them to work. Let, them, let their brain go to work. There's no need to be questioning the mind of a genius. We have geniuses in Africa. We are not invest investing in them because you, you, we believe that they, they can't must, do anything you, unless you, you, we you use the white man. Them. No, no, you must no, forget. Unless we have, man. unless we involve the white man. That's a pedestrian. Don't pedestrianize the conversation. But you must start question the mind of everybody, including a genius. You must <laughs> never. No, no, no. You must never. And, and that is that is what propels progress. You must never uh, abdicate uh, criticism or, 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 or disbelief, you know? If you question the mind of a genius, then that, forces, that pushes his mind even more. And if it's right, then you ultimately, by factually manifesting, prove it. What do you mean you cannot question? Of course, you question everybody's mind. I question yours, you question mine. Uh, but uh, so, so thank you. But you say, but so... You know, free for all, but uh, there it is right there. Uh, but uh, where, where we are, uh, I've even lost track of our uh, micas are completely. Yeah, it's brown berry. Yeah, they are scrambled. We need another scientist. Yes, we need another scientist. Well, Omar, do you know that if you're going to study history of uh, science, came from philosophy, right? From philosophers, mm -hmm. right? Do you know that if you're going to study the history of... We are, we are looking for wait, solution to Nigeria. Wait, listen, let, let me... Hold on, Omar, hold on. Omar, hold on. Omar, hold on. Let, let him make his point. Yeah, go on. Omar, yeah. if you're going to study the history of uh, philosophy, right? Like those people that make breakthroughs, as far as the philosophers that came up with all the ideas that change society. Do you know that most of them, if not virtually, in the beginning of time, they used to execute almost all of them from Socrates. Yes, yes. You know they used to call them witchcraft. Yeah, and when I was taking philosophy in college, right, they told me, they said, listen, man, if you're a philosopher, don't go and be talking around nine people because 80% of them will try to kill you because everything you're saying will just sound so annoying and they will say what we're doing here. And that's what we're doing here. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, man. This is it. You know, there's nothing. You know, when you talk about frustration, do you know what frustration is? Frustration is a no nothing that insists that is a no it all. You, you know that kills you, Somebody and that's why they knows, kill philosophers because you when know, philosophers are start talking, the people will like, You don't understand this guy, man. This guy is crazy. No, this guy is crazy. He's crazy. Let's kill him. Or you frustrate their mind, you know. Oh, oh, oh. Mike, I love you, man. <laughs> That's Mike now. So how, how can I ban somebody like this? It's impossible now. <laughs> Just the, the madness. He, he, he actually thinks he's clever. This is the real, oh, okay. the real joke of it all. The real, the real <laughs> comedy of it all. He thinks he's clever. But uh, let's go back to Brownberry and take him to Oyedepo, who now says that uh, contesting for Nigerian president is a demotion for me. So that's Bishop Oyedeko, and I think it's clapping in the direction of uh, Tunde Bakari, who has picked up the uh, presidential nomination form for uh, APC. So what are you then making at uh, uh, that uh, pistols at dawn? On the okay, I'm, go yeah. I'm going to clear this uh, this clergyman's uh, gra gra before I come back to the uh, the steel uh, manufacturing I was talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, uh, Pastor Tunde Bakari, I don't understand him at all. I don't know how God is telling him every time that he is he's the one that will become the 16th president or 6th president, whatever he's saying. And uh, for Bishop Oyedipo, I think it's just uh, 
because he, he, I mean, if you are a man of God, you, you just so, it's, you, you, you kind of take him back. Like, why would this man be saying that uh, God has called him? He's not going to APC, 100 million. I mean, I mean, that man, I don't know if they are, if they are all right. I mean, a lot of people in Nigeria has to be, they have to be checked, you know? So let's move away from that. Let's talk about how Nigeria will move forward. Uh, For uh, me, uh, yeah, go on. like I was saying before, you know, whatever we want to do, even if it's building a house, nails, zinc, iron, uh, uh, vehicle, want to be the vehicle, man, uh, machinery, equipment, whatever, we need steel. We need steel. That's one... 50% of the reason why Nigeria is poor is because we don't have manif steel manufacturing company. Not just company. I we, I'm talking about the the, the, the re, like the one they were building in Nigeria, Kuta. Like the one they are destroying right now in uh, Ukraine. Like the one that you, uh, Russia has. We have that one. You know, but for some reason, I don't know what's going on. They say, oh, they've already given to these people. Oh, they are, the, the matter is in court. I don't care. I don't care what it is. You know, we need a government that will be, you know, that will have the political will to, to settle these things. You know, pay whatever you need to pay and make sure that this thing gets started as soon as possible so that Nigeria can start moving away from this uh, 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 problem, this poverty, you know, because we cannot just be importing everything, importing everything, you know, we import everything, steals, mostly steals. We can't because everything the, everything we do in Nigeria, I mean, everything that the nation does is steel, 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 is it building anything? So that, because we, we need to, we need to, that's for me, that, 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 Jakuta is very, is, is the most important thing that any government should come and sort out immediately. Well, well, why do you think they keep on frustrating that Jakuta? Because, because they've been on it since Bob Babangida era and, and every single... They've privatized it, they've nationalized it, they've sold it and bought it back, but yeah. it's not even produced one nail. Yeah, because the the the, the, the West are also their food their food is also on it. You know, because they know that's one of the, well, well, one of the well, well, when are we going to stop blaming the West no, for no, no. everything? Hold on. No, no, because, no. Because we have corrupt because we have corrupt politicians that have no political will. That's it. That's that's the reason. It does not matter if the, if the West has their hands in it. If Paul Kigami, no, if, if Paul Kigami was the head of the of, of Nigeria, would, would he would do anything to make sure that you know that thing starts working? Brown is so, is a little bit more complex than that. You see, so, Ajokuta Ajokuta was Ajokuta Steel Mill was built by Soviet Union, by Russia. Yeah, you know. So before before it started operation, this uh, when it was when when he, when he, when it was finished. It was like 90% finished, but the part to, you know, put it into, into, to, to make it to work, were, were parts that are manufactured by that uh, uh, Soviet company. Now, uh, they, they built it up to the, up to the point they had an agreement with the Nigerian government and they left. So what happened was that the Soviet Union fell you know, the Soviet Union ceased to exist, and that complicated issue. So many other companies, internet multinationals, came were invited to take to take it over somehow, but they said that it would need a huge investment because those parts that were supposed to the, 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 first of all the technology is old, mm -hmm. it's, it's, out, it's outdated. So and the parts that they need to make it function today can only be found in Russia, was built by a Russian company, can only be found in Russia. And uh, the, uh, another, another, another way to do it was to, you know, bring it down and build a whole new, a whole new uh, mill, which, is, which will cost a lot of money. So no, nobody wanted, wanted to take it unless Nigerian government would pay for the building and then hand it over to uh, and, and a multinational operator. So that was the thing. And then Russia was invited, even in this Buhari administration, was invited to look at it again. And they were getting close to, you know, having a deal. And now you have the Russian war, and Russia is now cut off of the, the, the rest of the world, and the, the thing is stalled again. So it is very, very complex. It is very complex to resolve. And that is the same story in 
many sectors in Nigeria in, 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 in Nigeria about our natural resources. That is the same story, you know, mismanagement and 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 you know countries don't do that. Countries they, they just invite uh, uh, they invite people with the expertise to produce the commodity they need to build their economy because steel, like you said, is the backbone of almost every economy on the face of the planet. Yes. It is. It is. Everything you Maybe US... they should give that a Jaukota to Dangote. He seems to be the only Nigerian that knows what he's doing. Anybody that can do it right now, anybody. Doesn't really matter. Whatever they will spend to fix it. Yeah, but it will. It will need a, a huge injection of of funds. Nigeria has the and money. They, let's let's do it. But they will not do it. Now you have to understand the Nigerian system is is uh, is lazy. It's lazy. They don't they don't think about. They don't think beyond two years. So what? That's why they go and borrow money just to spend it, and they just keep piling let up let the us, debt. Let Let us audit what we have in Nigeria for a moment. We have oil to the first five percent, top five, seven oil producing country. Gas tops ten percent. We have steel. How how can we have all these things and be the way we are? How, how is that, you're not even talking about the the the, the granite, the uh, the stones, the gold. We have granite. We have gold. gold. We, we have emerald in the I mean, north. This is sickening, man. How, 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 how can we be the what? way we are? How, how is it possible? Do you know we even have lithium that is one of the new technologies that is that will be running cars right now. We have lithium deposits. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't I, it's just like uh, sometimes it's like uh, something is wrong. I, I just asked myself. So, you mean it's like something is wrong. Something, something is, is wrong. wrong. And leadership. I think because we have governments that are not focused and they are just focused about their pocket, they are You know so they don't have a single thing in it. They are concentrated um, on the uh, crude oil. So they forgot about all other stuffs that can actually bring more to the system and create job opportunity for the citizens. The oil they just want to sell the crude and get the money, and you rest can go and so do whatever. They don't care. Do, do, you know yeah, they they don't a, do you know they don't have a single resource in England? Not one. Uh, yeah, they, 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 they have a little bit, a woman. They have a little bit. What do they it's have? Got, in Scotland, they have no. gas and a little no, bit of oil. I said in England. I said in England. Not to, not to sustain, Tony, not to sustain the economy. You know, you know the economies that are man, 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 that are, they don't, they don't that, have a single thing in England. Yeah, the, the okay. economies. So the question that, that woman just asked, can I have a, so can I answer you, woman? Why you say we are like that? No, wait, yeah, no wait. we already know. You want wait. to do full and again, Abi? The quota system. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, Tony. You know, you know, there are countries that are, are focused in manufacturing. They are manufacturing economies, and there are countries yeah. that are consuming yeah. and, uh, you know, commerce commerce based economy. That is what UK is. It's not a manufacturing. In Europe, you have manufacturing economies like like Germany, uh, Germany uh, Italy, France. Italy, Italy doesn't manufacture anything. They do. They manufacture a lot. You mean industrialized so, economy? Not in the industrial. Bringing it all together, the commerce and the manufacturing, that is what we call the industry. Anything that produces a lot of money, we call it industry. So what, what I'm saying is, yeah, focus. Like the U.S. now has turned in from manufacturing to consuming economy. Yeah, but it's still economy. It is, it's still economy. It's just to develop and focus on that. So what what we did not get right in Nigeria is that we we never decided. It was we were we, we, like I said, our governments have always been lazy. You go, you sell. <laughs> you sell. Do, do you know why? Do, do you know why? Just like you guys made point earlier, say we have go, we have all these things, or well, we don't know what to do. It's because we are waiting for one of you women to come in and show us what to do. That's why. We just believe somebody. Nobody can, said we both press the mic. No, no, we, we, I'm no, not saying you guys. I'm just saying our the government, no, people that rule no, us. No, no, they don't but, believe in the people. I, I, no, I, I don't really think that's enough. Um, I, I think no, no, that's not. I, I, no, I think it may be more complex than just waiting for you both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah what are they waiting for? No, I, 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 no, I think it's resource it's leadership control. failure, my brother. It's, and it's leadership failure. You don't need an no Oibo man to, no to dig gold now. No, no, hold on. You have all these things there, right? But we're not doing anything with them. So yes. what are they what, what what are they waiting for? Obviously they are waiting for your Ibo man. I will come there and show them. Okay, no, this is what you do. You have to if, dig if, it like if, this. No, oh, oh, Ibo man now. Like, like, can somebody give an idea what Nigerian government are waiting for? 
They're, because they're obviously, obviously, they're, 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 they're not they are not uh, the president, the people in the government, they are not they are not Mike, the scientists, they are not to, wait, let me let me make my point. It's simple. Have you, have you, let, 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 let me let me let me let me tell you what they are waiting for. You, you, you it's bad leadership, like somebody just said now. It's bad leadership. And, it's, and it's corruption as well. So these people they, they are they are richer than they will ever the richest people in, in the world are probably in Nigeria. They are richer than they will ever be, and they are just getting all of that money for from the oil. So they they don't see beyond that. They don't. So want they don't want the money from the other resources. No, no, they me. don't want. They don't want to. They do don't want the, no, they, they don't know what to do. That's what it is. No, they no, don't know what to not, do. What do you mean they don't know what to do? They don't know. No, no, come on. Don't say they don't know what to do. Now, what to do is it's not a new thing to space and time. One more, you're telling Mike, me if they know how to go and no, get those they, things and make money, they won't go and do it. They won't go and get Mike, it. They don't, they Mike, don't know, Mike. They don't know what to do to dig gold. They don't, they don't know. know. They don't know. They don't know they the technology. They don't know. They don't know. Uh, Mike, they, 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 can I just interject? No, can no, I interject? They, 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 can I interject a little bit? Oh, Mike, Tony, you have to be consistent. Wait, let me, let me just run up. Okay, I'll be consistent. I'll be consistent, sir. I'll be consistent. I'll be consistent. No, no, hold on. But, Tony, it's not like I don't want to hear your voice, but you have to be consistent with where the conversation is. That's okay. just the one thing I require of you because you always seem to deviate us to some narrow <laughs> field. You know, no. we don't want to go to some. <laughs> Just okay. stay with where the conversation is rather than just right, take us to full and okay, black men are dumb. Okay, or, okay, you know, okay, sir. Yeah. As I would do that tonight. So, okay, no, no, but uh, don't do that for the just because that's not what we are doing here. We're not doing full and chanting. Okay, sir. I get you, sir. I get you, sir. Motivo, 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 motivo. Conversation that Mike just had. That's high. That okay. level of high functioning. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I hope that you will see my. You know, that you saw my comments. You know, I said that uh, Mike today is the best. Ever, you know that he has you know that has come out of mike mike was dealing with the subject you know it was too you know more than uh, you know excellent you know mike thank you very much because uh, i see that he was battle he was you know so he was battling how they were trying to target you but you know you you already said it like we abroad we that went to polytechnic universities and you know etc we can we can make the country work well you know but the government and so no those people that are, they are not government those people who are those gangsters that are holding us uh, hostage in Nigeria, they should let us come back home and then uh, develop, uh, you know, the country. So I think Obasanjo was nearly that point. That's why I, I, you know, I keep repeating that uh, that top ten missing that top ten it was the biggest error we have, you know, we have it's ever not made in our life. It's not constitutional. What do you mean missing? No. Uh -huh. There's no constitution in Nigeria because oh, God. There, there's no constitution because that constitution was imposed on us. So oh. as a result, any strong man like Obasanjo could could be allowed to continue, you know, because this guy was president trying president for life, Abi. President for life. <laughs> oh yes, like Putin, ah. like uh, like uh, like China, uh, Xi Jinping. Let uh, as long as the common man is feeling the you know the impact, you know, you know what I'm saying. So you see, now today people are talking about anybody that talks nonsense about Obasanjo, I will want to come and. By the person, you know, you know, through the phone, you know what I'm saying, because you, you, you know what I'm saying. But you know, you know, because that guy, if you look at the NEPAD, National Economic Development for you know for Africa Development, all those uh, market development loans, things like that, that is what we need. You know what I'm saying. Do you know that uh, this useless woman, this woman they call Sadiki Yarak, this beautiful woman from the north, do you know that she she spent fifty billion dollars or five billion and uh, naira on a uh, twenty one hundred seventy uh, uh, computer, uh, you know, uh, uh, technicians in Nigeria right now. This no, Sadiq, she did not, no, she did not. Sadiq Farouk, 170 people. He said he trained, they took five billion for that. So, you know, you know, Basha just time, Obasha just was the only guy that can, uh, you know, that can arrest a governor that belongs to his party. You know what I'm saying, sir? You, you, you know, that's what I'm saying. So, like, uh, Ajakuta, people did not understand it because, like, my most of look. Three of my uncles, they went to the University of Bini, they graduated as petroleum engineer, they have no chance to work in Nigeria, they have to go back to this place. So the situation in Nigeria is very bad, everybody wants to just go abroad, you know, to survive because, you know, there is no government. One thing is to be having a government in place, and there will be now debating whether the government is good or not, but in Nigeria case, there is no government. So when we are talking about government, there's no chance. And then uh, for the Akiwumina, going to APC, you can see that... Uh, it's leading us nowhere. 
It's not, it's still not so nowhere. So that's it, my woman. So maybe I wait for my turn later. Thank you, sir. Uh, woman, right, what do you mean? Uh, 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 what do you mean? I can't tell you. Tony was talking about Sadia, is it Sadia mm. Farouk? Mm. And the, the corruption, the whole mass corruption going on in his, uh, his ministry. Mm. What, what do you have against him? Huh? I mean, he was trying to tell you about the no. He said, he said he used fifty billion to train. No, no, five and billion, some, uh, five billion, yeah, five billion that, that wasn't true. So that's okay, what okay, I, okay. yeah, okay. because you know, I, I like to stick with facts, you know. So okay. right. yeah, but uh, no, no, no. She used, I think, whatever billion naira to train people to repair phones. So that just tells you that she stole the money, and she's telling us, <laughs> "I've stolen this money." What can yes. you do about it? But then they all do the, uh, oh my God! To repair phones, she spent. I don't. Yes. I can't remember the figure. Is it that five billion or seven billion or one point? Yeah, billion yeah just uh, yes. Yeah, so, you you to know, train to, one person to, re to repair phones. Less than two hundred, two hundred, two hundred people to, mm. to 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 repair phones, not to send them to university or to repair phones. Yes, that's that's so, so, so that's that's the thing. You see, you see one, the one problem. Week, well, you one see, week, one week, something. You, go on. You, you see, the the, the problem. The problem is, uh, in the seventies in Nigeria, we 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 had that sense of uh, abundance of resources, that that money was there, and this and this is the same culture that continued with successive governments up to today. Because, as they say, necessity is the father of all create, father and mother of all creation. If, like somebody was saying, why, why did, why did we, why are not we not uh, using those other mineral resources we have? Because there is petroleum, and it's so easy. You just pump it out, sell it. They give you raw cash, and you spend it, and just it is, it is it, because human human beings. Uh, would always prefer to 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 you know take the easier route in life. It, so that is why I said it is laziness. They, they are too lazy to think out of the box. Nigeria, if Nigeria doesn't want to manufacture anything, Nigeria can become like a, 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 a commerce-based economy. If you want to, if you want to do that, okay, you do it. Your people work, they consume, they have to eat. We have the population. You, you tax them. You use the, the, tax, the, the, the tax revenue to develop the, the nation, which is something China did in the, in the 60s and the 70s. What they did was that they threw almost everything they had in education, mass education, mass Thank education. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Mass-based education. They knew that they could not catch up with the West if they would compete with the West, like inventing what, what Mike was saying, using their own technology, developing their own, they could not. So what they did was that they invested massively in math-based education. They said, okay, these people, they, they, like, they like good life. They don't want to work. What we're going to do is that we're going to train these people, produce massively what they like, and we, we, we get them hooked up on it, and then we make money off of them. And that is they invested China in did. their people, right? They trusted in their people yeah. and they invested in them. Yeah, but you have to understand. They invested in their geniuses too. You know? So, they, yeah, yeah, unfortunately, yeah. in Africa, they don't believe in their people. Mike, Mike, listen, listen, listen. What you have to understand is that if you go to the... You, I don't know where you, where, you, where you stay, but in the UK now, in the US, if you go to any, any serious institution or university, you will find a lot of Chinese. That is what they did. They, they send their they, people abroad. Exactly. To but learn that this? technology, to learn that technology, come home, but when they come home, they are treated like, like they're supposed to be treated. And so what will happen in the, in the, at, the, at the early stages of Industrial Revolution, it was based in the UK, right? It was based in the UK. UK uh, uh, manufactured, the, they, they manufactured the first radio, they took it to Japan. And in less than 20 years, Japan was the largest producer of transistor radio in the world. The, 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 so the cost of producing that radio in the UK was so high that they just go and buy a cheap radio made, of, made in Japan. That is what China did in the, in the 80s. And that is why China is where it is. At a point, China would become a consuming economy. They, wouldn't, they would not need to depend so much on, on manufacturing. 
because people want to do light jobs. They don't want to work in factories the whole day, 24 hours, you know, fixing up wires and stuff. That is when it, that, that, that is where Africa comes in. But we, for us to do that, we need to start investing in education, primary math-based education, massively. But if I tell you that the, 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 quant the, the quantity of fund we spend both in federal level and state level, buying SUV for politicians is more than what we invest in education of over 200 million people. You will middleman. not believe. Middleman, can I ask you a yeah. question? <clears throat> Come on, bring it up. Yeah, I heard you said a lot of things. Um, now, uh, first of all, there are two questions I want to ask you. We're talking about a presidential election coming, coming, uh, mm. coming forth. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody's still more like aspirant now. Now, mm -hmm. what should be the yardstick for each aspirant in becoming a presidential candidate? Should they not be talking about their policies, uh, their plans for the country as a yardstick for eventually being voted during the primaries? Or what is your view on that? And then two, yeah, they, yeah. hold on, hold on, two. Second question I want to ask you is this. So far, I've listened to two people so far who have really spoken, maybe, well, I would say three, but the other third person I don't think is really that serious, the way he goes about it. So anyway, talking about Obi and Shore. Mm. Now, these two people have listened to the economic plan. From what you've said about mass education and all of that, how China got to where they are, be, or, or the country you mentioned, I think it was China, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. So they, 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 they did mass education. I listened to Obi. Obi was only talking about investment, investment. No, he... Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you, if you have anything contrary, you can say that. I will say that's what, had, that, that's what I've had so far. Uh, yeah. Education, I mean, uh, investment, SME, SME, SME. You give money to SME. I mean, you're giving, mo you're giving money to a population that is not skilled. I mean, you can say maybe they're entrepreneurial like. I, I don't know if they'll start, they'll, they'll always buy stuff from China or from other countries. The money's still going out, they will have to do with business. So he has not, yeah, I've not yeah. really had him talk about uh, educating the populace, mass education. But she will yeah. talk about mass education. So these two people, yeah. mm. considering these two people, who do you think uh, uh, the policy or their plan rhymes with what you just said? Let's take it from there. Uh, I've, heard, I've heard both people, and they both talked about education. For being, has talked about education. Now, if I would vote, if I if I had the opportunity to vote Nigerian, not because I'm I'm Igbo, I would vote OB, and I'll tell you why. You see, what Nigeria needs, what when he says uh, when he says uh, he's giving these small soft loans, it is what Nigeria people are hungry. People have to be alive first. A, a, a father has a father and a mother has to have that tiny little business in order to sustain their family. And if the family can be sustained, that means the education in that family can be sustained. That is number one. So that is why that is important. People, we have got, that is the point we have gotten to in Nigeria right now. Eating first, eating, feeding, feeding ourselves. So that is how bad it is. So that is why it is important to invest in small scale business in small scale, even if somebody uh, selling suya or akara, if he feeds his family, for now it is good because that, uh, that reduces, uh, that, that creates a chain economy. It creates that chain economy up to the guy that produces the beans with which the, the woman fries akara on the street. So uh, 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 that, 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 is, that is one aspect of it. Now, wh why I said I would vote for OB and that Nigeria needs a president like this is that he is a he is a kind of uh, 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 person that is you know like one plus one equals two and two minus two equals zero, and it can get to zero. You have to you, you have to cut your coat according to your 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 size and spend according to your you know your capacity. You have to invest in 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 in. Invest in for, for you know first things first kind of person 
That is what I think Nigeria believes. This, that's why I mentioned when I said that we still live in the illusion that we, have, we are a rich country. We, we, we keep saying we are, Nigeria is a rich country. We are not. We are a poor country. And we have to start accepting that, start living like that, so that we, we can uh, have a window for these other kinds of, uh, of areas, especially education we're talking about. But let me tell you this. From this, from this century forward, any country that does not invest massively in education doesn't stand the slightest shred of, of, of chance. I'm telling you, that society will collapse. That country will, 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 will not make it. It will not catch up. It will not be able because the competing, you know, we're in a competing world we live in right now. So any country that does not invest massively in education uh, that country is, doesn't have a bright future. And that is why I said uh, initially that our politicians, our leaders, they don't think beyond two years. If, 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 if something doesn't look, because invest, investing in education will not give you votes, will not give you more, more votes than building a, a, some, maybe flyover or something. You can say, oh, I think it's a good road to debut. <laughs> Yeah, so we don't have a long, a long, uh, we just have a short term plan. We don't have a long term plan. Madam, can I say something to you? <laughs> you only you addressed mm. it, I, I think that's how you say it. Um, my, I've listened to Obi. I understand what you said. People are hungry, people need money, need, they need to feed their family. <laughs> Now, you need to understand the plight Nigeria finds itself in. Nigeria has, is immersed in debt, like heavily indebted. Yeah. Uh, this, whoever is coming in after this guy that is there has an equivalent yeah. tax to, on his shoulder. Now, we keep saying maybe it will be because he's being an economist. Now, I've listened to his, whatever he said he has as plans for the Nigerians. All I've had him, him and more. Both of them, they've heavily talked about SMEs, 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 which is, I mean, I'm not saying it's uh, in an ideal situation. I mean, Nigeria does not have that heavy, heavy debt that we have. We're not in this that situation we find ourselves. Maybe that would have been more better. You could have done that. So what my point is, yes. is going to have very limited resources with, with, with the way the situation is right now. Maybe except maybe if he's able to block those loopholes. Me, one is clicking. Hold on, I'll yeah. let you speak. Those loopholes. But going by the status quo right now. So, right now, mind. Define the SME for those that don't know. For small, uh, is it small scale enterprise or small scale scale business? So, uh, yeah. Small and medium, so medium. Small and medium enterprises. Medium enterprises, yeah. okay. So now you, you, the limited resources he has to give out money. Mind you, Central Bank is talking about Nigeria has overborrowed. There's nothing in Central Bank right now. Maybe it's true or lie, but that's, that's what we get. I mean, that's the vibe. Nigeria is uh, not overborrowed. Nigeria is underborrowed. Well, if you say that, but co co uh, compared to our GDP and everything and the problem the country is facing right now, the... Uh, our GDP uh, is even low. Uh, so you are borrowing it's and then you're talking because, about... Because the international paradigm is... Uh, 40% and Nigeria is still around 20% something. Well, man, don't yes, don't Nigeria, 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 Nigeria. economics to us here, please. We don't want to hear that. Nigeria, that's Nigeria. Nigeria. Well, man, Nigeria, 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 not the GDP. You understand what we see, you see? You see the difference? Yearly no, budget. I'm, I'm, so I'm if not talking you, about GDP. I'm not talking about... I'm just saying, when my woman said, we are under... No, somebody said, said something about, about, about what the general Coco says. Yeah. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't want to go into those um, details as to that. So what my point is this. Considering the, the, <laughs> the huge task, uh, Nigeria resources, we are, we are using our resources, I mean, our revenues to service debt. OB is coming in mm. with to meet virtually an empty treasury. And now he yes. wants to give SME money. Where's he going to find that money? 
and he wants to take care of our education at the same time. He wants to mass, mass. Listen, no. <laughs> okay. What he has said, I've had, I've had him said was, <laughs> I will give money to SMEs. That is what he emphasizes a lot whenever he talks, which I'm not saying is bad. It's a good thing to go. It's a good way around to go. But considering yeah. the situation, where will he find that money to give the SMEs at the same time, mass educate? Because I know I had him talk about education. The only person I've talked about is Shore that has heavily talked about education. Um, uh, like you, you said, you not listen to other rational, shows. Rational, 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 rational. Not listen to other shows where you also spoke lately about education. About where, where, education. Where, 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 when did you say? Rational, that? I follow the video. Do you know I follow? Rational, rational. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, he was he was uh, at the uh, 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 Human Rights Radio last week. Did you hear? Did you hear him there? I was watching it before I joined this platform. Uh, yeah, before I Did joined, you hear him? okay, go and finish watching it. I've I, I not finished it. Yeah. Go okay. On. Uh, so, one more, can I interject? You know about Obi? Right. Let me say. Let me let me tell you something. Uh, yeah. He said so, that. Uh, he's, you know, he said that. Uh, uh, he, he was telling us how he brought uh, another state to number one position from number thirty education. in the country. You know, uh, in education. So the guy, he really hammered on that point, please, sir. So education. Uh, education. Let, let, let's not only stay, stay on education, because I believe that massive education, uh, education and massive housing is you is the way to come is the way to come out, because you have to yeah you don't you, you, yeah you don't you don't every every economy oh, every God, development and development is, is going to have very limited resources at its disposal money, money power, is there. Power, yeah, power, yeah, power, yeah, power, yeah, power 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 you should talk first. Let me talk with you. We have an agenda first. Agenda. Let's talk one after the other now. Oh, oh, one, one, one at a time. Yes. I yeah, believe we should, stop, yeah. we should stop building roads that we don't. We, we should stop building roads and, and invest in school and housing, because people you invest in today, they will come and build those roads for us. You what should stop building roads. What? <laughs> My God. What, hold on. Hold on. Bro, bro, bro. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Not, let me tell you something. I'm not saying. Look, look, look my people. Look. Every, 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 okay, stop, stop, okay. Just what I'm saying, what I'm okay, saying go on. is that if what I'm saying is that if we are mm. going to put a cap on it, I said these 10 years, let's concentrate on massive education and massive housing for people because if people don't have a house to a place to stay, if you said, Oh, go on, go, a woman, you know, there's a you know, like. Where we live abroad here, you see people having their children and they still go to school. But but they're already doing mass as housing. This is one where? of the things that where are all over all over Nigeria. Mass, mass I, I can do you want me to bring you the link? Yeah, because I, I have the link. Bring, yeah. don't, don't bring those one man. Where are they, they are doing it in uh, uh, every single state, one percent or they are doing every it one, single no. state, but there are yeah. no uptakes you because know, the money, not, they, because they don't have enough money to do it. They are they are concentrating those money on other places that we don't really need now. Okay, but let me let me explain. We keep bringing people from abroad. Might be building our road, and the roads are they are, they are yeah. bad roads, not good roads. Let me. We have to train our people to build our roads and our railways. Let me chime in. You see, uh, first of all, uh, infrastructure is the fastest way to create jobs in any economy, especially a developing economy, because you have things to build. You build road. You build. Who are building houses? Build. Are so that's uh, this. You no, know, I'm just Are they say, talking off of what you said about about building about about stop building roads. That, that, that's what I'm saying. Come, I'll come to that. I've come to what you're saying. What I know where you're going. You're now let me let me let me say this. What's your question now? Yeah, what I'm point are you making a uh, ra rational uh, mind? Because you, yeah, you, uh, I'm confused. Your question is where. Rational mind. Your question. Your question. Your question. Your question is: Where do, will the money come come from? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let me tell you this. Yeah. If I'm not, yes, I'm not a big, I'm not a big spokesman, so I don't know what, what how he intends to do it. But let me tell you this: If I, if I'm elected the president of Nigeria today, the, ne the next week maximum I will stop subsidy. I will only subsidize diesel, diesel, uh, uh, diesel for for the industries and for the small scale. Diesel, diesel, and diesel because for, for the manufacturing Nigeria, and to generate electricity. Nigeria is, a, Nigeria is an uh, now it's, oh, oh, Hold on, Medoman, just for the benefit of our uh, uh, rational mind, Nigeria is an 800 to mm. 1.2 trillion dollar per annum economy. Nigeria is the 25th largest economy in, in the world. 
just just so you're aware. But one man, Nigeria is also an import-based economy. So putting that yeah. money into into putting that money into that SME, like you mentioned, we will suffer a lot of capital. Why are you flight. telling me that? Why are you telling to me? me? Nigeria is uh, no, you are saying where would they get the money from? As though Mike, Mike, is this yeah. repoint? Is is redirecting? Is it Mike? Is, you is, see, Nigeria is, we, is, we, is we, policy we always... priority. Policy priority. I mean, well, I mean, that yeah. does that, how does that come into your point? I don't understand why so, you're it, it, asking where he will get the money from. Nigeria is a wealthy me, country. The the, yeah. the 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 economy is pointed. Right the poli policy hold is on, pointed hold on, hold on, hold on. In, in a wrong direction. So. All of this money is that Farouk, uh, I had said there, Farouk is uh, looting and giving away. All of the income from uh, Nigerian Post Authority that has been disappeared. There, there's just so many. It's just repointing. It's a policy repointing, isn't there it? There is money. In Russia, my there is there's, money. There's money. So, so what is that policy now? Listen, listen, guys. Let's let's that just stop. Let's just stop. Because one of the questions I asked uh, Medu Man and by session everybody here, he has not answered it. Is what should they be talking about? That's what I was Oh, I know, I know, my my friend. I know you're going to answer that question. What I'm saying is this: maybe you should remember that question. You should remind you that question. What should be the yardstick of anybody who is now an aspirant, now becoming a candidate eventually for each party? What should be the what yardstick? Need should they after be Buhari, what, oh, yeah, what you need after Buhari is fiscal responsibility. All these. Oh, uh, 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 allow me to ask the question. Okay. Should they not be talking? They, should they not be talking about their policies now? What they have as plan, as the basis for them becoming? Are, are, are they not already? Well, well tell me, we were, they, were. they are not. They are not. They are not. They are not. One man. No, they are. You know, give an example. What, 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 what you have to understand is, um, at this stage of the politicking. Exactly. Are, exactly. Yes, exactly. At, at this stage this of the, the uh, yeah, yeah. At this stage of the politicking. They are going to talk about their policy position in broad strokes. So it'll be yeah, an ideological exactly. thrust. But then at the stage of actually being a candidate, then they have to bore more into the detail of that policy. It should, and, but it um, shouldn't but be like what, that. Yeah, but, but, but that's how we obtain, though, isn't it? You talk about it in broad strokes. It's not, that's not yeah. really are, are you saying yeah. all 30 no, of them no, should no, give no. us a, 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 a thesis on, on, on what oh, they oh, want oh, to do? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, that's not that's not, rational mind. Rational mind. Do you know why? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know why they are they are they are talking? Do you know why you only hear Ob and Show they talking about these things? Because they know that they are not the preferred candidates of the of the parties of the power that be. They know they have to conquer the people. That is why only two of them will go into policies in details because they have to politic on the streets. To the common man, to the people that are listening, they want to captivate those people, you know. So that is why that is why they they, they know that they, that, that is why they're they are, they are the only two people talking about it. the rest of the the rest of the band. They don't need to. They don't need to. Who will vote for them are the delegates, and those are the people they talk to. Those are the people they negotiate with. Those are the people they have to pay. And those people are already paid, are already bought, and they are they are already there. No matter what happens, unless unless stuff changes. And, and also, mass so, politics in a third world space is usually in broad strokes. How how many? Uh, they, 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 don't bring this a third world. It, this is a third world thing to bring it. Is it not? Is it? No, no, no. The yellow jazz. The yellow jazz. They have to do the alignment. That is it now. They can't be talking to you and I. Be breaking down our population. You remember we talk about one red and one people don't vote for him because he's talking about all this advance here. Only intelligent people are not. If, but this, if, if you look at Nigerian politics, you have to talk the language of those pop, those and people selling market. Strokes, 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 exactly. Now. Just yeah, say yeah. two words. No, no. And if you look at it, it be, now, so if you look at it, we keep going in circles for over many years in that country. When, you, when we don't talk about what we want to do, we all so look at Buari. He's talking. He's saying that one era becoming one dollar. One dollar. One era becoming one dollar. He said he never said that. He denied many of those things that they were said during his campaign. Because they made it for him, courtesy of uh, his existing governor, who was it, it, turning out all their their propaganda during the election in 2015. So let them start coming out now and start it, telling us what. If you look to. at rational mind, there, there was two words. Rational mind, rational mind. There was two words that brought Buhari in power, and that's two words: is say baba. That's it. If say baba everywhere. The, if you look at the leading candidates, the masses right went good for him. That's the it. leading candidates right now, they've never had any uh, any interview. 
Okay. Yeah, so, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Abu Bakr. They have never had any interview with it see, see, because, they don't, because they don't they don't need it they don't need it right now well, they don't insulting. need it that's insulting because it is the primary yeah. yes and, and when and when man yeah, said it about but, but, third world third world uh, third world uh, politics and I, I don't really i don't fully agree with that i think it's because of the of the you know uh, this is still the primaries when the time comes Nigerians will want to hear from each of them. But it's not like because that in every other place. It's not like that. If you are aspiring, no, 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 you have to no, no, you have, but, but, you have, um, you have to speak. You have to tell us what you want to do. But Medo Man, you, you are yeah. not actually uh, sorry, Medo Man, you are not actually far from me in uh in, in thought. Maybe not maybe in not in the way I worded it, because what I was trying to say was exactly what you just said. They are still at the primary stage. So what, what are you saying? Uh, that's why I was saying, do you expect all the 30 candidates in the APC to come up with a thesis on what they are going to do? With well, what, about the leading, what about the leading so candidates? No, no, no. It's, one it's, man, it's, one man. They, they, they talk, that oh, no, no. You, you say that the, what are their policies, but they've already told us where they are Hold on, policy. hold on. Hold, oh, hold on, on, hold on. Let, let me learn. Hold on. They've already told us what their policy thrust is. So at this phase of politicking, it's all about political thrust. And they are telling us that their thrust is going to be towards the electricity, insecurity, and the economy. So that 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 that's already who, who, a, a political. Who, who, who told us that, Wama? Every single candidate has said that. In yeah, what what interview? Yeah, yeah. Which inter what yeah, interview? What 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 interview? Mogalu no. said it. Every single one no, of them. No, has if you want to talk about, that. if you want to talk about Mogalu, Obi, and so on, they've had interviews everywhere. We are not talking about those ones. What about the rest of what, them? How many of them have had interviews? That's my where my my point is going. I, I've never how many of them. Have, them? Oh, oh, have, have anybody interview. sat down with Atiku and had a conversation with him? Like, okay, they do to Shawere and the rest of them. Yeah, but so, Shawere okay. is not in contention, is it? So it is very. So those in contention, they, 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 they shouldn't tell us. They, they shouldn't tell us anything. But they've right. told you they are thrust, the thrust you see, that's, of their that's politics. The point. You see, yeah, woman, we have this your platform for us to be able to, I mean, correct certain anomalies, anomalies in that country. That's true. And tell people that this is how things should be done. But when we continue trying to promote that same rottenness that is there, making it look like it's a normal thing, they should continue like that. After no, 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 we don't no, have no, your you, you, you're, you're wrong. It, it, it's, not, it, it's not, I think, I think you're wrong. Because okay, I, 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 I agree that where the pol because where the where we're just at the starting blocks of politics, we've not even had primaries. So uh, in, in the, the expectation is not to have a sit-down interview to eulogize. The the expectation is to converse around the country and speak in broad strokes about what the ideological thrust of, of your presidency would be. So what will be uh, broadly the focus of your presidency? And they've spoken in broad strokes. So they are still at the broad strokes phase. One more. So they've spoken in broad... Yeah. Let me put something back. Guys, I, I, I want everybody to listen to me. One man. So uh, what, uh, what piece? Uh, maybe uh, Blackberry. Three of you, you are a candidate for APC. You said, one man, each of you said, we're talking security, we'll tackle the economy, We'll tackle this. Every one of you said the same thing. Now, we, the delegates, the rest of us, we are going to vote for you. Who are we going to vote among the three of you? Because you only give us a broad stroke, like you use the word here, yourself, yeah. You said broad stroke. And then all of you said the same thing of insecurity, economy, and whatever. The same thing, same three things, maybe just say three things you said you're going to do. So how do we know which of them, which of you we're going to vote for? For me as a person, you, you will know, you will know, you will know, you ask the question, you will know based on the, uh, on the antecedents. Uh, so you see, uh, that's another thing to get antecedents. Yes. So, and then we look at the three of you. None of you even have the antecedent. Or we can even, uh, for me, as a delegate, uh, none of you have the antecedent that I want. But I want you people to give me at least, if not give me a thesis, I'm not asking you to give me a thesis, at least give me a kind of like a bro, uh, an idea of how you want to achieve that insecurity you talked about, the economy. You want to revamp the economy? How you want to, going to do that? At least we had how uh, this guy says he's going to do his own. But a lot of them have spoken to so, to, to that. That's too. the point they, I'm they, trying they, to make. A, a lot man. of them have spoken about expanding the uh, the security personnel to to add more because Nigeria is under secured in terms of personnel. They've they've spoken about intelligence gathering. 
they've, they've spoken about liberalization of the economy. They've spoken about the power sector. Who, who among us that? Every single one of them. Because those are the talking spaces. Am I, am I reading a different no, from you, one man? No, no, look, look. I, no, I, I think you are looking for a detailed sit down with a senior sharp mind political journalist to drill them hard on their ideas but this is not the time to drill them hard on their ideas this is the time for broad strokes this is that's not my word use that word i'm not asking for a detailed thing all i'm asking for is at least give us an idea of what you how you're going to achieve they're giving you the broad strokes they're giving you the broad strokes economy they did not they only just give us a broad stroke what 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 rational man is saying is that is that the broad strokes are not for you. Well, no, but, but, but what I am saying is that the broad strokes is 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 suitable for this phase of politicking. When they in are Nigeria, still, yeah, yes, yes when they are all still scrambling at the primaries. One they only ever speak in broad strokes. Rational mind. They, they they don't need to they don't need to come they don't need to convince you right now. They need to convince the delegates, and it it is now with with detailed detailed policies that they will convince the, the delegates. You know how they. But why the Tinubu campaign chairman DG dump his party, dump the APC? Why? Where is he running to? Are we digressing? Tinubu DG. Why did he dump the APC? Uh, is, is it I'm just now? asking yeah. a one man question. You mean oh. you mean Jibrin? Jibrin? Yeah, Jibrin. Yeah, Jibrin. Why did he dump the PC? Well, he is not yet told us, you know, but uh, there yeah, he is. Told uh -huh. No, he's told us okay. he's left uh, APC. He said he has mm -hmm. done as much as he can from there. I suspect that he wants to go and join Kwakwan So, so that's what I suspect he wants to do. Really? Yeah, but that's that's just my suspicion. Okay, okay, woman, can I just uh, speak to the point that uh, Rasanama was start to make, sir? Can I? Yeah, a little go, bit? On, go on, go on. Okay, thank you, sir. So, what Rasanama is saying that uh, every political politicians in the in the civilized world, in the civilized world, you know, so we are not in the civilized world. So, right from the time they even start to talk about politics, they must have to come out, especially their foreign policy has going to affect the people because without the foreign policy. How are you going to develop the economy? Because there are some vested interests that you have to tackle. They, they need to point that one out. For example, if they are talking about Nigeria as you know election, and then it is not making headlines across the Africa, that means there's no way out for us. How do you know you it's know? not? How do you know it's not making headlines in Africa? It's not Africa? making because in the time of Basajo, people told me those guys from Ethiopia, from uh, Somalia, from uh, Uganda, whatever part of Africa, they tell me they say when Abasajo speak. They always glue their they only glue to their TV sets. You know, because that's you see that what, let me tell you what so then Nigeria, Nigeria was so important country. You know, let me then let me go back to this uh a system of uh, all, 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 all this uh, laudable project that uh Jacob Gongon established. So Edwin Clark, chief our papa, Edwin Clark is coming out with a book right now. You know how did you know how Motla Mohammed truncated all the whole development plans of uh Jacob Gongon just for Probably for religion really, that uh, they want to put us into all this uh, useless uh, OIC, etc., etc. You know, so all these petrochemical projects, refineries, they were, they, you know, which are well, well, you know, you know, taking place, you know, taking part in that government. They established all this as an economic base for us with Ajakuta and everything. But this people, they just come and truncate it just for power drunk that they are born to rule those those set of people, stuff like that. You know, you know what I'm saying? So. We don't know where we are going. That's why Rashanama said that uh, they should start telling us right now. We should see in their body language, in their speeches, that what they are going to do, then what we are going to expect. Because if you know in Germany here, before they will start to do primaries, you already know which candidate is going to be for foreign and something and uh, this and that. Like if a Jalameke party was still in power in Germany, this war in Russia could have escalated because uh, the part, the policy, the ideology of that party, CDU, is to fight. With Russia or to fight with anybody that's coming, but this current government is taking it slowly, like negotiation stuff like that. That is because it's a social democratic party. So that is what I should to say. Oh, all right, thank you. Let me let, let, let me play this video that um engineer sent in uh, for for Mike to see. So this is for Mike's benefit. This is from engineer. He says to to play this to you. Uh oh, oh, oh hold on. Let me actually download it because it's showing too many. Uh, so. Yeah, let me download it first uh, and then I'll play it to you. But uh, yeah, 
Tony, let okay. me let me let me, say, let me add something. Oh, oh, okay, so, hold, hold on, hold on. I think I can share it from here. Uh, uh, it was. Uh, so, uh, let me just. Uh, so I, I beg your pardon, but our engineer sent it in uh, a while ago, so I think I've been able to find a way not to show, uh, you know, private details. And, uh, 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 all right. Uh, so, so this is uh, what an engineer wants uh, Mike to see this. So, yeah. What? In 1974, Nigeria was the third largest oil-producing nation in the world. Mm -hmm. Today, Nigeria does not own its own oil reserves, which is still the third largest in the world, but BP and Shell and Exxon owns all the rights of the oil in Nigeria. They take the oil out of it, and after that, they sell it back to the Nigerian country. Mm -hmm. Who did that? The IMF and the World Bank. Mm -hmm. These are the Kafirs we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Second, <clears throat> making the dollar, whether it is the Australian dollar, or the French dollar, or we call them dollars, but we know they call them different currencies, making the currency in the West prevalent as a source of, of value and eliminating the gold. Because when gold becomes the standard, the countries who have the gold become what? The possessors of the wealth. But they tricked the world and they took the currency and made it the wealth. And so then they took the wealth, paper dollars, and then they took and bought the gold from those countries with paper. So they took the gold and they own it now. All the gold is in Fort Knox and some other places, and they gave those people currency. Then after they gave them the currency, they depreciated the currency through wars. Then they told them, now you can borrow more currency, okay, at 20%. So now they own the country. Mm -hmm. Devils. Tricksters. Oh, 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 all right. So, so, um, engineer wanted me to play that, uh, for, for Mike's benefit. So, uh, wh whatever Mike gleaned from that, uh, so, so, so that, so that was that. So back to you, uh, let me, let me, let me, and, 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 so, so hold on before, before you come in, engineer, what were you wanting Mike to glean from that? Well, basically, Mike was keep talking about, um, colonial master of a thing. So I think, um, that, and also he's saying about, um, why would Nigerian produce things in in in, 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 in its own country? So those are the basic things I was trying for him to understand that uh, Nigeria can't stand doing their stuff anymore because the the, the 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 people already come into the country they, they know what the value of that oil is and that's why they convince us and now that, that is it so regardless of anything let's just forget it. Gone is gone. That's what yeah, we might yeah. understand at the earlier stage. But he seems not to understand what I'm saying. All right. All uh, right. So, 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 so that clears yeah. that up. So, yeah, uh, tell me, I was, to, I was going to say. Yeah, no, no, I, I wonder if my. Yeah, there was to, something I even forgot what, what I was saying. So, sorry, does Mike want to respond to that or, or we just... Yeah, that? yeah. So, I mean, what I want to say about the, the currency, currency part is that currently, when they're giving us, taking, buying our resources, uh, giving us cash, they're giving us paper. So they print paper and give us paper. Now, in real life, what money, the definition of money itself is commodity. You understand? What's supposed to back a money, a currency is supposed to be commodity. So now in this world, the countries that are supposed to be dictating the value of currency should be the countries that possess the commodities. You understand? And which who are these countries? Mainly African countries. And there was a document that was that tried ancient time. Africa was regarded the richest country as far as uh, money-wise, because that's where the world global wealth is is located, right? But today they will tell you that your currency is what this rule, and the most powerful currency will be the European currency, American dollar and euros. Who, who decide that? It should be countries that possess the commodities, the minerals, raw materials, should be deciding the value of currencies. So African continent should be the place where the most powerful currency should be, not in Europe or America. So these are the issues that we are not discussing in Africa, you know? So they will tell you, you are so, so sorry, the mineral. people who con so sorry, the people who control the resources should determine, so what did you say? The, the land that possess, like, like I said, for example, when they say gold is what backs the dollar, right? Hmm. 
it's not legal. It's just anything coming from the soil is what's supposed to back a currency. A currency is just a legal tender, right? Now, when countries like Euro, they don't have anything. They are telling you that their Euro, their paper that they print is worth more than naira. When you are the one that actually possess the things that are supposed to back the that paper that they print, that's a scam. And that's these are the things African countries don't know. Our currency should be the most powerful currencies in the world, not European currencies. But so we, are, uh, 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 we, allow them, we allow them to define that for us. Yeah, these, not, are, these are the conversations sure, Africans I'm, are not having. I'm not sure that's essentially... I, I think it's more, uh, it's just a basic demand and supply. It's the convergence of demand and supply that establishes value. So you have resources, they need the resources. So you are uh, no more than they should determine the currency, but the, the negotiations of the trade should balance it, you know. But um, I, I don't know. But uh, uh, so, 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 so we, are, we, allow them, we allow them to define that for us because. These resources we are talking about, they are getting it from us illegally. Thank you. And as, and as long as they get this thing from us illegally, there is no way we can define it for them. Exactly. And how are they able to do this corruption? Some just some set of people, which I will classify as a tribe of. Because to me, we have only just two tribes in Nigeria, the tribe of the oppressed and the tribe of the oppressors. God bless you. And the oppressors, they belong to all these two political giants that are killing us, the APC and the PDP. <laughs> in the opens, they come to tell us we are, oh, mostly Christian this. They use that to deceive us. But in the secrets, they dine together, they marry themselves, share the and, money, and, 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 and they eat together. And we are still sitting on the verge that, oh, these are the people that will rescue us. No way. Mm -hmm. Thank you. As long as they are, it's not, they travel out, they see all this, they know that this raw material, the iPhone that they, when they take it to Africa because we are consumer, is so expensive. They know that all the raw material they use to produce all this, they comes from Africa. Especially the, Congo. Congo, the, the 90% of the silicon, the I think. The question is this, how do you travel? Mm -hmm. Because travel is part of education. They've traveled, yeah. they've seen this education through traveling. What have they done? Nothing. Like somebody was saying we, 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 during your, because I'll not be able to enter since, but I'll be listening. They say we are not rich. We are rich. But the money is in the hand of some, the is in the hand of the oppressors we have. That is why within how many days somebody can raise hundred million to buy just phone made of paper and ink. In April. And they will not come to deceive us again. That some group of people who love them so much are the ones that gather that money to buy from for them. Liars. God punish them. <laughs> the money they have been stealing and stealing. Asu is on strike. Yes, some mm. people have kept her away. Some money chunk that they are bringing. If they extend this buying of this, their form and still give room for more people to come, you will see that they will still continue to buy it. Where are they getting this money from? And somebody tells me we don't have money. Mm. In this Western world, did they steal? Yes, they steal. But the question we should ask ourselves is this. Did they steal this money and go back to Africa to invest it? Did they steal to buy property there? But no. When we steal, we will bring it to this their Western world. And use it to buy properties. In the name of, we want to continue to belong to that class, that village, that 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 uh, tribe of oppressors. We, we, you guys, we are discussing and say, and uh, the APC and PDP, we don't know their uh, political uh, agenda and everything. They don't have nothing. <laughs> the only political agenda they have. 
is gathering a lot chunks of money and use it to bring rights to us on during the time of voting. What else did they going to tell you and me? They are going to provide us electricity. They are going to provide us good road. They are going to provide us infrastructure. The same song they have been singing for 60 good years. Mm -hmm. That is the same song they will sing for us again. Mm -hmm. We need a leader. A leader that will block all the loophole of stealing. So what they are Yes, he's one of them. Oma, can I ask uh, into a question? Into yes, can I ask you a quick question? question. The yeah. truth is this: we are rich, but they are stealing the money. At least, how much did they say they spent in bringing one hundred and fifty, one thousand five hundred and something people from Ukraine? Hmm. Eight point three million dollar divided. And see how much they claim to use to transport somebody one way, no visa, just transportation. Um, Echo, take a question from uh, from uh, from Mike. Okay, you make one fantastic point. You said uh, you need a leader that will block this whole loop of uh, people, like uh, politicians, taking money to outside of Nigeria to the Western world to buy property and things like that. And also, you know, this, uh, uh, just to create those policies. Do you know that Thomas Sankara did that in uh, Burkina Faso and everything turned around? Like everything, the economy started growing. Every, the, the whole wealth stayed in the country and everything started growing. Now, do you know what happened to him? You know, so do you think, I mean, seeing what happened to Thomas Sankara, do you think these leaders we have in Nigeria, we have any interest in doing that these things that you just said you know see the only thing is debt the only thing is debt but somebody has to start <coughs> they may kill the person and the person doesn't finish that does not mm. mean another person will not rise up if mandela has kept quiet where would that be the fate of South Africa? We are slaves in another man's land. Mm, thank Whether you. Whether you like it or not. Some of us, if they were them going to Nigeria with the kind of qualification and all we have to contribute to this, their system, is the one in Africa. You have gardener, you have cook, you have everything. Hmm. But is that what we are enjoying over here with all the, all we have known? Hmm. Is that what? But the same people with even less knowledge will come to Nigeria. we we'll call the expatriate. Hmm. And yes, some of our brothers and sisters, they are smarter than them. Working for them. Building exactly. their economy. And we are here talking what? Hmm. PDP and APC has nothing to offer to us <laughs> because they are like a court. Let the best person in PDP enter today. He must pay homage, whether mm. you like it or not. God bless you. Because they are under an obligation. And as long as they, they must remain in that party, they will. And they are not different. Why did I know so? Their political ideology is the same thing. Mm. That is why somebody like Obaseki will wake up one day because he cannot contest under APC in, in a doorstep for second term. Overnight, he entered PDP. They give a portfolio. If they have different ideology or political ideology, is that a possibility overnight? Mm. And is that not what they have been playing for us? I don't hate them, but I hate their mindset. They are evil and wicked. Look at them, looking at our young, we, we are, sometimes when I look at how intelligent we are, 
the hush puppy can sit in one corner and begin to even do America. That is how much intelligence we have. But mm. they just channel it. Are you supporting on hush puppy? He is a no, criminal. No, no. He's no, channeling in a different. negative way. I am not praising what he has done, but I'm telling, I'm bringing it as an example that we are smart. Such mm. intelligence could be used to build robots and all these things. Exactly. That's what I was, the point I was making earlier. You know? One might consumer. think it's the government pull the to work. Why should we to be a consumer? <laughs> Why? When we have the raw material, we have the human, human capacity, we are intelligent, so that we are dormant, but we have one bigger problem. Leadership. Indeed. Leadership. What made Dubai Dubai today? I don't think we should be drawing parallels between Dubai and uh, and Nigeria. Dubai is just a tiny little sliver of a country. But then, and, uh, that is it, it's, also, not, it's also a mono-ethnic country. We are country. carrying our money to go. And now, oh, so we used to carry it to Switzerland. So they, they, but they, the uh, truth yeah. is this. Dubai was a desert. Yeah, but it's a with tiny nothing, little country now. With nothing. But they have one thing. Good leadership that has foresight they don't, and they, focus they don't, and they, they don't, they don't have good leadership. What they have is a homogeneous uh, society, and that was what propelled them and a tiny country and wealth. So, but so then, yeah, yeah, it's a different story. Leadership, it still will not work out. Can, can, you know, can I interject a little bit, a uh, woman? One more, why does it seem like you like to inter... No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, rational mind. Let me beg one more to say that uh, Singapore is more more ethnicities than uh, even Nigeria self. Because they have the Indians, they have the this, they have the Chinese, they have all these bombings, many people, but they are able to make it. Something is wrong with us, according to our sister. Because why can't we just start by, I, I mean, like, county, you know, census first. It actually this for make business. Let me, can they be talking about census right now? Then census and then structuring before election. You know, so there is no way we can be able to make it. Look at Congo now. You just made reference to Congo. It means that something is wrong with us somehow. You know, our black people. So that's oh, why we need to wake up. No, I don't think it's black. No, no, it's no, just no, simply no, that we don't have vision. Yeah. So we need to wake up. We need to be finding solution. Why? Why? Why is it like this? Why is it like this? Why? Tony, the Let us go back home. They say no. They say no. Let us go back home. They say no. Tony, we have Tony, the brain. Uh, ho hold on. You say you say you cited Singapore. Uh, yes. the Singapore is sixty-two percent Singaporean. Uh, point seven five percent are Chinese. Point yes. one five percent Malays. So it's predominantly a mono-ethnic country. But uh, so, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so Tony, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Like, uh, but the, the, the difference is oh, ethnicity oh. is not the problem. Or they, they say, as she said, there are only two tribes in Nigeria the tribe of the oppressed and the tribe of the oppressors. And why did I see it that way? In the tribe of the oppressed, we have Igbo Hausa, every tribe is there. And in the tribe of the oppressors, we also have all these tribes there. So it is not it is not that an Igbo man lead us today that will bring solution. Mm. It is until we see ourselves first as human being. Because um, um, us, the, 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 uh, the tribe uh, um, to come from. Um, H -O, the overarching uh, problem of Nigeria is ethnicity. It, it is. Because we define uh, among the people. The oppressor, among the people. The oppressor defined that for us. Yes. Yes. You see, yeah. you, 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 see, you, see uh, you see, if see, there's no, example, hold on, hold on, Echo. If there's no, it, wait, oh, hold, Sam, can you, can you, you just hold on, hold on. Can you hold on? Can you hold on one? Wait, let can me you, make an example all right, to you. Carry on. Yeah. Redeem will come to us. The Mekunus who attend Redeem. You cannot marry a Muslim, but on Choba and Jo, the VP, did the daughter marry a Muslim? Hmm. You see. The tribe of the oppressor will continue to divide us with ethnicity, political ideology that doesn't exist within them. They will continue to divide us with tribe and religion. They are yeah, not um, the ones suffering. 
at the end of the day, they will gather together and celebrate. It is only in the open that they make us to believe they are different. Damn. I think identity is part of human nature. Now, here's the deal. Uh, uh, so, sorry, sorry, oh, Mike. Um, the point I was wanting to make to you, um, um, HO, is that uh, tribe is really one of the, if not the foremost thing that are. Uh, that that is accountable for Nigeria being the, the way that it is. And we've done this on this platform before. Um, if you look at all the countries with ethnic di diversity, we've done this quite a few times. I can do it again. The top 10, they are African countries and they are all basket cases. You see, homogeneity, you see, the sense of a people is often instances tribal. And it's that sense of people that propels you to develop your own country. Or, or because that's essentially developing your own people. So that's what was with the Dubaians. The example that uh, um, that uh, Tony tried to cite, that I cited Singapore, that didn't rhyme with what I understood. So I went to check, and likely Singapore, likely homogeneous with a good mix of uh, other ethnicity. But with the Nigerian example, there's so many uh, ethnic nations that form that nation, that then there's no sense of one people Mm -hmm. so Nigerians are not one people, and if they are not one people, they don't feel a rest sense of responsibility to the country. They one feel a, a responsibility to their type, not mm -hmm. the country. Exactly. And it's all wrapped around ethnicity. So ethnicity is one of the key things. I, I, I take your point, and over and above that, then there's an over layer of this divide of the oppressed and the oppressor. Yes, of course. But really, it's, it's really ethnicity that's what we're contending well, with. Well, uh, I remember I made this example one yeah. time. You know, I'll make the example one time. Nigeria is the size of about eight European countries. You can actually fit about eight European countries into Nigeria. Now, remember when I told you, I say, imagine going to Europe. Are you talking about geographically or in... No, size-wise. Size-wise. There are many... Yeah, yeah. Nigeria, if you go and look it up, you find out that actually the way they draw us on the map is small, but our actual size is way bigger than it looks. Africa is very big. Now, imagine going to Europe, right? Me coming from Africa and enter Europe. I now take uh, French... Uh, German, English, Spanish, Portuguese, about six European countries presently today, and just make them one country and give them Yoruba language as official language, bring a curriculum from Nigeria, from Yoruba and give them, ah, I wanted to learn, and then tell them to be one country. They, there's going to be a problem for a long time. Without them having coming together to actually have a particular, a, 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 a one vision, a one mission, there's going to be a problem for a long time. And our problem in Nigeria is not necessarily that we are different and things like that. The root of the problem is that we've never sat down to design a vision or direction for that country. Like, okay, this is where we are going. And let everybody have that understanding that, okay, this country, we have different nations, different, I mean, it's different tribes and different things, but we are all focusing on this one particular vision, this direction. And that's when we begin to see some kind of progress. But presently, what we, we don't have in our country is a direction or a, a, a mission or a vision. Now, every tribe is not coming up with their own ideology. Like, okay, this is what I want. This is what I'm trying to go as a Yoruba tribe, he was saying, this is what I want as a as a tribe. This is where we're trying to go. We want this uh, control. And the other people in the South South will say, I want this. The Northerners have their own views. So when you have a country like that, it's almost impossible to start advancing, to be moving anywhere. It's like six different people in one car trying to go different direction. Where are we going? A car can only go one way. A country can only go one way. But you have a situation is, where we are just... It is still as a result of bad leadership. Exactly, that's the root of it. We need to let our country and create that vision and mission for the country. You know? History has it that there was a time <coughs> that the Nigerian Naira, one Naira, was more was more value than the dollar. Ola. Yeah. When we were running the regional, when Nigeria was under region, we were they were talking about pyramid. And Nigeria was richer than this Western world. So that means even despite this, our ethnicity we are talking about, there was a time we are still under the same umbrella and we were still, we were still successful. No, but sister, 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 is it one man uh, analysis system just now with uh, Mike? So that means that time all the ethnic group were together. Like we, we now, uh, the Yorubas, the Edos, and the Robos, and all this, uh, it just, we were together. So that is why it was easier for us to develop. Then the Igbos, they were on their side, and then the outside, they were on their own. So that's what, so uh, we don't need any political correctness or try to be friendly that uh, 
that uh, we are one. We are not one. We are not one. Uh, we are that not one at all. That uh, no, we are not because yeah, the people that was heading those different regions, they have sense of leadership. That no, was no, no, not that one, not that one, because their ideology, the thinking, the culture, the tradition was different. Because the Northerners are a little bit different. The Igbos and the we, we, we Westerners, we are different people. So that is what they are trying to point to you. You see, Mike just used the, the uh, analogy of a German just now. You cannot put German and French together. No way. It's going to be a big problem. Talk less of uh, six different uh, ethnicity to put them together. So, okay. woman, I'm sorry also that uh, you are able to correct me about Singapore. It's okay. It's about uh, five uh, tribes also in the India, uh, Chinese, Malay, where, where, uh, the Indonesia. So, no, that's fine. Right. you know, I always fact check everything. That that yeah, yeah, you yeah, tried. You tried. Yeah, yeah. So, but to my sister here, my sister, please let us go back to those regional governments. Uh, if well, it is for regions, we're, we're not going back to regional government, are we? So, why do you keep saying let's go back to regional government? That's oh, not good oh, okay, oh, 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 you know, oh, we separate, sister, sister. This, the, the not only said that they don't know what is restructuring, they don't want, they said they have got the numbers to rule up wherever, and they are not capable. They, they are not capable of doing it, but they occupy the port authority. Hold on, they occupy port authority, the defense, the military installation. They are all located here. All right, we know all this. Sorry, let's hear from engineer. Let's hear from engineer. Engineer has been feeling unwell a bit uh, uh, yeah. lately. Are, are you better? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm recovering slowly anyway. Yeah. Um, to, Tony, sorry, hold on, Nature. Yeah. Tony, something you need to understand here, right? Uh, welcome, my brother. Long time we don't see you. Uh, I hope mm -hmm. you're okay. okay. Thank you, sir. I know, but it's good to hear your voice so that I'll be alive. Um, <laughs> you know, if we come to think about Nigeria, the, the currency there can tell us everything. The currency is like kind of uh, something that unites all Nigerians. But another thing that we need to understand, during uh, 20 years, 30 years, the country is doing well. But something we need to look at it now, current current people now dealing with that country, they're all just money mongers. According to our sister now, she, she made it clearly, she explained everything, and it's something that uh, sometimes we need to we need to just forget about the tradition, forget about the culture, forget about the religion aspect. Let's sit down and focus on one thing and face the reality and say the truth. Because all the all the traditional leaders in Nigeria, whether it's from Yoruba, Igbo, whatever, and the rest, they are all corrupt. That's yes. just the truth. They are very corrupt. So sometimes let's just sit down and make sure we discuss something tangible. Yes. That we discuss something way forward. How that country will achieve something. Honestly, yes. yes. That's the but the, but engineer, discuss. but engineer, don't you think that uh, when we are trying to uh, pick a president now, we are now considering? What part of the country is coming from? Is that not a, a deficit that there's no way we are going? You know, because that's what we are talking about. But assuming that uh, with the Westerners now, that we want to choose somebody from us, we would say that, okay, it must come from here, it must come from here. We don't need, you know, we need, just need capable hands. This People with good No, no, that, that's not, that, so hold on. That's that's not, uh, can you hold on, please? That, what you said is not actually true, um, um, Tony. Uh, if I play you a video now of Bisi Akonde, he is quite insistent that the president must, the presidency must come to Yoruba land. So he doesn't especially care that South, he only cares for Yoruba land. Go to yeah. the East, they are telling you that the presidency must only come to the East. So, yes, so, so it's not just it's coming that, to the South. Yeah. No, that, no, that's what I'm saying. I said that we Westerners. You remember I yeah. said we were, like, like, like now, if Tunubu, if we don't a thief, that's whom we are going to vote for. In Edo State, in Delta State, in most of the South South States, I'm telling you, because we consider our own man first. You know what I mean? So that's what that's what, that 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 will bring us back now to this uh, uh, ethnicity. So if we try to force us together now, it's not going to work. So we have to stay on our own, and then they stay on their own, and then we develop, and they go to Central. We give them money. They created the federal capital what? territory for us. You know, are they created for all they also have No, no, but that's restructuring and resource control, yes. not regionalism. So that's not yes. regionalism. That's but they said, they don't want that they said they don't want that one. They said they don't want. They said they don't. They said they don't. Who said they don't want? The, the our, our our brothers, our brothers. Look, you know what I have. Sometimes when I see people from Eritrea here in Germany, I feel more more like a, you know related than people from the north. 
if I see non Tana here, they are not so much, but I don't see them as uh, like uh, because when they come and visit me, some time after five they say, Oh, I want to go and pray. You know, so all those kind of so the the culture is quite different, it's a little bit strange. Yeah. What, what do you mean but, strange? But it's uh, strange, strange, strange in the sense that uh, they don't think we don't have the same mindset. You know but what I'm saying? So and great. and then if you don't have Talking the same mindset, Islamic, how do you Islamic how do you thing, no, 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 I don't want to, no, I, I know, apart from that, you know, they, you know, they have this notion that uh, they own the land because... I, I, probably the... Have, I, I probably have the same worldview as somebody like Jafar or, or, or Black League than I do most, uh, like 90% of Igbo people, 70% of Yoruba people. <laughs> you are just joking, you are joking, one man. No, no, why, why, why should I be joking? Because mm. I've, I've had conversations with these people. Mm. And so they, they, are, they, are, they are they are they are they are they are they are thinking uh, structures. It's it it is so much uh, uh, lies with my think, thinking structures too. So uh -huh. we, 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 no 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 we, no. We, we, no we, let, we, let, we, let one more finish. Let one more finish. We, we may differ on, on the on the specifics, but yes. in in the broad strokes, they, I, they, they somewhat I, I you know I, they, they share sim similar worldviews to me. Which, which a lot of your don't actually What's have my world view. Huh? No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let one finish now. Let one finish. So, so the Northerners, that's where they, that's where it comes to play. They are so much, they are more intelligent because what they are talking with you oh, is, is, is oh, different oh, what they feel at home. So, this is what they are masters in the game. They are masters. Oh, oh, you can't oh, beat oh, them. They are, oh, 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 all right. Oh, well, 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 I have, I, 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 my worldview is expressed in my expressions. It's not a what. What do you mean? What's my world? What sort of a question is that? But I want you to help you. Uh, I want you to help you. Oh, don. They just there's nothing to be. Oh, my, they, they are generalizing. That's what they are doing. Yeah, yeah, getting, uh, <laughs> I don't no. know what does that even mean. What's your worldview? Uh, but what I'm saying to you, uh, and, anyway, um, Tony, I, I, I'll just try to explain. It, we're, uh, we're not necessarily a Fulani hating. Our platform, so that's not what we're doing. We're mm -hmm. not rallying to to hate at the north. I'm not here to promote ethnic hate towards anybody. No, Fulani are the no, best no, people I, here you, in Germany. You, the Fulanis you, are here. They are very nice people for me. They are the best, sir. Sorry, sir. So the Fulanis no, that you, are you, in Nigeria. You have to listen to what I'm saying because okay, 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 you, okay. You, okay, you, okay. Know, you know, okay. you know, like I said, I, I I allow for every voice, but I struggle with yours because you seem to have a philo a, 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 a thrust that you want us to gather. And and have a hatred or dislike or a distrust towards these people just as a mass of people. So you're entitled to hold that view, but that is not my view, and that is not what I am seeking to do. I want to. Thank one, you. So can you can you just hold on? Because okay. you don't even listen. So okay, let me just abandon it. You won't listen. No, no, no. I, I, I'm listening. You have to listen, man. Just listen. Get, get the point. Where right. okay. what, what, what can you hold on? What I want. What what I'm inviting is a more nuanced conversation around specific topics and peculiar issues, not broad mass hating of a people. And that's just too lazy for me. I don't want to, and, and it's not how I see the world. I don't yes, want sir. to promote mass hate. You know, it's not full and full and all the time, please. You know, no, but, uh, uh, one man, one man, I beg your pardon. Look, uh, look, you know, I never say full and I say the non even the worry, Doma, the TV, the TV, okay, the outside, okay, whatever. Now, it's not the same thing, isn't it? You say the same thing. Because they hate us. We are getting all this. They hate you. Who told you they hate you? They, they use quotas. They use quotas. Even man. that population you are talking about, they still have the oppressed and the oppressors. Tony, have you ever been to the north? So this is why I separate Nigeria into these two. Yes, I'll be to the north. Oppress and the oppressor. Because if you go to the average Fulani, is this suffering the same thing? Me and you is suffering. Tony, that was someone is very nice, man. I'm telling you. Same thing. I have Adamu now. I have my best friend in you know, left hand Adamu. I, I tell you, I told you. Because when you say they hate us, man. I mean, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. It, it look, the, the, the Fulani, my sister, wait. The Fulani. One at a time. So okay, sorry. Okay. Uh, oh, um, okay. Sorry, you have to allow. Yeah, so go, go on, Tony. Yeah, uh, thank you, sir. So, uh, where I'm you know, where I'm living right now, uh, I'll be dealing with Fulani people for the past 20 years. They are very nice people, you know, they don't uh, dress like our our Nontanans, they are very free. You can go to their home and then their children, their wives, we stay together. They made this uh, peanut soup, we eat together. But in the case of the Nontanans, 
they are they are different. That is why I'm a little bit scared. All our Fulanis are the best set of people that I've ever seen here in Germany, you know. And then they do they do patronize our business, they go to our businesses, you know, you, you know, so they are very nice people. So I always wonder what is because I just uh, realized that uh, the problem is this the Arab culture that the Fulanis are uh, sorry, the Northerners are having in Nigeria, where they be Muhammad, Ahmadu, Muhammad. Muhammad, you know, but all these uh, people from uh, Guinea, Gambia, and uh, Senegal, they bear Sisi, Babu, they bear like our names. That is what make a, a make you know make it a complicated yeah, well, situation. Um, um, Peter and Emmanuel and um, like like Oshomolena, uh, like Oshomolena, uh, it's an Ausa man also. It's Aliyu Adamu. Well, what, 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 what about the East? They are all Thomas and Peter. We have we have we have, we have Thomas here. Yeah, Emmanuel. John. No, uh, that <laughs> is that not the same in the north? Uh, they, they have a man also there. All this uh, Idoma and the TV. No, but you are saying you, your issue is with their choice of uh, uh, re uh, religion names, 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 and, names and, and culture. Most, most, of, most, of the, most of the people in the east, they have a religion based name. Mm -hmm. Even in the south, south, they've named themselves after days of the week Monday, Tuesday, Friday. Yes, Saturday. Saturday. Don't, okay. don't judge people by their name. Yeah, it's not no, fair, no, man. No, don't judge them by their name. Come on. You now. see, but this is what I'm saying now. This is not what we are here to do. But um, mm. so, let, let's just carry on. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, 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 you know. <laughs> you don't call me Dana. It's okay. No, but I, I wish you'd understand uh, what I'm saying to you, so that we can have, uh, uh, we can enjoy your your thoughts more. But you just seem to go to the one space. Inviting us to weigh against people for reasons of ethnicity. <clears throat> but don't presume you know? every time you want me to speak, you don't presume what I'm going to say. Then but, it's okay. But you, so but you, mind, you I'll ultimately you. say the same thing now. <laughs> they don't. They don't. They don't. <laughs> uh, uh, but, uh, you want to solve the problem of Africa, you have to change this mindset of just believing that one ethnic group or one group is your entire problem. You know, we have to change that. You know, it's, it's, it's like Voltron. You know, United you stand, If you want to solve problem of Africa. We have to really sit down. It's something we have to do correct collectively. So among every tribe, of course, there are people that are destructive, they are causing all the problems. They are, it, it has this, I'm, I'm, it's, it's a human nature. But what you need to focus on is how we can find the good ones among the north, the good Mike, ones Mike, among Mike, the south. Mike, 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 my brother, remember, you remember my comment today, my comment. I, 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 I thank you very much. Did you read my comments? So No, I'm but, not against you. I'm not against you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Mike. Hold on, Mike. Now you throw this one out. Uh, let, just a little bit. Like, look, the other time, uh, uh, Aisha Buhari was pregnant. We saw it, and then uh, after two months now, the belly don't don't flat. They say na kasa na ikacha. Kasa they kasa they come up for somebody body again like that. Kasa they make belly they swell up to say you want to bomb baby. Why Aisha Buhari doesn't represent all the northern women? Uh, no, I know. Women, I you know. You know, so she's but she's but Nigeria people, we don't want to speak the, the you know, we don't want to hurt anybody, we don't want to be cool. Okay, you, so you, you see, I want to give you an example of people like Jafar, Black League. They are, I mean, mm. they are not an ass, but they are not the kind of people you just describing. So, what one more is trying to tell you is that listen, you, if you want to talk about the problem, the issue bad that's coming from the north, you can specifically say, hey, they are this category of people from the north maybe they are leadership black league, or, black league or is my brother black league is my brother engineer is my brother but, but, but so the, the entire north the whole, yeah. the whole place is like ah, what are you pushing here you know uh, he's telling us to hate everybody from uh, but he's telling one man to hate black league and hate yeah. uh, jaffa I mean, so, those guys Tony. are very respectable uh -huh. people, you know? who do who do they what piece nah, what piece uh domo uh what you call oh yes i only say talo talo i don't say again i don't say uh -huh. But you know, Sina, you know, Sina, I want an amiable talk talk now. I want that. I'll say, I'll say, I'll say. If we look into our individual ethnicity, don't we have this problem? Eh? Which one? Uh, but uh, the problem oh, is that, uh, oh, madam. Hold on, hold on, Tony. Uh, let, let, let uh, it all have a bit of a. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. If we look okay. into. That is why I say we are just two tribes. Because if we look into our own little, little ethnicity, is those people who are rich, which is the tribe of the oppressors, are they not oppressing those who are uh, uh, the, the, the oppressed? Okay, make I, make no, I answer that one. So, make I answer that one. Make I answer that one. Make I answer that one. No, answer that one. no that's a rhetorical question now. Allow her uh, to. Uh, 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 just uh, yeah, briefly, briefly, uh, one man. Uh, do, you no, know, no, do you know no, that? No, do you know no, that no, our no, place? No, 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 no. Our place. Uh, look, go, 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 take, take, take a look at the northern street. Very clean. What is all the whole street is clean. But look at our place. 
Fomi bada o ino ukuto bomo show ukuto bini ukuto ni chaguto tapele alusa pele maketa de cry. What do you want to tell me? So because the power has shifted. We watch Tinubu now. Tinubu should come. Tinubu should come back and finish our role. That is telling our governor. Yeah. Which governor? You you get governor. You get governor. So Tony, Tony is close-minded, man. Forget Tony. Yeah. Tony is not going to complain it, it, anybody, it, it, man. It, it, it's not always like governor, that. Governor, yeah. Governor, yes, Wiki is a governor. Yeah. He so, has built more than 200 bridges in Buttercourt. What do you want to give him, Governor? Yes, yeah, Wiki is a governor. Uh, really good, is. thank you, sir. You go. You go, you try. So, is it bridges that is the problem of uh, Buttercourt? If all of them are building bridges across the country, we will know where we are going. So now bridges. Some of them are problem. just spending the money and taking it to their bank in uh, America. Is it bridge that make our the people in Port Harcourt to be jobless? The youth. Oh, of course. They must start from somewhere. Not that it's bridge, but at least you if see, we have eh, governors eh, like you that. See that. You see, one thing I discover we have, eh, and it's so painful. They use our money. Then mm. you breach for us. We declare for them. Eh? Is it their money? What about those who don't build that or who stole you so money and keep in America? What God about you? Why we can carry with your 200 million? Go dash them for not. Because if they look for political favor. Man, we don't have system in place to shame them. We don't have system in place. Okay, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I ask you now, my brother, yeah. Now let bridge now we can promise you not saying go give now for eight years. No, not that we are saying not that we are saying a bridge alone, but at least if no, we have the, all the governors to say, oh, we have, if all youth, we have a chunk of youth that are jobless that have resolved to crime to survive. Mm. And yes, somebody hey, uh, carry their money, go give them for not. Then Ma Madam H O H O let, let me ask say don't achieve what do you achieve. Thank you. Eh? So governor, this is so our governor. problem in Nigeria. They use so our money, they take it for us, peanuts, and we get that they clap. Ego, ego, leave on, leave on, leave on, leave on. It's okay. Thank you. Some governors came out of office. They face America See, straight. They let them me the tell airport. you one thing. The governor, when using money, they do only bridge. Can you compare him to a Boeing state? Can you compare that matter to the one the Ebony State Governor has done for his people? Hmm. And PH has been existing before Ebony State. Is, is it the hospital that he built that is everybody's getting so excited about? The no, it, guy? It, it, it's just because they use our money, they will give us peanut out of all. Oh, you, you are saying they used our money to build no, bridge. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What was done in You are saying they use our money to build bridge. Is it their own money that they should use exactly. to build bridge? No, no, but is whose money? money? Who, who, can you hold on? Whose money should they use to build the bridge? Their salary. Is <laughs> of course it is our money that they used to build the bridge. Yes. I'm, I'm not yeah, saying so, that so, I'm so, saying that no, no, it's because it's expecting me to come for building bridges using our money. As if you use money from his pocket. We are dealing with your friends. You know, so, so, we are dealing with your friends. So, 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 when we take leadership position in Nigeria, we are there to serve. You have to try to praise those ones who perform. Because we have been in this country in those states well, lock with Bennett John, he took the state for eight good years. He didn't build a street. Thank you. A That's the road. point I was wanting to make. Thank eight you. Eight good years. Lock with Bennett John was stealing this money and giving it to his father, sharing it with his father and his friends. One street, Bennett John did not do for eight years. He was taken to the court. They said he should return three million, three billion. Uh, return some. That was the end of the case. Return to three billion. Years. So, so you. And uh, then so, you so, said so, he was so, sorry. building no, for eight too. years. Yeah. You say it did so not no, try. We can have uh, 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 hold on, hold on, Echo. Um, Echo, the point that Ego is making, which I, I lie with, is that when these people build an infrastructure, a bridge, a road, uh, whatever, and people applaud it, it's not because uh, it's not our right to have these things, but as Ego just made the example, it, we, it's, it's just been so long the case that uh, these people come into office and all they do is lose money and not do anything. 
So if somebody builds a bridge, yes, it is our right, and it is not really reason to celebrate. But coming from where we are coming from, what when they just do is just mass loot and there is nothing to show. So that's why people celebrate it. It's not like, you know, of course, it's our entitlement, but it is something that we fought very hard to, to have. So so I think that's really where uh, they... for yeah, to the, uh, Sorry, yes. sorry, madam. Sorry. To the comment question. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, in the, I'm not talking much because I'm listening to people talking. I just interject to a little, little to, you know, I know every day I have the floor. You know, so uh, thank you. Uh, 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 look, look, look at that. <laughs> all, 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 all the all the fine babes are after you, uh, war piece. Uh, uh, but, uh, there, there it is. Uh, so, so yes, back, back to you, H.O. So for uh, for eight years that all of them are in office, achieving bridge is is this thing in this in this Western world. Where have you seen them going to commission bridge? Huh? Yeah, but we're the third world country now. We know yeah. well, how not? many years. Wait, oh, all of us, our mama carry us for nine years, nine months. The bonus. We 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 are unable to sit down for a period of time. Mm. Then we now learn how to sit down, we now learn how to crawl, we now learn how to walk. We go primary school, we go secondary school, we go university. We now we can we now marry, we now have family, and we are still calling ourselves third war. For how long? God bless you. For how long? God bless you. We are calling calling ourselves third war. For how many years now? It be like say, Mama, we carry picking for Bele. But we are taught what we are taught what all these many years in Africa didn't do anything for themselves. No, no, no. What she was saying is for us. Let's keep when that are we ideology. Going to move? Let's keep the ideology and move on. And that is the, that is the madness in Africa when they are there going to no move. Madness. So that is why we okay. Because it is making is it is sitting on the bench say we are slaves without fighting for it. Hmm. We will remain third world if we do not fight for this change. Hmm. And this is what you were is fighting for now. None of you supporting him. It's, you see, nobody that can fight. Okay. <laughs> they hear me? Because okay. there are many ways to kill a rat. <laughs> so, okay. so what are nobody that can fight? No one makes okay. a conference. You, know, to... you see, you don't fight that fight in So the only thing where we go do right now, mm -hmm. a political revolution mm -hmm. for ballot. My vote no count, my vote no count. If everybody went one change, go Nigeria, go vote to David, do we not feel go. We engineer our people say you the know problem go. now now we there abroad, safe. Which okay. which car now we went there abroad? Which yes, car now we went there abroad? Yes, now now you don't dare the rake rake rake. When it is now you not go there to vote. Wait <laughs> now, wait, wait. When the election comes, when to you will not be in this country to vote to. And you dare now they tell us say we wait, cannot try to do Did we not push? Did we not push? Did we, not push, did we in abroad the diaspora? Did they not push in for them to allow diaspora to vote? Did you yes. did they agree under the condition the current uh this thing when we get no they've not they've not so we need we we have to now encourage our people back home to get what they need to go to vote hmm. vote no can vote no can if everybody when they eligible to vote for nigeria come out to vote and vote for person when he gets waiting day for here. No people when go come electricity, light, call this, the same thing they have promised you years. And we are able to push them out from counselor to the up. We go get what with the talk. Because we need to achieve that before we go sit down to define this our constitution when not they work. No. But if we don't achieve that. If this uh, two party will be the, the, the tribe of the oppressed oppressors, if they enter, 
we go sing another for you. Yeah, but who do we vote for as an alternative is the question. Because we've uh, we've identified that there is no talent coming through within the Nigerian political space. Because the, if the narrative of alternative is wrapped around somebody like Shawore, then that tells you that we don't have an alternative. Why? Because Shawore is, uh, is just it's just a poser. It's just a, a poser. it's just noise. Poser, it's just yeah. noise. Yeah. He talks what? It's just poser. noise, Joe. Is noise. just noise. It's just a, a paper in big noise, guy. Oh, one man is speaking grammar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's how he does it. Yeah, because it's already... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, for you, he's making noise. You mm -hmm. see, that is why we are going to still go back to the pool to vote for the lesser evil and suffer okay. again. My sister, one man is not against Shure, but he's talking about lack of structure. Ah, who is going to, who is going to right. candy vote? Wait, yeah, who are you, who are you going to vote for? Who, you know, who control, who control the yeah. INEC? Who uh, controlled no, the annex? Who controlled the uh, yeah? Constitution. You say the constitution not good. Uh huh. Uh, no, we say we lack of structure in this country. We say lack of structure. Uh, is it okay now? You've left. Uh, but the thing you've is, left is left now, Shibanjo. we, we, we can't yeah, 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 have time to fill that structure. We have time. No, I'm a Shibanjo fan. That structure, that structure must be done before we can know that they are serious. Right on, tell me. How, yes, yes, yes. Let me let me ask you guys the question. Let me ask everybody one million dollar question. We need to work together. Shawara is man, not man, 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 man. is just one person. Oh, one man, can I ask this one million dollar question? Just ask everybody. One okay. man, I'm a bipartisan. Uh, uh, ask now, the question. all of us assignment. All of us, when you know, say, you know what? We are too intelligent to continue to sit in the seat of third country when we are blessed with everything. It's not blessed. But our intelligence you, is not our intelligent problem, enough our for the Western right now, Our situation right now, now situation when we say, Mama get plenty picking, that they're hungry. One of the government they made you, Mama go bomb plenty picking. Unfortunately, that they're hungry. <laughs> The mama don't go market, don't buy. Ma ma madam, let you go speak. Let you, let you, because Igor is from uh, Nigeria. Igor is Nigeria. Wait, let me let finish. Me, no, but Igor know the... He can't put the food item for crime. Everybody sit down, they look at They don't want to cook. And with a cry, they are hungry. Hmm. God, mm, she has a good point. Everything too. when we need. Mm. She has don't a good point there. Don't bless her with everything we need. God bless you. You know what you're saying? Well, hold on, yeah. Woman, woman, listen. Wait, this is what she's wait, saying. Wait, hold on. Let, 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 her, let her, let her, let her. Is an intelligent is not intelligent enough to the white people. Well, I'm sorry. Now the white people are sorry. No, don't open the white people. Now the white people they define you. That is why they carry shell here. 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 Exxon Mobil here. Oh, all right. Take you to steal your the oil. The problem is us. Oh, 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 you right. are not hold, intelligent, hold on, my hold on, sister. Hold on, Eto. Hold on, Eto. Let, you are let, not let, intelligent. If you let, are intelligent, they will not be running your country the way they are running it. Our because, intelligence is not intelligent enough. Because we allow some specific group of people who are greedy, who does not have the interest of the Nigerian people at heart, they have turned into their equal oh, palace. Oh, 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 all right, hold on, Echo. Let, let's take a, let's take Mike's question. Mike, you, you said you had a question. Yeah, I have a question. So, do you guys think we in Nigeria or in Africa we necessarily need politicians in order for us to begin to advance, or can we advance without the politi without the politicians, without the involvement of the politicians, necessary involvement of the politicians. Oh, oh okay. Expand that. Expand uh, that. What I, well, reason I want to expand is because in the Western world they are living, the, if you look at the economics, the franchises, like most normal employer of everybody's more of franchise businesses, corporations. And these franchises and corporations were not designed by politicians. It was more of individual citizens, individual people, that, or either group of people came together and say, hey, let's build this franchise or let's build this uh environment and even a city like uh las vegas it was group are, of... are you saying we don't need a government no no the government is already there but they're not performing is what we are crying about they are not yeah, we are crying so, that so, we are crying that the root of all our problems like yeah but what are you proposing what, what, are but you what proposing? i'm saying is 
which the, the, which am I answering the question actually is that we the people don't don't we think that we can just like this with demand for the government like oh uh, jobs everything and many things like that or so advancements even technological advancements don't we can we look at other world and look at the way they did it like oh it was things that we all enjoying and those, those words most of it people that built it they didn't have any affiliation with the politicians they just came they just came together and decided to do those things I, you know, I, I was so i was reading the history of las vegas las vegas was a desert that nobody was living and group of uh, american mafias like drug dealers and people like that they were trying to look for ways to clean their money and just use their money and they all came together and designed like hey let's create a, a land where we can uh, gamble turn into a gamble uh, space where we make gamble le le legal and they thought about a desert you, you say, still let's need go politics to, to create... Yeah, yeah. The, 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 all they do was the, approach yes. the government, like, can we have that land? The government is okay. Can we have yes, and, and, and the framework, the framework, uh, the uh, enabling framework. And, and the, as, far, as far as the franchises and businesses, uh, all those corporations, you, all you have to do is come up with it. Come up with the idea. It's kind of like you starting business and just do it what, together. What, what you're just... talking about is liberalization, isn't it? Is it liberalization? Uh, yeah, when you say liberalization... Uh, well, yeah, you got a point there. Uh, when you say liberalism, being like liberating your your thinking or just no, no, yeah. no, to no to deregulate the the country so that enterprise will go ahead of governance. I don't think of. regulation is what's stopping us right now because the country already has rules. That it's not stopping anybody from starting anything. I mean, no, 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 no. It 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 is. If you it look is. at the telecom space, it was only when Buhari deregulated it. That we had, remember, there was a time we only had NTA and ITV in Nigeria, and it was deregulation, just regulation, just a policy position. No, I'll tell you the thing. reason why it was the case out back then because the uh, the current only system back there was government owned, government owned everything back then. You have to understand, yeah, like that's the, the well, that's deregulation, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it, no, no, when they decided to deregulate, I had, I'll tell you why they decided to deregulate. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not say, I'm not saying why, I'm saying. It is the cause of that action that opened up that space that they deregulated it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what they, the the sole owner of the one that currently they existed at that time was government. So government, if government only owns something, of course they'll be the only one making rules about this. You understand? But when it became something where oh individuals are beginning to start to own their own, so they have to like shape the rules to make sure oh it doesn't in end that individual owned. Uh, telecom businesses. I think that was, that was the case. It wasn't like they created a law against anybody else uh, that own the, 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 that wants no, to own that thing. So, no, so no, the bottom line no, is, I don't no, think they, they deregulated the industry and they put in policy positions that that enabled uh, uh, an attractiveness for enterprise mm -hmm. to come and take and, that and, and woman, do you, do you know that in the West in America, all these franchise people that come with these ideas, all they do is when they create the ideas, all they do is approach government like, okay, we are creating this for the benefit of society and we're going to need these rules and these rules to help us really uh, thrive. So, are Nigerians doing that? Are we coming together? Are we the people coming up with ideas and ways and things of building cooperation and then approaching government like, okay, we have this ideas we have this thing that i want to do and we need you to help us create laws and policies that will make it thrive and you will get your share of course because we have to pay tax to you i don't see any government that will tell you hey we want to kill your idea because when, when they know that when your idea thrives you're going to be paying us tax in the millions so i don't think the government will go against the nigerian people coming up with solutions to their problems you understand when, they, when the government nice. definitely will benefit from the Can progress because yeah, successful, successful yeah, company, yeah, I don't think yeah. government will be against a company or corporation or ideas being successful on, because they know that they will tax you. Can I address you? Hold on, hold on, hold on, Nature. Let's hear from rational mind. Let's hear from rational mind. You, you just seem to go around the whole thing, uh, uh, Mike. Uh, the thing you need to understand is you cannot. There's no way you can divorce um, uh, the government and whatever anybody or individual or group of people wants to do. In the case of the Las Vegas, Las Vegas, you even brought us an example. They still needed the government to consent, to make some concession to some things for them. So there's only, there's no way you can divorce the two of them. Anything any society has to do, even here in the United States, where you live, we have the lobbyists. These lobbyists, they lobby, to the, they lobby the government mm -hmm. to get some things done. So I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, not, not saying in the derogatory way. I just want us on this platform, whenever we're arguing, let us think through whatever we want to say very well before we start asking. It takes, it takes time because uh, we have to go round round. Because like I've had uh, our sister here, uh, HO, she has said some things and we keep countering it. Like even one man was countering like, like, do we have to counter everything? As long as we are 
we agree on some certain principles or some certain things. Why do we have to count up things and start digging, digging, and digging unnecessarily on? No, we can't count things. But that's what we do, is it not? We count up yeah, things but, here. I'm not saying we should not <laughs> count but that's a needless countering. No, it's that. not needless. If, it, if okay. there wasn't a need for it, then it would not be done. But but I was asking you a question. Then you you, show, you just showed me up like I said maybe the question was like you use your word. I mean, I mean quoting your word. Lord be, Lord be, Lord be, Lord be not for us. What I'm trying to say is just to answer uh, uh, Mike' question. You need the government. There's no way you can divorce the two of them. You always need the government, no matter whatever society you call yourself or group of people that comes together. No, no, we, 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 sorry, we, we don't come here to soliloquize um, rational mind. We, we're not here to summonize, and we're not here to propagandize we're here to debate okay. and to debate you 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 have your things challenged even the minutiae of something that you're saying will be interrogated because it might not rhyme with how the person is following your logic and they want to push you either for clarity or correction so we don't just uh, push for the sake of pushing you, but like you, you know you know you know we fact check and we you know so so is it not English they are speaking when they talk of lobby? No, but the truth is this: in it's this similar. Western world, policy are in place for businesses to be established and thrive. And those policy, there are a set of people that lobby them for is that not corruption? To be put in place. But in Nigeria, do we really have that? No, because we, we do, we do, we do, we do. Everything is still on leadership. We, we do, we, uh, HO, we do. Nigerians have lobbies too, but maybe not like the way we do it in America here. But their own kind of lobbying, you know, is you know, even though some people here will argue with me that the one in America too is is, is corruption, you know, so, in some ways. Which, well, I can agree with that. But there's ways. corruption but, everywhere. It's not that we argue. Up, but then they do it to better their society. Wait, they do it sure. in favor of the society. Yeah, but not here, all the time. But back home, we do not all the it time. in favor of some specific pocket. Yes, no, yes. not all the time. Not love yes. Not, be, not, not all the it time. Is. It is. It's uh, not all the time. It is. You give an example. The lobby has normal bribery. They bribe their way. Give an example now, Ego. Yeah, right, right, right. Mind. I missed your question you're trying to ask me. I accidentally dropped off, man. So I didn't get it, your question. Well, I, I wasn't asking a question. I was only trying to counter what you said. Uh, uh, sorry. One man, what, was think, the, what was it? I didn't, I didn't hear it. I think I, uh, I, Vane is asking for a hyperlink. So, sorry. I no, no. Vane, I, no, Vane. I both said the hy hyperlink um, uh, wall piece, but... um. The screen can only accommodate ten people. So when okay. when when, when the, you have ten on the screen, then the link will push you back. Uh, but let's hear from uh, World Peace only because uh, I yeah. read. Well, I didn't hear what Rational was trying to counter about what I said. You no, know, I okay, but I read seems quite fixated on hearing uh, uh, World Peace's voice. I don't know what his voice does for her, but uh, we hear from him in a moment. But uh, well, how are you countering? <laughs> you, you know. Uh, but uh, so, so to you, um, I am um, rational mind. Put your position again to uh, Mike. What I'm saying is, uh, we there's no way you can separate the uh, the government from those people you're talking about, group of people or individuals that come together and they want to like you talk about. Use the example of um, Las Vegas, Nevada. There's no way they will still need the input of the government. They will need the policy. In fact, talking about Las Vegas. The uh, being the capital of uh, of gambling and all of that, the, the government still needs to make policies that will give them some kind of concession there. So without it, there's no way they can thrive there. There's no way that place will ever be where it is today. So what I'm trying to make but, but you, you, you are you are doing, doing strong my fallacy here. Yeah. Hold on, you, you are doing strong my fallacy here. Yeah. Hold on, that is hold why on. they have uh, lobbyists. The lobbyists will do the job for them. They pay them. They will lobby the government in their favor mm -hmm. to make to enact laws or to enact to make policies that will favor their business. That's what people do in countries like where we are here in America. So I don't know what you're talking about saying that they cannot uh, they can achieve it without the government. I mean, you need the government. That's why you call them government. They govern the areas. They make laws, and the laws they make is just to make the society a place for everybody to, to, to live. And to, to okay, let me put it this way. So okay, let me let me put, let me put let me put it this way. I said. Do Nigerians need government to come up with the idea and solution to their problems? 
do you, do you need government to come up with the idea and solution to your problem? You don't need. You don't need. You don't need government to. Now nah, you've answered my question. Then so you were doing strawman fallacy by saying I'm saying that. Saying. That's not what you're saying. What was I saying? That's why I say sometimes we overflow things here, which is what, what maybe that's what I, I'm also guilty of. What you just what I just accuse everybody of doing here, or some people doing here, because I, maybe I do not understand what you're saying. But if I understand what you said, you, even what one man was even saying, it, try to make you understand that this is what we understand you're saying that people do not believe government. There's a there's bullshit yeah. coming from you. Uh, Me? Yeah. Oh, I can't hear you from here. Somebody. Let, let me mute my cross. Let's see if it's no. Yeah, no, it's from it's from you. From Hold me? on, let me, yeah, I think so. Uh because you are the only mic on now. Yeah. Uh, well, but, it's quiet, yeah. It's quiet where I am here. Yeah. It's quiet. I'm just here by my counter here trying to read and all right, carry on, but yeah, um so, well, I'm done, I'm done. I mean, if Mike wants to come in, well, just that that's just the point. I think we we shred uh maybe your thoughts or whatever you said. And, and rational okay. mind, I don't know how you missed my point because you heard me also say that once you create the idea and you present it to the government, you know that the government will find it difficult to go against you because they know themselves that once your idea, idea starts thriving, they will tax you because they will benefit from it. They will have to come and tax you. So why would they see you come up with ideas that can benefit everybody and they will not tell you to shut it down. They will go against you. So what I'm saying is the root of the solution is if we the people ourselves stop relying that the government have to be the ones to create everything and we ourselves start using our own mind uh, the creativity of our own mind to start looking for solutions to our problems in our country whether it's uh, creating corporations creating franchises and end up developing our own economy and then partner with government in in, in, the, in the area of uh, rules and regulations and things like that and you mentioned lobbying of course if we need you know more areas where the government may be um answer against and we can also impose uh, put lobby in place or things like that but what i'm saying is i don't think if we the people start being very creative and looking for solutions and finding the solutions i don't think government will be in your way so the idea of just sitting back and just waiting for the next politician that's going to make it happen we're going to wait forever man it's impossible it's not the job of politicians to so advance society it's, it's only the, the only thing they can do the least they can do is just create policies that's it but it's not as easy as you are saying it it's not there's nothing easy in life. I don't know why when I'm talking to uh, people, we always want things to be easy. There's nothing. Advancement is not easy. There's no country in life. There's no country in this world that advances in the easy, easily. In the Nigerian context, it's even more, more so. I think that wish is coming from Mike. Hmm? Mike is from you. That wish is coming that noise. The echoing voice. You, you can hear it too, Abby. Yeah, yeah, I'm hearing very, yeah. I think it's yeah, like, like a it's boom, it's boom, Mike. boom, it's boom, not, boom, boom. Yeah, it's not coming back now, it's Mike. Mm. And this one, uh, DG, is DG, uh, DOG there? No, but uh, let me put a question to you, um, um, uh, World Peace, only because Irene seems to fixated on hearing your voice. I don't know why, but uh, Irene is now determined that she wants to hear your voice. So for the benefit of Irene, can you, can we have you speak then on, um, uh, on our uh, Akimumi additional uh, coming into the APC race, purchasing a ticket. So, what are you there making of that uh, development? Oh, I'm on thank you for that question. I really thank you too uh, for for sharing concern. Uh, that's the question I actually wanted to speak on. Uh, that guy coming to the race, uh, he has the right to come into the race. Uh, but uh, what I don't understand is why. Everybody, every ticket Harry nine in South is just buying hundred million form, like, like is a uh, twenty naira. I don't understand again. And before, when people was coming to the race, we were happy, but now it's getting too much. It's making, it's like, it's like, um, it's becoming funny. It's becoming funny for we in the South. I think uh, in the West we have like six. And now. Especially right. in Yoruba land. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like six candidates from the West. It's becoming ridiculous. I saw it yesterday. I was like, really? This man? I don't understand. Which space is it going to take? Who space you want to take? Uh, I mean, occupy. Is it to negotiate space? Or... They're, they're just but... diluting, they diluting the vote now. That's the They're diluting the South vote. Mm. I don't even understand. It's not making us look serious anymore. When they are raising money, they want to use for election buying. Apart from that, they can raise it. <laughs> they can raise it behind the doors. The way they are doing it now is not looking decent. 
people I was expecting that so many people come to the race that they come together and take one candidate or even two. They rally rally around two candidates. Those two candidates will go to the uh, to the delegate to slot it out. Now everybody's just buying form, buying form, coming out to become uh MLF is, is our, and, uh, the CBN uh, what uh governor that guy should be arrested. He's supposed to be arrested. How can a CPN governor declare for presidency? I don't want to he, he says he's going to buy the the, the form <laughs> from a savings. Can you imagine that? <laughs> can you imagine that? No, but the truth is that all of them are coming up to tell us that people that love them so much bought the form for me, which is like MFA said it was the rice farmers that bought for him now. So for the CBN governor to say it is the farmer and who is buying form for him, he's just also <laughs> looking for a way to cover up. Yeah. And I think if this kind of set of people, one of them now enter to become the president. They will not begin to think of the people. No. Uh, one let, 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 let me bring you two paragraphs from Emefele, just to mm. what Irene was saying. This is in the middle of his piece. So he said, I am humbled by the growing interest of those asking that I run for the office of president <laughs> in the 2023 general elections. Uh, sorry, can you mute yourself? Um, I am humbled by the growing interest of those asking that I run for the office of the president in the 2023 general elections. I have not come to that decision. I note and salute the sacrifices of those farmers and patriots going as far as raising personal funds and offering me presidential nomination forms. I thank them most profusely. However, I should, uh, however, should I answer their calls and decide to seek presidential nomination, I will use my own hard-earned savings from over 35 years of banking leadership to buy my own nomination forms without proxies in an open and transparent manner in full compliance with the laws and constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So he's telling us then I will use my own hard-earned savings from 35 years of banking to buy the forms. So he has... a. Uh, uh, <laughs> it, it, it's, just, we, we, it's a different planet, isn't it? Like, it's a yeah. different planet. So oh. he wants he wants to use his savings to buy a phone for a hundred million a naira. position he's not sure of. <laughs> Who is he deceiving? And, and the the is a, is a salaried position, by the way. Uh, not, the, baby, <laughs> the baby in the womb, even the baby in the womb knows that he's telling lies. <laughs> If they allow all the pregnant women, baby in the womb to speak, they go, so God, CBN governor, you are telling us lie. But one man, is this confirmed? Is that confirmed? Is what confirmed? I mean that uh, the uh, CBN governor is, come, is, is going to contest. Mm -hmm. No, no. Well, well that quotation, it, it was actually something he tweeted out. So that was a tweet. So, so from that tweet that he tweeted, nomination forms were bought uh, allegedly, apparently, according to him, on his behalf by farmers. But he is going to refund their money and dip his hand into his own pocket from his uh, 35 years uh, working banking and then pay $100 million for the form himself. He's waiting for divine intervention. He says God will tell him what to do. Oh, I, I think he's talking to farmers because he assumes that those farmers' IQ is so low. You know? So the way these people talk, they are talk, they're assuming these voters' IQs are low. That's why they talk to them in that manner. Because, I mean, there's no, no, no way... He, talking he's talking to... about the farmers because he's been running this uh, farmer project which, uh, which accesses the farmers' uh, uh, funding from CBN. You know the thrust of why the administration is go back to the farms. So he's then tried to say that by virtue of what he has done in that sector, they are through gratitude paying him back by buying him a form too. So this is it's just a nonsense anyway. Yeah, yeah. So is, I, it most, I, is it most I, of the farmer that the, the bandit did not allow to farm that contributed that money for him out of not farming? But, but you see, but you see, Matt, no. This is noisy. It's something wrong with your mic. I have to. I think his rational mind is too heavy. Yeah. 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 
So uh, what Mike was saying, he's he's some. I think I think he's right. I I, I agree with him to some extent, and and that goes to what I was telling uh, Rational Mind earlier: massive investment in education. Because you see, an educated population is a more uh, how do I put it, sophisticated electorate. You can you cannot just play people with such things, and they'll clap for you. Hey. We, we we need to focus on it. and you see education is the difference between northern Nigeria and southern Nigeria now. The northern Nigerian people and southern Nigerian people. That is the basic difference. That is why we had that is why we have produced geniuses like uh, like uh, Professor Professor Wallace That is why in the seventies. Uh, Arab princes were coming to Nigerian hospitals to get treatment. Yeah, that was that, why. Yeah, and that, that is because we invested initially in education. We focused on free education. That is what it did. That is why we have genius. That is why we produce people like uh, Ngozi Konjiwala and, uh, and uh, 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 Dr. Uh, what, what what is his name? Uh, the African uh, Akeon. Development Akeon. Akeon. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that do, is do why know, we. Do you, know, do you know one of the things that pains me about the Nigerian space, Medo Man? Um, mm -hmm. all, all of the people that are at at the echelons of uh, Nigerian politics at the moment, Fayemi, Oshibanjo, etc. They are were beneficiaries. People, they were beneficiaries of the Abolo War, Jakonde, etc. Free education system. They are beneficiaries yeah. of free education. They have now closed that free education so that the people coming through next, they don't get an education. If you if you listen to it's, it's, uh, so, it's, so, what, it's so painful. What what our brother Jenle Kuku always says here. He will tell you in the seventies we went out, we protested, we did this, we did that. We find out that the 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 electorate at that time, even though it was a, it was a military regime, but the electorate at that time where we are more sophisticated than what we have today. We just have a bunch of people that, you know, that uh, they tell anything and they believe. And that has to do, I still insist, that has to do with education. Primary, so the, secondary, you know, basic education. The, the, let me tell you something. The difference between those electorates so, back then is Nigeria was a relatively new country. And those guys were visionary. They were looking towards, of, towards building the nation. You understand? But people we have today, are people that are, they are not really they are not visionary people they are people that are, grew up watching a system where the system was being looted and everything and they just want to come in and join join the loot everybody wants to go into politics today they're interested in going there to just go and make money it's not like they are not people that are part of a, a watching a country that's brand new and they are so enthusiastic in watching that and building that nation to become the nation of their colonial masters you understand so that's the difference between those guys the all of those people in the early days the opponents all those guys because Nigeria was a brand new country, and these guys were saying, "Oh wow, we have this brand new thing. Let's try to build it to make it look like London, places we visited, uh, Europe." So that's the difference between the mind of those ones and people we have today. You know, the people we have today grow up watching Babangi and everything, looting. So they just want to come in and do their own. The the, the cost upon that country was oil boom. I'm telling you. Oh, you definitely. See, that's the the part of when when our free money came. When. When free money started flowing, everybody thought, why, 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 why? Nobody wanted to think anymore. Nobody, everybody became lazy. It's just get or you sell or you spend the money, get or you sell or you spend the money. Abandon the education, abandon manufacturing, abandon every other thing. Abandoned uh, uh, economic develop, human development. Uh, one I mean, man, sorry, can I ask you a question? Uh, carry on, yeah. Because I wanted to ask you, I have in mind to ask you today. Like when I saw this, uh, this African bank and uh, that guy that, that, that joined the race instantly. Please, uh, sorry, I don't want to make ethnic or tribal, but what is the, what is the West trying to get us right now? But where they're buying from, joining the race? You know, me, me I just think that this is, is individual greed. A lot of the people buying their phones. They, they have no thought that they are going to be president, certainly not. But they want to hold that form in order to hold a, a voting block 
in order to use that voting block to negotiate with people that have a better chance of uh, getting the presidency so or getting the ticket. So I think it's just greed and personal ambitions. So, yeah, that, that's what's okay. And one man, is the Dr. Kimumi's uh, uh, candidacy, is it confirmed or is it just a rumor? Well, they, they, they are saying that uh, forms have been bought, so yeah, that's just what's out there. He, he's not formally come out to... I don't think he's really spoken to the politics at all, as far as I'm aware. So I don't think he has formally come out to, to declare. But then they are saying that uh, he's... Because this was covered by all the newspapers, by the way. So uh, let me just bring you it very quickly. The president of the African Development Bank and former minister of agriculture, Dr. Akimumi Adeshino Saturday, paid for the nomination and expression of interest forms to contest for the All Progressive Congress APC presidential ticket in proxy. This is a this is as a coalition of 20 so uh, so listen to this part this part answers your question this is as a coalition of 28 groups consisting of youth arise movement nigerians in diaspora one nigeria a prudent youth association of nigeria women's group farmers people with disability and other civil society groups raised a hundred million naira to purchase the forms for the former minister the coalition was led by the head, one Nigeria group, Mohamed Salah. The payment acknowledgement slip, uh, exclusively spotted by correspondents on Saturday, carried Adeshino's name as the recipient of the form. Uh, Dr. Adeshino served as Minister of Agriculture under former President Goodluck Jonathan. So that's essentially, uh, and that was covered uh, all over the space, uh, uh, it's several newspaper carry several newspapers carry it. So, so that's yeah. So that's that's uh, that's his position. Well, uh, well, let's wait and see. I think this week, this week will bring a lot of uh, new developments in that. In that, uh, uh, one man. Now, yeah. all of them are buying phone. It's not bad. Why are they still associating themselves with? <laughs> APC. Yes, they can contest their right. But why they feed the fine with APC? On that APC. I don't get it. I think by now, all these intelligent people, they're supposed to distance themselves from Buhari and the party. But yes, they're all buying from to start continuing Buhari legacy. That is the part of yeah, and I look up to these people like intelligent people, leaders of tomorrow. I but but, I but all that continue that. continue Buhari legacy, that's just political talk. Oh. As but, soon as somebody is sworn in, it, they'll just clear out everything Buhari. You and I know that. You and I know that. But mm. right now, the, the, the right now, the bitterness, the the division in Nigeria right now, any true position would distance itself from Buhari first. Indirectly or directly, but my stick with the party, but distance itself from Buhari. But, but, but they can't. They can't do that because Buhari's influence will determine their future. So they have to pretend and play along. Wow! Uh, Don't yes. you think they are going after Buhari's voters? Buhari has like twenty. Yeah, 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 how many yeah, million? Yeah, million have, they, they're going after his voters. Yeah, I've drawn the analysis before because we gave Buhari that uh, uh, that vote because since when. Tinubu really hammered on in 2014 and 2019 that Buhari have 12 million gay voters that don't, that don't die and they don't wake up, they don't sleep, they don't multiply. But anytime they want to vote Buhari, they just come up from anywhere. Yeah, yeah. all the four times that they ran, I get <laughs> they guarantee they 10 million. <laughs> they 12 million. They are banned. After they vote, they go to a and stay. Then anytime they hear Buhari, not a PCO, anytime they hear Buhari, they will come out. So right now, everybody that is now walking towards Buhari because Buhari have 12 million gay voters to give to them. It's sad. Oh, 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 all right. Oh, all right. It's sad. So, so gentlemen, we've gone past the five-hour mark, and you know what that means. Uh, and we're, we're even nearly five and a half hours in. So we start to round off. And, and gentlemen, I've been pushing that um, the closing remarks, it needs to be a bit more condensed, because when we get to the closing remarks, we've already rounded off so many talking points that really is just really a few words to say, oh, this was what I, uh, I did not get the chance to say. So, so we're at that space now to land on engineer 
Uh, uh, and we kick it off with DOG, who I suspect may have left us already. So, D, are you there? No. Uh, if D was here, you would know. He is not one to keep quiet. He said, well, what I was just trying to say is, you don't even listen, sir. Why do people not listen? D, and uh, I've never known people to bellyache like D and Solly. You don't <laughs> even listen to me. I am trying to tell you, but you are not listening. Okay, now we'll talk again. If you don't look at that, just like babies, man. So, so thank you, DOG. A little bit of jesting there. So, from, from DOG, let's go to Tony, uh, who hopefully is still there. Don't, Tony, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm always there, sir. You know, uh -huh. oh, oh, all right, closing remark. You know, eager, eager to speak. So, as long as our gifted children, our gifted kids, are, you know, are being wooed and taken away by these uh, white countries you know, to better their, you know, to work for their future, it means that we are, you know, we are actually less intelligent than them because that's what uh, Ego said and then I stand with Ego for that. So let us buckle up, let us wake up and then uh, rethink of how we can regain our our intelligence that we're having when uh, the British handed over to us, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? That's this, uh, you know, so it's a pity because, uh, you know, I want to go back home like yesterday. Okay, sir. Good night, sir. One man. So everybody thumbs up. Oh, look now, like, 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 so that make, make more people get them. Whether they get waiting with the talk here, because now not push the like button, other people now feel no waiting with the talk here, and then uh, the country will go down. So that uh, we must look for a solution now. Huh? So there will be no election, no election, because uh, if I kill me, that we will be, we will be wishing to, you know, to come and uh, uh, rear his head out. Now it's going to into this uh, a terrorist a party. So I think there's no way at all forward for us so no party no election because your vote will never count forever you know so thank you sir everybody all right thank you tony so thank you tony so that was tony of course you the person you all know you all know tony's voice so that was tony let's see if ego is still there ego are you still there Yes, I think we may well have lost Ego. Ego usually listens in bed and then it just drops off in the middle of uh so that's ego. Thank you for thank you for uh for, for turning up ego. So from ego, let's go on to let let's go on to HO. HO, are you still there? Yes. Uh, so closing remarks, you you've been here before. HO, ladies and gentlemen, join us as often as you can because people delight hearing from you. So HO, your words. Well, in a closing remark, I want to thank everybody for showing up. And together, we'll get the Nigeria of our dream. And if we want to separate, we cannot separate under the constitution we are having, under the uh, political atmosphere we have, until we have leadership that is ready to sit down together with us to discuss the way forward. So in order to achieve that, let's work Towards 2024 to pick the right leaders. Thank you. All, all right. Thank you, HO. So that's HO, a, a, a voice that's now uh, fast developing within the platform. So to a voice that is fast developing within the platform, to a voice that is now firmly establishing within uh, the platform, Irene Finest's favorite voice, uh, World Peace. Your work. Uh uh i greet everybody we don't reach the end of the day as we uh as we see uh great people with the the comment session uh thank you Irene finest uh for check out for you for check on me and uh i thank everybody there too i thank one man especially to bring all of us together i thank engineer i thank mike i thank uh middleman uh, I thank DJ and Sully and the rest of people we did the group. And I thank Ajali Koko, our father, who did pray for us for behind, even not day today. You know, uh, for the Nigerian politics, I don't tire me. The way they buy from, it tire me. But what you not go tire me to talk, we say, make everybody with the comment session. Tell everybody we did their group of Facebook. May they go get their PVC. Move for vote these people out. Now, so I go talk, talk and reach. Thank you, one man. Peace. Thank you, World Peace. So that was World Peace. Uh, he, he joins us as usual from from uh, Japan. So that's World uh, Peace. Konnichiwa, konnichiwa. So konnichiwa, konnichiwa, konnichiwa to rational mind. Rational mind, your words. 
Well, I don't want to say much since uh, the, the sound is um, distracting. I just want to say everybody should subscribe and hit the like button and uh, always come around and um, hear us as when the live stands. Uh, hopefully, we'll be here tomorrow again. God willing. That's all I have to say. And um, I want to say good night to everybody. Good morning and good afternoon. All right, rational mind. And and then we didn't hear that anymore just, just then. It may well have been bouncing off somebody else's system on the thing, but uh, that's that's the way it goes sometimes. So so from rational mind, we go to meadow man, uh, a, a mind that is equally as rational. Meadow mind, you know, the routine. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, one man. Uh, the the conversations uh, this evening was very, very interesting, as always. Um, earlier on, before I came on, uh, uh, people were talking about if somebody was invited back to Nigeria, would they go and help build the system? And people were saying they wouldn't. Uh, uh, that was that was dishe That is disheartening, you know. The Nigeria we want is the Nigeria we have to build. We, we, we can leave it for somebody else. And that is why it is important we participate. We live in the diaspora, yeah, but we can influence a lot of people back home. We can tell them that participation, you don't, you don't in democracy, you don't get it right, uh, you know, every time. You just keep trying until you get it right, but you just got to keep trying. Because if we all give up, then let's just nuke, nuke Nigeria, shut down this uh, platform and, you know, just take passports anywhere, anywhere we find ourselves in the world and, and just forget about Africa. I mean, we cannot do that. We have to. Where there is life, there has to be hope and the struggle is a continuum. Uh, I thank the platform and the listeners and let's continue to share and that is the only way we can appreciate what one man is doing maintaining the platform i know it's not easy five hours every day is not just easy so thank you one man good night everybody all right thank you meadow man so meadow man there's a bit of depth to your voice now do you have a cold or are you trying to sound uh sexy for the babes what is going on don't What's, what's Boy. this, this change? What is it change? All right, look at this man. Eh? All, all right, thank you, thank you, Meadow Man. So that was Meadow Man from Meadow Man. Uh, Mike, of course, uh, put on your helmet and hide behind the sofa as we invite Mike to have his final. Okay, well, I will, I will close by starting using the word of uh, Abin Einstein. I said, uh, if you're doing the same thing, continue to do the same thing over and over and expect a different result. That's insanity, complete insanity. Now, in Nigeria, it seems like the way we are thinking, the way we think, and we keep thinking the same way over and over, and things is not changing. And we don't realize that. We haven't got to the point where we realize that, you know, well, maybe we have to change the way we're thinking and approach things before maybe that will create things will start working differently, changing. We have this mentality of uh, whenever I want to do anything, we have to look to the colonial master. How oh, we have to look to them to go and search for the way to do it rather than saying, you know what, ah, we are no longer slaves or colony or whatever it is. We have, a, we have our own unique world in Africa, our own unique nature, our own unique way of doing it. Yeah, I mean, we got creators and start looking within Africa and start studying our, our minds and reinventing and uh, reinventing way of doing things. Or maybe to even come up with a better way than the one that's already in the world, in the, in the West or in the world. If we still don't start thinking like that, we, I don't know. We're not going anywhere. Absolutely going nowhere. You know. And my advice to anybody, any Nigerian, any African that wants, that really thrive, uh, desire change or anything, I will use the word of Mahatma Gandhi. He said, uh, "To." Uh, he said, be the change you want to see in the world. Be the change you want to see in your society. Uh, if you feel like you have an idea of how society should go, you should, you should start with yourself by carrying that idea out. Don't wait for politicians. You know, that's, don't, wait, don't, don't say, okay, I have an idea how Nigeria should be, and then you're waiting for one politician to start doing it. If you feel like job creation is the issue, how about you start 
looking for ways to start a corporation or start a franchise or something or find like-minded Nigerians and get together and make it happen, you know? So don't wait for the day the politician that think like you will come in and do things the way you want it to be done, you know? So you should be the change, you know? So that, that, that that's my own uh, contribution. So thank you, Wama. All right, thank you, Mike. Be the change you want to see. So be the change you want to see, the parting words of Michael. So from the parting words of Michael to our new crew court uh, looking sleek uh, engineer, I don't know what this new haircut is all about. Engineer, Wagwan. Yeah, one well, man. Uh, thank you very much. Well, um, I have a few things to say, but uh, we have to take things serious now. One man, first and foremost, thank you very much for for allowing this platform to go worldwide, and this is teaching a lot of people. Also, for the new people on the platform, you guys are doing well. For our new sister, Honorable Oluchi, that's the name I'll be calling you, if you don't mind. You're doing well, and uh, God bless you. I've been crying on this platform so many years. We need ladies. We need that voice. Because uh, sometimes the men here, they behave like uh, like uh, market women. They fight. They do anything. But still, we still love ourselves. And we still love that country called Nigeria. And that's why we need more females to come into the platform and batter the men properly so we can wake up and we know what we're doing. And also, please, please and please, guys, don't forget to buy coffee, please and please, because uh, this is a platform that um, among every platform that do go on live videos, they don't charge, they don't request you to do anything on the platform. So, and um, the platform is not discriminating. <clears throat> the platform welcome everybody. And something we need to understand, please and please again, Let's focus on how that country will be good and how that country will be fixed. So let's just think about it. And in terms of, uh, oh, this man is from North or from South or from East, let's begin to keep that narrative aside. Let's find solution to our problem. Otherwise, we'll be in the long-term run. And I'll repeat again, regarding the coffee, one man tried to put the, the link so people can still buy coffee. Because most people they don't know about the coffee, coffee you, you you the link. So you just have to make sure you let them know. Because I don't mind if I come on the platform, I will definitely let them know in the the platform that they need to buy the coffee. To be honest, and um, for people watching from every part of the world, thank you very much, and thank you for staying up to late. Some is morning, some is afternoon, some is night in their own country. Well, we don't have much to say, just to say God bless you guys, and you guys are doing well. And feel free to come in, honestly. If you come in, trust me, things will go well. It's something that, uh, feel free, honestly, don't be intimidated by Mike or by Tony. They are all my brothers, so if they, if they say something that you guys are not happy, forgive them. If they don't have that love towards Nigeria, they won't come out and voice it. Sometimes it's not easy to deal with humans, but what can we do? We love our country, we love our country. And uh, one man, I will use this opportunity to still say thank you very much. I don't know what to say to you, it's just God bless you. And uh, without you, I can't know most of these guys, honestly. And uh, we miss you, our brother, Ben. Because uh, you are the one of the top man that we have in, in the platform that always said, oh, in Ghana, in Ghana, in Ghana. You know, so once upon a time, we used to have a bag called Ghana must go in Nigeria. Now it's Nigeria must go. So thank you, one man. God bless you. And uh, happy Sunday to everyone. And have a good night to everybody. All right. Thank you, Engineer. So that's Engineer. He's just recovering from, I think, a flu or something. You can hear it in his voice. But ever as cheerful as always, that's engineer, one of your favorite voices on the platform. So in the absence of Ajan Lekoko, he substitutes. So that has been the session. But in the absence of Ajan Lekoko, we continue with the tradition that Ajan Lekoko birthed onto the platform. So what Ajan Lekoko usually does is he will acknowledge a few names in the comment section. And that's an excellent idea because that marries the 
comment section with the screen so that when we are parting, we are parting as just one uh, big happy family. So to the big happy family, but then of course, our cousin in Ghana. So he comes up first here in Ghana, there in Ghana. So there in Ghana, he is cousin Rockos in the comment section. That's Vin, of course, Vin Maxwell. From Vin Maxwell to our noble, upstanding uh, marine man in whatever station he is at now, uh, that is Reeds or Tees. So there he is right there, Reeds or Tees. So as I, as uh, Bongsmo is a uh, is uh, Ajan Lekoko's babe, uh, Irene Finess, fast turning into, uh, what is it called, World Peace's babe. So there she is right there, Irene Finess, so confident in herself, she actually calls herself the finest. So there she is right there, That's, there's nothing like self-confidence, and she seems to have that in abundance. From Irene, we're going to Obi Ruben, so Obi, uh, good to see you. Uh, Kedu, as they say, in South Central Abakaliki, so from Kedu and South Central Abakaliki, we go to Oweri to see J in Ken and say Odema. So Odema to you, J in Ken, uh, as we hurtle on through. Uh, H.O., of course, uh, she keeps it 100 in the comment section and keeps it 110% on the screen. Both uh, screen and comment section, she participates fully uh, with the uh, platform. From 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 our uh, HO, we go to uh, David Tunde Abe. So Davido, uh, as I'm sure his friends call him now, uh, since that guy came on stream, everybody's now Davido. From Davido, we go to Oga, Oga Namasta, Oga Namasta. But is he master of a uh, Boluaga Ladisi? Nobody is the master of Boluaga Ladisi, a man of his own. So from Boluaga Ladisi, we go on to Aizon. Uh, we get your dictionaries ready anytime you see a hazon on the screen. Get your dictionaries ready when you see a hazon on the screens as we uh, land with a Larry Ade. So Larry Ade, of course, Larry, as we all know, to his uh, Padiman. Padiman call him uh, Larry. From uh, Larry, we're going to Adewale Olushegun. And by the way, if you are not already subscribed and if you've not turned up the, the, the streams, uh, the stream, then please do that. Make sure you are subscribed and make sure you've turned you've turned up the platform. The thumbing up means click on like, click on subscribe, because that pushes us. We are seeing the results of the thumbing up. I, I'm sure if, if a lot of you go back, you see that the, the, the numbers are going higher and higher, and it's just off the back of the thumbs up and subscription. So keep doing that just by way of showing support for the platform. So Adewale Olusegu will come up to next as we land on Bungs Mer. Bungs Mer, uh, our lady in Canada. So that's Bungs Mer right there uh, in the land of uh, maple, maple syrup and all that. This is the only thing that they have, maple syrup and beers, you know. You, you know, not beer as in beer drinking, you know, but beer as in the actual uh, mama called, you know, so that, that's, it's also not a jungle, Canada, really, and they try to, they straddle off the back of the United Kingdom and America, and they try to pretend like they're some uh, civilized country, but Canada is just like a a, a, a backwater little outpost somewhere in the Americas, I guess, of course. Uh, Peter's AO, but his own Peter is with a double T, just to funkify the language. Uh, or to fun funkify the name. This is what Nigerians do. Never satisfied with just how it is. They have to embellish the Nigerian way. Thought of many, but just how many is the question. Uh, uh, that's Mike, of course, who has been spreading rumors that had banned him on the platform, even though you heard him on the screen. This is what he does. Uh, by Mike is just a, a very lost little uh, troublemaker. A very lost little uh uh troublemaker uh mikey boy as i go on to look for another name so i'm scrolling as we're talking but uh a lot of these are uh, names names i've already mentioned but they are in constant conversation so as i'm scrolling now they're just uh, names that have already been mentioned that are in uh gripped in conversation with each other which is of course what we encourage uh, for this space uh, to converse with each other. So it's just a mesh. It's a family gathering, you see. Uh, Mozid Odutayo. Mozid Odutayo. 
the name we land on next. We look for just a couple more and then we start to round off. Uh, Ade Mitobi Loba. So Ade Mitobi Loba, of course, uh, known as Solly on the screen. So that's Ade Mitobi Loba right there, Solly to his friends and family. Uh, um, so Obi Ruben, so there's Obi Ruben right there. Did I do him earlier on? I may have just uh, done that. So we just see if we come across just maybe one more and then we'll, we'll round off from there. And we do come across one more, which is Sam, Sam Boy. Sam, Sam Boy. So Sam, Sam Boy, thank you. So that has been the session. Uh, uh, the live streaming stops, but the conversation never ends. Uh, carries on in the comment section, as you all know. So come join me there where the conversation continues. So I'll leave you, I'll leave you here. Carry the conversation within the comment section, but here, I say, peace.